So much has happened since last year. Oh, yeah. Cooper's married. Mom, he is 10. He has not even gone through puberty. Thank, Thank God. God. <laughs> Jason and I are still living together. We're very committed to one another. Yeah, committed. Like, that counts. We lost the nanny. Yeah, but the world gained a swimsuit model. It has been crazy around here. It's just been too much for Sabrina. So we got her sister, Melody, who has joined the team to help us out. And this really killed me. I lost the house in L.A. that I wanted to buy for you. If you but remember. I didn't want it. No. And so my mom's still living with me in L.A. I am not living with Melissa in L.A. I stay with you four or five days a week. Four or five days a week is living with me. In your basement, Melissa? You call that living... Sarah Jessica Parker and Kate Middleton. What is the shortest, cleverest joke we have for her? Hello. Hi. So I want you just to like tee it up that it's more about that later so people aren't expecting that to be the discussion. Got it, but for now let's focus on our dress. Yeah. Hello. Having Hello. Melissa as executive producer of Fashion Week is amazing. Okay, we're opening with the Beckhams. Mm, okay. We're not yeah, just mother and daughter cool. anymore. I mean, it's a whole different dynamic. We're equals, we're, we're peers, we're, we're, we're partners. Apparently, we've been at different tapings. I'm gonna have to pull this. I'm getting terrible static. Okay, Kel, you're there. Basically, as a producer, what you do is put out fires. And apparently, I'm the biggest flame. What if, for the J-Lo dress, you said J-Lo hasn't done anything this appropriate since she decided to become an actress? Too soft? Too soft? Yeah. Okay. Turn a little, Joan, please. Why are you doing that under there? Um, I think it's... Starting to show. This whole thing is on show on camera? This this bottom bit here. What do you think, Tony? What do you think? Okay, oh, look, me... look, look, look. Isn't, isn't, Let's this, see. isn't this better? What do you think? Like, what do you think? Cutting it off? I like that. We're going to try and be on set no later than 7 30. Scooch this up here, a little thing here, and then a little filler. What are you guys talking and, about? Uh, We're talking about it's time for maybe a 10,000 mile tune up on my neck. Look at the difference. Come look in the mirror. Look at the difference. This is ridiculous. Like, enough. And this is not what we should be talking about right before a show. Thank you. Hey, you and I got some stuff we got to do. Tony thinks so too. Oh, really? Oh, cool. There's enough here. I could be a skin donor. Oh, good. You know, <laughs> always finding ways to multitask. You got me crazy now, but look at the difference. Everyone says, oh, you've had so much plastic surgery, Joan. Uh, and I resent that terribly. They're right, but I resent that terribly. Is that funny? Yeah. Maybe the first, second judge should go first. The key to their marriage was they listened to each other. So I guess uh, he heard her when she said, get the out of here. <laughs> See, I think that should be the second. No question. Let me ask you something. Do you think I should get a facelift? The truth, Mary, the truth. Do I think you should get a facelift. This, do you see that? I do, I do see something now that you've pointed it out to me. All right. But you're gonna sit there the whole show thinking about it, aren't you? No, Mary admitted it. You're gonna it. put it on me? Mary admitted no. it. No, but I think tell the truth. <laughs> so she just I believe it. in character. Ugly girls sit on the side and I say I have character. <laughs> what? No, but I don't mean you, Natalie. <laughs> Look at that. You can make a purse. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Final touches, please. The show went very well today. I think it went very well today, but I didn't like some of the camera angles, and I can't wait to get this taken care of. Mom, you look amazing. Melissa, I saw what's going on under my chin. I don't want to be the one the president has to pardon on Thanksgiving. Like it or not, I'm getting a consultation that was not the audience who heard applauding today, that was my neck flapping. Okay, so I'm going for a consultation. We have to divide them, so put them all in here. Five. It's my turn. Oh, sorry. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Hello, hey. Russell. Hey, Russ. Hey. What's up? Hi, guys. What are you doing? We're just playing some dominoes. dominoes. Oh, I love dominoes.
Hey, Grandma. Yeah, Puss. We, me and Russell were thinking. Russell and I Russell were thinking. Russell and I were thinking. If That's you a could, surprise. If you could get. If you, <laughs> Go on. Do, if you could more. give him some tips. On what? He does stand up comedy. You have stand up comedy yet? Well, like, it's my first time. I'm not really. I haven't gone on stage before, but I do. Have, we do have an open mic thing coming up. Where? At Lenny's. Have you written any jokes? You. Not I. Not really. I mean, I only have like one, but. Yeah. So what's the one joke? Um, my teacher asked me if I'd rather be blind or deaf, and I said if you keep on asking me the same stupid question, I'd rather be deaf. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> it's yeah. That's a good joke. Yeah. So but you Russell's need more been. than one. Yeah. Yeah, Russell's. Yeah. So I was hilarious. wondering if you could like help me or something. I'd be delighted to help you. Yeah. Um, are you allowed to say bad words? Occasionally. <laughs> Well, let's get to work. Okay. Think. Think. You always Thinking. have jokes. Oh, what kind of cheese is not your cheese? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Is that funny? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I have one. Lady Gaga, they call Lady Gaga in Israel. Lady Syn Wait. Synagoga. Synagoga. That's Lady Synagoga. Yeah, it's current. You got to be good, Russell. I know. Because otherwise, if you f up, it'll scar you for life. That's nice. Okay, guys, out. Out, out, out. All right. Time to go run around. Go. Just thought you go. should know that. Go. Russell. Goodbye. Come on, dogs. <laughs> okay. Come on, pup. Okay. You do not tell a 10 year old. It could really f***ing scar you for life. It scarred me for life. How old were you? I was five years old, and I was a kitten in a play in kindergarten. And the ear came down. And I still remember the humiliation. Scarred for f***ing life. Seriously, you, when did, like, when did like Irving the 200-year-old agent become my mother? <laughs> Let me tell you, kid. You better be good because it's going to scar you for life. Yes! It's none of your business, Mom. It is totally my business. It's not Mom. your business. Mom, I'm sorry. It is my business. I made an appointment with Dr. Leaf today, and Melissa is insisting on coming. She thinks she's gonna change my mind during the consultation. Yeah, fat chance. The doctor's ready. You wanna come in? Come on no, in. No, I don't wanna be here at all. Why are you here? Because I don't want you to die. Is oh, that okay? I'm gonna die I anyhow. Like if I'm gonna are die, I'm gonna look good. Are I'm you gonna serious? die, I'm gonna look good. I understand you wanna look good. I don't but do you really no, I'm gonna really look bad in the coffin? Did you see what Beth Ginsburg looked like in the coffin? No, I missed that one. If that woman one. had sat up and looked at herself, she would have killed herself. It's not gonna be me. Let's be honest, my mom is not young. I mean, no matter how much she tries, she's still nice. not gonna have like the James Dean, you know, live fast, die young, leave a good looking corpse. Well, we're past that. All right. So. Uh, what can I, you look wonderful today. Thank what you. What possibly could you be doing here? Well, my makeup girl, Adele, was seeing little things that are not good on the camera. Seriously, no. seriously. Okay. And we've seen this, yeah. the neck, we're seeing this a lot. And these little, like, rabbity things. This is a town where you have to look good. You know that. Yeah. And this is a business where you have to look good. And if my people are saying this to me. If I can make enough of an improvement, and if there's something I can do that'll make it look better without you looking like a poster child for too much plastic surgery, I'll, I'll help you well, out. Well, that's too late. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm very worried. If I die by the end of this year, tax-wise, you're Mom, better seriously, off. seriously, I know you think this is freaking hilarious. She's better off because taxes change. You should not be doing vanity surgeries. No not, offense. Uh, seriously. No offense taken. This but is really, not I, I agree. I would it's never operate vanity. on someone really really to help. Oh, it's not vanity. This is work. I'm glad that I mean so little to you that it's Melissa, worth your face I'm very over. healthy. But, Mom, I'm really... Look at this. That's a very heavy chair. You're I know. Idiot. Look at this. Put it down. Look at this. There. I'm very healthy. You can look at this. Look what's going on under here. I do see a little see? bit of a, There's this little bit of fullness here, which I think hangs down a little, especially yeah. when your neck is turned to the side. Seriously, can we discuss the risks? There are no risks. I want to hear No, from there's you. always risks. Want... Any surgery is risk. You know, one out of 100,000 people will die under anesthesia. And like I said, Dr. Leaf, it's not you. It's just that I think my mom's being really selfish. I'll tell you, selfish, Melissa. Selfish when there's a sale of Gucci and there was one bag and you took it. That was selfish. You know what? Enough. I'm gonna wait in the car. I'll be outside. Serious consultation. Okay, I'll be outside. Okay. Dr. Leaf, good to see you. Good to see you, Melissa. Clearly, it doesn't matter what I think or what I do. My mom's going ahead with the surgery in three days, whether I like it or not. Done. Done deal. Jay? 
So, I go with my mom to the doctor's appointment. Doesn't hear a word I say. Gonna have the surgery. I'm telling her I'm worried about her health. Nothing, white noise, blah, 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 blah. She just doesn't hear me, doesn't want to hear me. Get a group of people together, give her two glasses of wine, and tell her it's the worst idea she's had in 10 years. Uh, I mean, something. Do you think she might listen? At least then she's gonna think that your opinion's actually valid. Right. You know, and at least that'll make you feel better too. It's like I'm the Charlie Brown teacher. It's like wah, 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 wah. It's so frustrating. I mean, you are though. Frustrating? Thank no. you. No, 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 the Charlie Brown teacher voice. Come on in, sit down, you guys. Come on, talk to everyone. I'm gonna take Jason's advice and get some people together, some friends, Sabrina, Melody, people who know her well, and maybe they will get through to her. Because one thing I've learned with my mom is she would rather take anyone's advice over mine. Russell, and they're going to perform at, what's the name of the place he's going to be at? Uh, Lenny's. Lenny's. Okay, cool. Oh, is that Very that cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Is that good? Very, Very cool. cool. Okay, Coop, okay. can you scooch for a few? Yeah. I need to talk to Grandma. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. What's this all about? Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Oh, Just let me finish, Joan, please. Stop, let Melissa. me finish. For God's sake, it you're does. on the wheel. Joan, it's, it's always so not funny. Joan. It's not funny. What is going on here for God's sake? Oh my God, hello, look at hello. this. What Sit is with us. Yeah, Sit with us. Right. This is, are we doing a Ouija thing? Yeah, we're doing, we're doing a seance. So I got the whole group together and I'm hoping that if my voice doesn't get through to my mom's, maybe one of theirs will. Okay. Yeah. I'm very. This, oh, this is serious. Okay, you know that I am very, very concerned about the surgery. And oh, just let me finish, Joan, please. Stop, let Melissa. me finish. Let me finish, this please. This is an intervention. Kind of. Mom, just let me finish. I have tried in every way possible to explain to you how frightened I am and how I feel like this is an unnecessary risk. It turns out that I am not the only person with concerns. I don't understand this. When but everyone feels the same feel way. The same I, way that what? Like we just don't want to. We just don't want to lose you. It really does oh, scare all God of us. Oh, for God's sake! It you're does. on the wheel. Joan, it's, it's always... It's so not funny. Joan. It's not funny. My body is my temple, and my temple needs redecorating. <laughs> There's such competition now. I have Betty White. I have Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin. All these girls Lily are all... Lily Tomlin? Yes, Lily's back. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. What do you want me to say? I want you to hear what, that I'm not the only one that feels that this is a bad idea. We just want you to know that we, we support you always, but we don't support what you're doing. She right. wanted you to hear that. Well, the same as I feel about you. I support you always, but I think a lot of the men you sleep with are trash. It's the same thing. Un okay. It's the same Believable. thing. You know, Unbelievable. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but you want to know something? You want to know something? You're right, and I'm making changes in, in that area. And I'm very proud of you, and I'm making so, changes okay, in my Okay, wait, face. wait, wait, time out. It's not about Lynn. It's about you. Just yes, about you. Just, you. So you're all saying to me, don't do it. Yes. We go on Fashion Police every week and yeah. make fun of the way people look. And I don't want you to be the butt of a joke. Yeah, but I already am the butt of the but joke. why are we going to make it worse? I don't think they'll notice that much worse. I think this is but such a stupid elective is surgery. Yes, but, and all of you are saying, no, 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 it's elective. Like, but I'll bet you each one of you would do something if I paid for it. But mom, this isn't about them, this is about you. If I pay for it, what would you get? Oh, I would definitely, I would have a Restylane and Perlane here, and then Botox here, and Botox in my neck, and possibly my hands. See, if I said, Tony, yeah. I'm writing the check. I'd do it everything, if you're paying for it. What about neck? Yes. Make, I'll be 25 again. Okay, what about you? If I get some rough skin, I wouldn't mind getting it fixed. Ask Conrad if you could get a penis enlargement. See what he <laughs> You get a penis enlargement. No, we're good. You don't need it. <laughs> well, I'll be the judge of that, Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you're trying to turn everyone around. This is what you always do. What about you? What would you do? I would do nothing, and my father would kill me. Melody, would you have plastic surgery? I would not. 
Because she's black, and black women don't age. Everyone knows it. She's probably 500 years old. Yeah, you is. guys are losing sight of everything. Yeah. No, wait, 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 Melody. If I paid for it, what would you get? Teeth whitening. That's a good call. So I don't wants have a, something. But mom, I'm not saying everybody doesn't want something. This is unbelievable to me, you guys. Thank God whatever this is going to cost me, it is a small price to pay to get them off my back. Whatever you want. Clearly, I have lost this battle. And at this point, I don't really feel like I have a choice. I mean, I can just continue to fight it the whole time, or I can be supportive. And she's my mother. What am I going to do? Of course I'm going to be supportive. Put me down for one of those, too. <laughs> my friends, however, wait till they need some support. OK, kids, this is the club. If I'm going to show Russell how to work a club, we need a club. Oh, oh my wow. God. Good to see you. Is there, you having know. a legend in here <laughs> is such an honor. So I called my friend Jamie Masada. I said, would you open it up for the afternoon? And I'll take Russell down there and really train him. So this is how you bring the mic down. So you go like this. So how you doing? <laughs> I like that. All right, you try. Let's see, I want to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, the comedy star. Well, you say it, Cooper. Uh, the comedy star, Russell Cohen. Very good. Very I like good. That. Okay, let's hear some of the jokes, Russell. Okay. Feel free to move around. Say hi though when you come out. Oh, hi. My okay. name is. Hi, my name is Russell Cohen. Do we get some glasses? Because I think we should let him know what it sounds like in a club. I just wanted Russell to know what the atmosphere is going to be like in a club. It's not going to be. Oh, we love you. It's yes. tough in the beginning. The yeah. first time I appeared on a stage, I had someone scream up in front. What you're going to hear during the show is. Because people can be very cruel in clubs. Yes. People have broken my heart, Russell. Mm -hmm. They've called me fat pig, and that was considered a compliment some nights. What if somebody said nice hey, skinny jeans? Or hey, toothpick legs. Yeah. You've got to have an answer. I think we should give him some heckless stoppers. Don't you think he's going to need some? Just, Just in case. case. How about um, you're an example of what happens when first cousins marry? Yeah, Good. but point to him. That's what happens when Do first cousins marry. Do you know the word marry. schmuck? S yeah, it's, it's not a good dirty. Word. It's, it's not fine. a dirty it's a good word. word. It's a good word. Say schmuck. I think that's very schmuck. perfect this for his age. This schmuck is what happens. This schmuck. So I say to you, say it. Nice jeans. What are you European? Hey, sh this is an example of when a sh schmuck first cousin gets married. Close. Oh, I said it wrong. That's all right. Say it again. This schmuck is what happens when first cousins get married. Oh, very, very good. nice. Yeah. Keep drinking. I get funnier. Say, uh, you stink. You stink. Keep drinking. I'll get funnier. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a little rattling of glasses okay. while you talk. So let's take it from the top. Uh, you, you introduce them. And I'll, I'll clink the glasses like it's a performance. Put your hands together for the comedy stylings of Russell Cohen. Yay! Yay! Russell, tell the audience to keep it going. Hey, everybody, what's up? You stink. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, okay. I think Russell's going to be just fine. I ran through his material a couple of times, which wasn't hard. It's maybe two, three jokes. But I think he's absolutely ready for Lenny's. <laughs> Thank you and good night. All right. Are you ready for surgery? Totally ready. OK. So listen, we've blocked out a week for your downtime, so you can get some recovery. Oh, wait, I don't need a week, for God's sake. What are you, crazy? You need see? it. You oh, need I it. don't need a I week. I think three days max. It's a minor don't surgery. Don't you encourage her. her. first trip to the rodeo. Look, She's ridden this horse before. I understand that. No, 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 you can't. Look, do not Work go is what she there. Does. That's too much time. No. I'm, I'm in agreement with Joan. I don't think that she's You know what? Week. You're going to have to shut it down. Yes. Come on, Sabrina. You've yes, been talking yes. to Melissa. No way. No way. I'm having a nurse come, you know. Oh, a nurse. A nurse is coming nurse rhymes with, with you worse. from the doctor. I don't need a nurse. Well, Another slut in we, white walking around. For God's sakes, Melissa can take care of her aged mother. I think it's time. I, don't, I think it's yes. time. You know what? I She's know what kind so of patient worried. you are. I heal quickly. You know you what? Know this is ridiculous. What's going on? 
She is trying to get out of resting for a week. I'm not resting for any week, Oh, my Melissa. God. Of course you are. Mom, first of all, you don't realize it, but you sleep the first three days. I don't sleep the first Mom, three days. Mom, you don't know where you Listen, are I'm the first three days. Myself. We had to pull you out of a store because you were trying to explain to them why you needed to take things for free, and if you were Barbara Streisand, they wouldn't make you pay. Sabrina and I had to go back in with I a credit card. I didn't think I was Barbara Streisand. I thought it was Winona Ryder. And we had to go back in and pay for everything. I oh, swear to God. Well, you were wrong. Mom, you are going to be arrested for shoplifting, and you have no memory of it. it. I'm not doing a full Chaz Bono. I'm just doing a little oh, touch-up. Nice. Do you see how twisted this is? I'm well aware. You know, how is... about before you go have your vanity surgery tomorrow, you go and spend time with your grandson. How about that? I have a grandson? Oh, I'm my God. Saying. You need to shut down saying. over there. You I have know? a grandson. I am... Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. This changes everything. <laughs> How old is he? <laughs> no idea. What's his name? So done with all of you. You know what? Goodbye. <laughs> uh. Look, make me a promise. If I call Dr. Leaf and he says, I want Joan to rest, you will abide by his wishes. Dr. Leaf is a nice man, but he's not in television. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. If I died this morning, nobody would say so young. I did not intend to cause her so much angst. It's 6 a.m., the surgery is at 8, and we are heading off to the office in Beverly Hills. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. Good girl. Mom? I'm here. I'm not supposed to wear anything, any makeup. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay, my hair is wet and clean. I scr my face hasn't been this devoid of makeup since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have anything to eat or drink. I know. And I can't even have a lifesaver, so don't get close to me. <laughs> I'll tell you what I wouldn't have. Health foods and soy milk. Exactly. Oh, God, Mother Six, goat milk. I mean, who are you people? I am so nervous. That intervention yesterday was so awful. I and mean, that really, really, really... I mean, you just don't do that to someone that's going in the, that the next day. Well, well, I was we, hoping you weren't going in the well, next day. Well, yeah, but day. the hypocrisy of this city. You know, you sit at a dinner table, and all these women say to you, oh, I wouldn't do it, and I don't think it's right. Meanwhile, they go to the bathroom, and they <laughs> through their ears. <laughs> I did set up the intervention, but seeing how nervous she is this morning, I feel pretty guilty. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. After you. Boo, stay, stay. Good dogs. Good boy, Mike. When mommy comes back, I'm gonna have a face that looks just like yours. <laughs> Like you feel I like just wish this would be over with already, you know? So listen, all right. If anything happens, Melissa, no, but I'm no chicken. I've had a great life, I've had an amazing life. If I died this morning, nobody would say so young. You're a terrific person. Cooper's fine. You're all fine. I've had an amazing life. If it ended right now, Amazing life. And you've been wonderful, and we've had a great ride together. You know, I know you're nervous, and I feel awful about that, but you don't like to feel like people like you or care about you or want you around. It's not about me. It's about you. And if something happens, things are fine, and life is fine. And life is so much fun. It's one big movie. I know. Great. And you've come through so much. And how lucky we are. Oh, how lucky we are. Every minute. This this has been my life. I love you, Molly. I love you so much.
The only thing that makes me a little sad is that Cooper's not gay. Oh, my. I have nobody. <laughs> I have nobody to talk to Judy Garland about. You can talk to me. Oh, you don't care either. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, who's going to want my show tunes collection? <laughs> oh, God, what a <laughs> business this is. You have to look good. I know. I know. Oh, God. My mother has all these sort of preconceived notions of what she's supposed to look like and what the business demands that she looks like. And it's very difficult to watch because it is so destructive. Which way? Right here to the left. Right up here. I'm hop up here. This is bigger than my room at home. So I have the warmer on. Let me know if it's great. too warm, though, because I can turn it down, I can turn it off. Can you raise my head up? Yes, I can. Good job here. All right, so just going to do your blood pressure, heart rate, basic vital signs, ask you a couple questions. Do you this in the center finger? No, any finger. It's fine. Good morning. How are you feeling? A little nervous? Hysterical. All we did yesterday was talk about death. Nice. We had an intervention for me at Melissa's house. So. Trying to convince you you were going to die if you did this? Trying to convince you I was going to die. If you did this. You're not going to die. I hate to tell I you this. I hate to tell you. As they say, not on my watch. Sit up for just a second, Doc. Yeah, we're probably going to do the lipo, this laser tip lipo, which is great for this area, it tightens it up. And then we're also going to do a little ultrasound on the outside that tightens the skin too, plus the surgery. You're getting a trifecta here. Trifecta. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, she'll be fine. I know. Hey, you do know that, don't you? All right. See you later. A few minutes. Bye bye. Okay, now. so I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes, and then we're going to head on back. But whenever you're ready. I think it's really important that you all have only happy thoughts. Oh yeah, no, but whenever you're ready. <laughs> hey, mommy. I know. That's it. seen my mom go through a lot, but I did not intend to cause her so much angst. Hi. Hey. What's going on? Nothing. How you doing? She was very, very, very nervous. And just think having everyone talk to her yesterday wasn't I mean, I think it was a good idea in the sense like she heard what I had to say, but it made her incredibly anxious this morning. So how much longer? Well, they just started, so probably another two, th two and a half hours. Yeah. You get out here for a little bit? No, I'm gonna stay. I really appreciate you coming by, though. No worries. I just wanna come by and make sure you're doing okay. Thank you. Okay, love you. waiting room and now I've got two or three hours to sit there with my thoughts I, I know my mom would tell me I'm being ridiculous being this worried but I am Good. Yeah, we're all done. Good, good, good. It took a little longer than I thought because we had to undermine, there was some scar tissue there, and so, and she did fine. There wasn't any problems with anesthesia at all. She should be okay. Okay. Okay? Thanks, Dr. All right, well, listen. It was definitely a relief when Dr. Leaf said, everything's good. My mom is a great patient when she's unconscious. She's asleep. When she's awake, now my real problems begin. Mommy, you oh, need to wake up. We need to get in the car. <laughs> You're not gonna be at work tonight. Thank you. I know I give Melissa a hard time about, uh, I don't want you to come with me. This is all so silly and so easy, but it's nice now someone cares. Nobody else gives a damn. Nobody else that will worry. It's all Melissa. So how 
How gluttonous do you think we can be? I don't know. It says, you know, you can do whatever you want. So I guess you can do whatever you want. It is so nice to know that that wonderful group that was so supportive of me during the intervention and, hey, we're gonna be there and help you with your mom, are all very, very busy today getting their own procedures done. Okay, so what are we gonna do? So tell me what you're hoping I can do for you. You see all this? I don't want to be able to do that. I okay. want all that gone. Okay. These two little go to hell lines, I yeah. want those gone. Okay. I do have some like cheesy stuff going on down here. It's like, see that, see that fat? I do, yes. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'm not, I just don't want to have to always do it doggy style. I'd like to be able to every now and then just <laughs> lay around. So today is pretty easy. You don't have to do much except lay there and be whitened. Hey, Tony, I'm Dr. Diamond. Hello. So what, what could you possibly need? You know, I'm 41, and I'm a single gay guy. So either suck the gay out, or give me a nice, youthful, tight face. I think you've got a great face, and I think you look really good. Did you just ask me out? Did it total nice? Yeah, I mean, you've got some significant damage to your skin. There are specific types of lasers that are very helpful to improve your skin's texture and tone. Is Joan really paying for all this? Today is all taken care of. Awesome. We gotta get you undressed and into bed. Okay, Norma Desmond, let's go. Grab the handrail. I'm fine. I know, handrail, please. All right, handrail, please. Thank you. Your robe's in the bathroom. No, 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 this, this, mommy, this way. Thank you. Okay. Into the bathroom. I'm gonna get the bed open. It's fine. No, mommy, you gotta take your clothes I'm off. fine, Melissa. Mommy, you're not fine. You're not staying in your clothes. Come on. I was so picky. Cooper, at age two, was easier to handle than my mother after an operation. Mom? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm coming. Mom. Okay, no, mom. Mom. Mom, 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 mom. I know, okay. Let, let me get mommy. Liz, I just want to sleep. That's fine, but let's sleep in bed. Why can't I just go to sleep? Because you're not allowed to sleep on the bathroom floor. Head on the pillows. Let's aim for those pillows. Come on, come on, mom. Seriously, come on. <laughs> I look like I'm at the porno awards. That's, that's so, okay, mom. Mom, head up. Mom, seriously, enough, head up. Well, head. So you're very annoying. Yeah, well, so are you. There we go. Let me prop you up. Okie dokie. Here we go, lean back, Mom. Mommy, no, 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 who are you calling? Just wanna check up on Russell's comedy club gig. No, 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 we're not doing phone. Can I get something to drink? I will get you something to drink. I'm begging once. you, I will. Once. I'm but Mom, so Mom, I gotta thirsty. make sure your head's in the right direction. Okay, I am gonna go get you. All right. Some water. Fine. It is much easier for me to walk around with a telephone receiver in my back pocket than risk my mother anesthesia dialing. Melissa, something's wrong with the phone. I mean, she shouldn't be allowed to dial in her right mind, but after coming out of surgery, nothing good will come of it. Melissa? Melissa? Coming. Ooh, water. Thank you. Sit up. got a straw? Oh yeah, I brought a straw. Straw, 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 straw. Melissa? Coming. Water. Yes, it is water. Here we go. A little ice for your chin. Okay, is that good? Good. Can I have some jello? Yes, you can have some jello. Got it. Yeah. Hello, Mike. Come on in the bed. Come on. You like all the men. Here you go. Let's get a little something in your stomach, and I'm gonna get you your meds. Okie doke. Mom, do not, mommy, 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 do not give him jello, please. It's not good for him. How do you know it's not good for him? Because he has a very sensitive stomach. Jello is not good enough for the dog, but it's good enough for me. Come on, where'd you put your ice pack? My vagina. Yeah, because it's so hot and gets so much use. Come on. I don't, I don't know. Well, at this age, it slides over. <laughs> <laughs> it can be anywhere in the bed. <laughs> oh, my stitches. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm here fine. we go. That I'm made me laugh. Okay, eat your jello, please. I'm gonna be up in the office if you need me. Okay. Mike, try it. It's diet. Mike, listen to me. Did you ever see Lassie? I'm stuck here in this well. 
Go find Timmy. Save me. So this will not hurt at all. All right, here we go. <laughs> You're doing good? Mm-hmm. Going to maximize your facial aesthetic. That's the uh, clinical term for get me laid. Oh, that feels good. Is that smell, is that me burning? That's your, yep, that's you burning. That's awful. That's very strange right there. So that was my bone. Yep, I'm going right to the bone. There you go, perfect, relax. I can feel your teeth getting wider. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Home run. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're thrilled. That's oh, yeah. a good sign. That's great. We're all set. Oh, lucky pair. If you have any problems, call me. Oh, I love it okay. so much. Good morning. We have Good morning. visitors. We have visitors. We have oh. visitors. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, oh these are not you. visitors. Okay. These are fellow patients. Hello. hello. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Look oh, at you. Look at you. Isn't it Look nice? Look at the bruising. It's wonderful. Yeah. cheeks. Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. It's Tony. like the ICU in here. <laughs> it's like a zombie reunion. Yeah. <laughs> right. So how was it? it? It was terrific. I got cellulite treatments oh, yeah. and face uh, injections and Botox. Oh, oh nice. Melody, look at your teeth. Yes. Thank you. They, they look amazing. Do. Yeah, they look great. And you look like you just went through hell. He did cheekbones and jaw to make me look more masculine. I said, yeah, good luck. Uh, yeah. No, 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 that's good. <laughs> and you, what did he do? Lasers. Lasers Did here and then, uh, not like a rubber band. Really, thank you so much. Yes, thank, yeah. thank you thank so you. much. Thank this you. was amazing. Gave us a second chance. A second oh, chance? Yeah. A second chance at what? I'm looking wow. good. Oh, I'm gonna be homecoming queen, Melissa. <laughs> if I have to sleep with the entire football team. Again. 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 Exactly. <laughs> you look beautiful. I look like a nun. Our lady of lidocaine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go forth and be filled. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we love Dubai. you. Thank I love you. you. I'm so glad. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I'm thank thrilled. you. I'm thank thrilled. you. Thank you. You're thank you so much. Better Bye. Soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the flowers. Could you just acknowledge one thing? This isn't normal. Who cares? Normal is ugly, Melissa. On Joan and Melissa. You don't oh, see any you difference? Really yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs>《What's your third joke?》We have the Lady Gaga one. I'm very excited because I'm three days post-op. I'm really starting to feel parts of my face again. So I am taking my protege, Russell, and we are going to Lenny's Comedy Club. And I have a great feeling about this. I mean, like Roman Polanski said, I think this kid's going to be good. This is insane. I mean, and I've played them all. Don't worry, to say. I played Toronto conventions. I played bowling alleys. I played a bachelor's party one time where, where I had to come out of a cake. Those guys took a look at me and begged me to go back in. I mean, I have played them all. But a deli? How can you be funny with the smell of sauerkraut? I took I out Mom, do not I took that my that bandages off for a delicatessen. Mom, we have ordered from here so many times. This is Lenny's. That's said Lenny's. I don't care. It's Lenny's. Fine. Thank you. Fine. And then the cop says, you're going to jail. And then he goes, hallelujah. <laughs> you guys all know Michael Vick, right? Yep. Yeah. Mike. What did he say right when he got out of jail? I'm going to Petco. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> These kids suck. Cooper, get up and introduce Russell. Just get up and introduce him. Up next, put your hands together for Russell Cohen. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Woo! Hey, everybody, what's up? What's up? <laughs> so you know the commercial, The Most Interesting Man in the World? Well, I want to be the most interesting kid in the world. I don't always eat candy, but when I do, I prefer gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, and fat-free. <laughs> Oh. 
should, we should have to know. Try not to suck, kid. Yeah. You keep drinking, I'll get funnier. <laughs> so a day before my football game, my dad was making sure I had everything. He asked me if I had my cleats, I said yes. He asked me if I had the right jersey, I said yes. He asked me if I had my Eddie Murphy impersonation, I said, that's hilarious. <laughs> you all to look at the person sitting next to you and I want you to say this three times I am so glad okay I'm, I'm so glad I'm so glad I'm so glad I'm not you thank you thank you Russell did a great job. I thought he was amazing. Thank you so much, because that meant a lot to me and to Cooper that you helped Russell. I think you discovered a new talent. And tomorrow, perhaps at Fashion Police, they will discover a new neck. None of you have mentioned this. What do you think, the truth? Does it look great? Of what? what do you Your makeup? No, my face. I did my face. Where? Face? What do you mean, where? Where'd you do? Oh, here, here, here. You don't Tony, see any difference? Really... What's. You've had something done. You... Yeah, yeah, Joan got us. She got all of us stuff done. You look, you look fierce. No, oh, but for real, God. did you really get. Yes, I really what got did some... you get done? Thank you. Did you say Joan? Joan. I was out for a f week. <laughs> you guys started Wait, to see you she's got a I did. I got the whole bottom part fixed. You did? Oh, let's just go. <laughs> I, 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 I just, we changed the intro oh, for this. Oh, who cares? Come on. <laughs> you don't <laughs> see. Guys, Look, it's a $20,000 joke. This is not a joke. <laughs> we see you every week, and we think you're beautiful. We yeah. love you. Oh. So exactly. it's like, you can't ask us, because oh. you always are beautiful. Yeah, sure. Guys, we're back. We're back. So everyone can focus up. Look up. Three, two. Good night. We love you. Yeah. This is the last one. You've promised me that this is it. We're done. Okay, all right, makes you happy? No more. Finish with plastic surgery. Finish, finish, finish. As soon as I get my nose done. Just wanna have a little lift. Teensy. Next time on Joan and Melissa. Jason's parents are coming in for the weekend. Put them in a hotel. You can't put them in a hotel. I'm begging you. Don't be you. You guys didn't work out stuff before. You didn't work out stuff, Jay? Jay? You didn't do like Grommans or Walk of Fame. Well, that'd be neat to see. Joan, they're gonna throw us out of here. <laughs> it drives me out of my mind. I'm taking you somewhere where we can get you something that can relax you. Are you hooray? <laughs> I'll take it. Tonight on Joan and Melissa. Hello. Jason's parents are coming in for the weekend. Put them in a hotel. I can't put them in a hotel. It's just two nights. I'm begging you, don't be you. You guys didn't work out stuff before. You didn't work out stuff, Jay? Jay? Now here we go. I'm around here somewhere. Any similarity? Joan, they're gonna What's throw us out what of here. She... I am running out of ideas. <laughs> You're driving me out of my mind. I'm taking you somewhere where we can get you something that can relax you. Are you all right? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Give me all the words if I name a word. I don't want to be misunderstood. Come on, come on, come on, make my plans. How do I make you understand? Give me, give me all the words if I name a And scrambled, so and I know insane. what I'm doing. Okay. It's completely insane. Okay. Just make sure that we set up the car. Oh, that's what, yeah? We got a meeting. What's a joke for this dress? That's that simple. What do you think is a good joke for this dress? Let me look. I got a couple. Our house can get a little crazy because I don't have real, like, offices. So with both of us here, I mean, everywhere you turn, there's a meeting going on in another room. I think it's yeah. fine. Melissa? Melissa? <laughs> yes? Uh, we, we have a joke that 
we think is funny, but we're not sure. Okay. Right. A model in a She's red got dress. The red right, right, right. fringy yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young girls beware. Yeah. When it's your time of the month, don't wear a white dress. You have to keep track every 28 days. It's gonna happen, right? <laughs> I mean, it's funny. Yeah. All right. I don't think it's gonna get past network, but it's funny. We're not saying menstruation. Right. We cleaned it up. It's a math joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a math. In my days, it was easy when you menstruated because you just got a couple of leaves, you stuffed yourself, and you sat on the side of the cake. Right. All right, that's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're I back. You got your cello. Hi. Look at that. Hi. Is it a heavy? No, not it really. It looks heavy. <laughs> my God, what the hell is Holy that? Holy mammoth. Yeah, Please, cello. promise me, you're not sneaking a girlfriend in a net. Grandma! I know, I know. Go put it down. Hi, yeah. Okay. How you okay. doing? Hi. Oh. Will you go make sure you put the over oh, and get broken? Yes, yeah, real practice. A cello is not a chick magnet. Mom, he's 10. I know, but in the Middle Ages, he would have been married twice. All a cello is is a violin on hemorrhoids. <laughs> on hemorrhoids or steroids? Steroids. <laughs> and now with my mom being here, all of her stuff, I mean, it's crazy here. And to top it all off, Jason's yeah. parents are coming in for the weekend. I wish that we weren't having guests this weekend. You know how you feel about house guests? So, where are Jason's parents gonna stay? Put them in a hotel. We can't put them in a hotel. So, we'll put them in my room, big deal. Yeah, but so then where are you gonna go? I'll stay with Cooper, it'll be fun. You're gonna stay with Cooper? Bunk bed, I haven't done that since my wedding night. Cooper, guess what? You're gonna have a roommate. <laughs> Great. Hey, babe. Yeah? Oh, are you honestly sneaking a cigarette? Yes, I'm sorry. I'll put it out. Are you that stressed? Yes, I am that stressed. Really? Yes. Why? Our parents have never spent more than a dinner together. I know. I just really want everything to be perfect. Your parents have never stayed here. I want to make a good impression. It's going to be great. It's only a couple days. Okay. It's just, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> All right, gang, we're all set. Mom, it's just tonight. I don't know what you think I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna do routines. Mom, just promise me. Be nice and gracious. Wasn't I nice to your in-laws, your original in-laws? Yes, you were very nice. All right, there you go. There we go. They still owe me for the wedding. All righty. You ready? I'm ready. Camp Chaos begins. Hello. 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 Hey, Hi. how are you doing, buddy? I'm good. Hi. Nice Hi. to see you. Hello. Hey again. Good. Hi, Hi Karen. Hello, good hello, hello. Good to see you. Very good. There's more now. luggage? Good to see you. Good to see you. There's more? You know what? What? Your house looks bigger on TV than it does... In person. In person. Yeah, Isn't that amazing how that works? TV adds 10 pounds to you and makes your house look oh, bigger. Oh, yeah, God, exactly. don't tell me. You guys are going to be staying downstairs. In my room. We were gonna use it as a panic room, but it's too small. Oh, Joan, it's a basement. It's not a basement. A basement is wet. This is very seldom wet. But you may meet a Chilean miner. Ow. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I like to think of it as cozy. Oh. I emptied out the closet for you, so that'll be good. And I emptied out two drawers. Yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah. sweetheart, that's good, all right? Okay. You guys can okay. unpack this one. Um, and then we're gonna be a little tight one. in here. Um, and then this one. Well, I'm glad I didn't we're bring the this. extra suitcase. That's right. Yeah. What do you want to do with them, Jay? All right. Excuse I have an idea. Okay. Yeah. It, well, it's a choice of luggage of people. Is Grandma really staying with me? Yeah, she's gonna stay in your room. She's more. Cooper, come on, do this for me, please. Mom. Come on, Cooper, please. I'm begging you. I will pay you. So much. Seriously, you're having this conversation with me? Go! I gave you life. Okay. Here you go, Paul. I'll start hanging this stuff up here. Melissa, do you have pretty bowls, like silver bowls? Yes, but let me... Where? This looks like a Tupperware commercial. The pretty silver bowls are in the other room. Should I go and get the pretty silver? No, you stir, I'll get pretty silver bowls. Where are all your wedding gifts? You kept them. She had the best wedding gifts. Ugh. I have to try. I've never actually had anything she's made before. Well, I wouldn't call this made. Nice balls. You know what's really sad? The dog isn't begging. I can't find the good bowls. I think they're packed up, but I've got the good plates. Melissa, Phyllis gave you bowls. I know. 
it's not so easy. Everything's all packed up. Oh, remember those? Yep. Carol Petrie gave you these. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you use your stuff? I do, I just You don't. obviously don't. This still has rice from your wedding on it. Oh. If you weren't so stressed out when you entertain, you'd enjoy it more. You don't enjoy entertaining. No one enjoys entertaining. You have people come to your house and you, you show them your good china and the silver and the candles and everything is just perfect. You make them just want to die of envy. That's the joy you get from entertaining. Watching people just tense up and walk out knowing they'll never live like you do. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey guys, hey, how you doing? We come sit. How was the flight? Flight was great. We had nice seats. We got exit rows. It's a lot of An exit row is always very good. Always oh, thanks. Unless you have to exit. So what are your plans? What do you want to do? Well, we don't really have any plans. We just thought we'd hang with you guys. Jay, great. Jay, what are you doing? I'm working all day. I told you guys we're going to have a good dinner, and that's, that's all I can promise you for tomorrow. Are you telling me? OK. Um, so Melissa, you, you'll take them around? I have meetings all morning, Jay, which I told you. I just don't understand why Jason didn't make plans for his parents. I agree with you. I, I, maybe he thought that they were going to take care of themselves during the day. I really. They came all this way. Melissa, when you come to New York, do I or do I not have every minute planned out? Mom, you have every minute of my life planned out for me. And hasn't it been fabulous? You right. guys didn't work out stuff before. You didn't work out stuff, Jay? Jay? Uh, you know what? I would love to take you around. If you'd like to go, we can go see uh, Star's homes, that sounds Star great. Houses, because right. I know I know where everybody lives. Oh, well, that'd be a lot great. of fun. Yes, yeah, so that'd be fun. You can do like Grauman's or Walk of Fame. I do well, that'd be neat yeah. to see. Yeah, I drive you guys down there. Okay, and then we can go see and the Star's we'll homes. We'll do the tour. The, the... But don't uh, expect J Lo and Rihanna. You know what I mean? You're gonna see my stars. Like that's where Dean Martin lived. Oh, Jack I'd love Benny. to see his house. Jane Mansfield's head rolled down that driveway. Who else? Who else died terribly? The thought of my mom and the Zerman okay. spending yes. the entire morning together, terrifying. OK, here's to tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow okay. sounds like okay. a good okay. day. Fabulous. Cooper, what? let me ask you something. Hmm. Why didn't you want me sleeping in your room with you? Because you snore. I don't snore, Cooper, for God's sakes. Who told you I snored? Mom. Well, she's wrong. I don't snore, OK? Your grandfather would have said I snored if I snored. Even his hookers mm. didn't complain. OK. I do not snore. Go to sleep. <laughs> You'll see, Cooper. Good night, sweetheart. I love you, Grandma. I love you, too, Cooper. But I don't snore. Lola, I got up very early in the morning to prepare for the Zimmermans because Melissa and Jason were both gone, and uh, you don't do that with guests. I like things nice. I like to think of myself as Martha Stewart, but without a rap sheet. Well, there's a sign. We'll yeah. see that driver. Yeah. I brought out Can coffee and a little oh, nice. little snack for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Did you sleep well? No. All right. Um. I sleep on that bed. I know it sucks. But that's not what you're supposed to say. As a host, I was supposed to say, did you sleep well? And she's supposed to say, yes. You lie. That's what you do. It's, it's like when Donald Trump says, do you like my hair? You look him right in the eye, and you say, fabulous. And then you win Celebrity Apprentice. All right, what else can I get for you? Oh, it's been great. Sugar? Do you have any of those blue packets or the yellow things? Yes, I think I do. Thank I think I you. do. OK, let me just see. No Very problem. Nice. No oh, problem. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful, Paul? Beautiful. Sabrina. You, you're going to start serving me coffee like this at <laughs> home? <laughs> I only found pink. Is pink OK? No problem. Okay. No problem. This is going to be tougher than I thought. But Jason and Melissa are gone for the day, so hi. I'm Joan. I'll be your tour guide. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. There I am. First in there line. I am. Joan, they're going to throw us out of here. You drive me out of my mind. Where are you going? You just passed a very cute little. I'm going to take you somewhere where we can get something really good. Persistently narrowed narrow stools. stools. It happens. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. This is the old Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. The Marilyn Monroe used to live there. I mean, really? Yeah. Let's go to the Brownwood's Chinese Theater. Okay. Like, oh. okay. I guess we cross over there. Here we go. Amazing how many come yeah, to see this. Come to see this. Look, at, look all at all these, all these people. people. And you got the That's VIP it. tour. We got the VIP tour. Joan, there you are. There Look, I am. Look, first there in line. Are. And my dress. How about this? Any similarity? <laughs> Any similarity? Yeah, you look much younger now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> are they real? <laughs> do you want me to take a picture of you two? Yeah, sure. that'd be neat. What do I do? Just the blue one. Look happy. I think that did it. It didn't do anything. OK, yeah. let's try it again. OK. No, 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 no. Why don't I sketch you? He looks happy here, so you know it's a wax figure, <laughs> which is so sad. And the joke is that he's next to Marilyn Monroe, so it's the wrong president, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> some of them are absolutely lifelike, and then some look like this. Madonna in her dreams. <laughs> and Paul's dreams, too. And Paul's, <laughs> there we go. Great. There we go, okay. Oh, look, Mel Gibson, ah! This, you gotta take a picture. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay. With a Jew. <laughs> wrong. Half of Rwanda should be around them. I always want to know what the tattoo was. It's a <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Where's Jennifer Aniston? Is that Jennifer Aniston? That's just terrible. All right, stand guard. <clears throat> Let me see if I can. Oh, she... Joan, they're going to throw us out of here. What's she doing? I want to bring her over there. I hear she's very easy to pick up these days. There we go. Come here, this is very interesting. Listen, listen. You can hear her biological clock ticking. <laughs> this is a genius place. You know what? Let's go someplace else. This is crazy. I'm exhausted from all this. I am covering more ground today on Hollywood Boulevard than the average hooker. See, now here are all the stars. Right. Here we go. I'm around here somewhere. Errol, Errol okay. Flynn. Oh, look. Patty Duke. Patty Duke. Louis oh, Armstrong. Oh, wow. Sid Caesar. Sid Caesar. I want to show you my star if I can find it. Engelbert Humberdink. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There you oh, are. Geez. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> my star looks like Courtney Love passed out on <laughs> Do you have any Purell? I may have some, here, some uh, hand sanitizer. Here, Paul. You're good at this. Okay. <laughs> Let me give you a hand, Joe. This is the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, better, 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 better. This is very important. Hold on. What is it? <laughs> Deodorant. <laughs> Much better. We all like to pose in front of my star. Everybody go, but um, but um. Here's Melissa. I am running out of ideas. I don't know what to tell you. You volunteered for this. I volunteered, like Lindsay Lohan volunteered for the morgue. Do you want to do the morgue or do you want to go to jail? Well, I'd rather wash corpses. Good point. Jump in. Okay. It's going to be a lot of fun. In are we all set, Von Zimmermans? We yes, are. we are. Keep joking. The Academy Awards are right down there. Paramount oh, Pictures. Yeah. I made a couple of movies in Paramount in the good old days, and the talkies came in and they dropped my contract. Mm -hmm. Bastards. You know what? Your light's here, not timed. You know? Oh, do I love staggered lights? Hey, Mel, could I have a little more air conditioner over here? Yeah. Where do the celebrities live? As a matter of fact, right near here. When you show people stars' houses, they never see the real ones because nobody knows where the stars live. They don't give out their address. See, you make it up and everybody's happy. Over there is Oprah's house, that big one, that oh, huge wow, one. That's huge. And you see the whole guest cottage on the side? That's where they pretend Stedman lives. <laughs> There's Cher's house. You can see she's having some work done. No surprise, huh? <laughs> There's Roseanne's house. She used to have this gorgeous koi pond out there, but she ate them. <laughs> Over there, Sylvester Stallone's house. I can't believe they're buying this. I mean, you're just making this stuff up. Well, a house is a house. Do I'm giving them what these people want. And they don't want to see Justin Bieber's house. They want to see, that's where Rock Hudson the guy. That's what they want to see. Oh, there's Sylvester Stallone's house. Didn't we just see that? Yeah, well, he actually has four on this block. <laughs> it's investment. He loves to invest. Take a picture. There I go, there I go. The Zimmermans are lovely people. But you know something? 
I'm done. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go back to Melissa's. We're gonna have a lovely lunch. I'll leave in the morning. I'll have my life back. I'll be free. Was it just me that I could hear the spaghetti curl around the fork? Was it just me? So, tell me about the day. You walked around Hollywood. That was great. We, we saw the star. We had such a good time today. It was You're a lot a of pleasure. fun. pleasure. It's the same as that you can't stay another day. What a pity, what a pity, what a pity. Why don't we stay? We can change our tickets. Sure. No big deal. Let's do it. Sure. We'd love that. So where are we gonna go? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, we'll do it. Tell you the truth, I am just not up for another day. Then so why did you offer? Because it's called Hosting 101. You say to a guest, would you like to stay another day? And they say, thank you so much, but no. I mean, everyone knows that. You're, May I help you move? Thank you, but no. May I give you a, a lift to the airport? Thank you, but no. May I help you bury that body? Thank you, but no, thank you. Everybody knows that. Will you excuse me one Absolutely. second? Absolutely, it'll right. be fabulous. I'll just make one quick call, change a yes. little plans. It'll be great. Cooper it'll be great. will be back. That's right. It'll be great, it'll be great, great, great. Lynn, oh, thank God, thank God. Listen, you can just gotta get over here right now and pick me up. Because the Zimmermans are staying for another day. Trust me, I know, they're the nicest, the sweetest, and it, it, they drive me out of my mind. You know, well, no, I know Cooper really wants time. to see you guys again. You know, we had these plans already that he was going to go up to his friend Ben's house, so. Okay, all good, all good, good, good all good. good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I just have to, to meet with Lynn tonight. Lynn is in a little bit of trouble, and I'm going to help her. What is Lynn in trouble? She with? has some kind of an audition tomorrow, and she wants me to work on a comedy with her. So she's picking me up in a minute. Well, why don't you just do it here? Yeah, why don't Because the house is full, and because your parents are here. And she needed you tonight? I called her about something else. Uh, cause she's going through the changes. She's been sweating like a pig. Don't talk to her about it. She said, could she please come by and could I work on this thing with her? Delighted. The changes are very hard for a woman. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Where the hell are we? This is where you get the stuff. Is this safe? You're not <laughs> sucking it in. <laughs> Last time someone told me to suck it in, it was 40 years ago. So why were you cleaning the chandelier in your elevator? I don't understand this. It was dirty. Yeah, but you live in a co-op. Don't they have people that clean it? You know, my mind, I Hello. knew it was. Oh, Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Let me get my bag. But I saw Lynn walk in that door. I felt like I was Moses and she was the promised land with hips. Thank you for getting me out. This has been so good. Okay? This is your car? Yeah, do you like it? <laughs> I tricked it out. I opened the door, 22 clowns gonna come out? <laughs> yeah, everyone right. I've ever dated. I just wanna get a glass of Chardonnay, darling. It's been a day like you can't believe. I mean, they're perfectly lovely people, but Wait, I'm out nice. of conversation. I'm out of conversation. Where are you going? You just passed a very cute little Cafe. I'm taking you somewhere where we can get you something that can relax you. A Merlo will relax me. That's no good. I can't drink and drive. That's the one thing I hate about Los Angeles. You can't drink and drive anywhere. No, but in New York, you can drink and stumble home. So I'm going to take you somewhere where we can get something really good. What are you talking about? Where are we? Just well, tell me. Need, where no, we're, we're, we're at this place. We're going to get you a prescription for marijuana. I don't smoke marijuana. Why don't you, let's go have a drink. Marijuana, I mean, she's out of her mind. Out of her mind. I mean, that's just not my thing. But Lynn is so persuasive, and I, I do need to relax. I mean, who am I kidding? And what am I going to take? Propofol? I don't like the side effects. One of them, I think, is sudden death. How can I get marijuana? It's not legal. No, in California, it's totally legal. Lynn. Hi, how are you? My name's Alex. Hi, Alex. Sign on in right here. Sign in. Yeah, Joan um, is having some vision problems, so well, we that, thought... It's stress, stress. 
This place, I have my doubts, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, it looks like the kind of place you go to sell a kidney. We Not, thought it, medical marijuana would help, and she's an L.A. resident, so can we pick up a prescription, sure. you think? Well, if Dr. Frankel feels it's appropriate for her, then yes. All right, okay, so great. Shall I fill this out? Mm-hmm, and then once you're finished, we'll have you see the doctor. Any questions, let me know. Thank you. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, I'll go through them, I and you tell fast, me what you have. Fast, fast. Do you have anorexia? Oh, I, I wish. wish. Weight gain. Yes. Difficulty hearing? What? <laughs> Do you have catechexia? I don't know what no, that is. I don't know what that is to so say no. Glaucoma, possibly. Feeling hot all the time. I have all Not of for this. years. <laughs> Please list any major surgeries. Every plastic surgeon <laughs> in Beverly Hills. Persistently narrowed, narrowed stools. stools. It happens. Just put down stress. high stress. Stress. Dr. Frankel, patient here is to see you. Hello, Alan Frankel. Nice pleasure, meeting you. Pleasure. Just have a seat, make yourself Thank comfortable. You. Okay. I have a little anxiety. So anxiety is the main issue that you yeah. deal with. I'm working very hard and I'm living with my daughter and uh, her in-laws have come and my daughter's living with someone, she's not married and it's well, just- Well, that tells the whole story. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want a little something just to calm me down. If it's legal, if it's legal. It's definitely legal. You think this is better than just Glass of Chardonnay? It's dramatically better. Okay. CBD is one of 80 cannabinoids. Yeah. What the hell is a cannabinoid? You gotta be stoned just to understand this, doctor. THC, for many years, was felt to be the most active ingredient in cannabis. For a number of reasons, including the, the stony purpose. Okay. Here it is in three dimensions. All right. And so it fits into the brain receptors differently than THC. Is it that big? No, they're <laughs> I was gonna say my head. really tiny. Okay, all right. I think I know everything I need to know. Okay, this is amazing. Oh, the eight ball? Does you that know, tell I... you who you give prescriptions to? Yeah, and what prescription to give them. Let's go get your recommendation. We just have to give it the official stamp. Here you go, here's your letter. Yeah. Oh, there it is, Mike's Smoke Shop. Oh. <gasps> Look at this place. Good afternoon. I think this is Good it. Afternoon. How are you? Yeah, those are what those is... are the bongs. That's what I was telling you they about. They look like giant vases. Can Could you, you explain? Uh -huh. I don't understand what I'm looking at. You're looking at glass art, which happens glass to art. be functional. These are pipes. Some of them are interesting. Oh, look, bananas. Oh, oh are these cute. are adorable. Look at the mice. Mice. That's just cute. Mice? Now, these are just pipes. These are not These are bongs. just pipes, but I, I would recommend a bong because it's cleaner. Can I try a bong? Sure. All right. I'll Let's do it. You, you can't friend. use real stuff here, right? So well, tobacco. Me, we'll tobacco. We'll Let's try tobacco. tobacco. Are they just washer safe? Oh, yeah. So I just put my whole lips uh -huh. in here? You're going to mess up your makeup. No, what I do. Suck it in. Suck it in. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Where the hell are we? This is where you get the stuff. Is this safe? Is this your first time in a dispensary? Yes. For sure. Yes. Okay. Um, what is all this? These are, this is going to be your side if you're looking for something for tension. It's going to be all the indicas. Organic? Yep, from California. Gluten free? So but, what do you uh, suggest? Afghan? Afghan kush, yeah. Purple flow. Now um, give me what you would give your mother who is stressed out that her son works in a head shop. <laughs> I think uh, the Louis would be awesome for you. Louis 13th. All right, already I'm liking this. It's French. All right, how much do I owe you? find where we can go to smoke. We need okay. a cul-de-sac. There, 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 there. Look there. for a cul-de-sac. Look at this. This is nice and it's quiet. This place is aching oh. for some weed smoking. You think we're gonna be safe? Yeah, it's perfect. Keep your eye out for cops. Okay, all right. There are little pipes. I got the pipe. What is this? This is, this is Louis the 13th. So that doctor was cute. Did he, he liked you. Oh, he didn't like me. Nobody likes me. Only men that are interested in my body are morticians. <laughs> Come on. It smells good. Give me a pipe, give me a pipe. Oh, these are, okay. Ready now, suck it in while I light it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> are you stoned, wait, is it stoned? No, I'm not stoned. <laughs> you getting there, here, hold on. Okay, oh, wait, they, they come. Okay, go, go, go. 
suck it. Are you not suck it in? You're not sucking it in. <laughs> Last time someone told me to suck it in the car <laughs> was 40 years ago. I'm not feeling anything yet. <laughs> I'm getting the contact. <laughs> oh, God. I'm feeling so relieved. Ah, oh, there we go. Come to Papa. Jay, you remember the time we played with Jerry? And we played for three days straight, taking about a two-hour break. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You hungry? I'm. I didn't eat anything. Starving. I want to eat right now. Let's go. Yeah. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. Oh, it was already on. <laughs> All right. I, I can't tell if I'm moving. I don't think you should drive. Wait. I don't think you should drive. No, you drive. What do we do? You know what we're gonna do? I've got to eat something. We're gonna call <laughs> Melissa. Oh, I don't think that's cool. Oh, no, she's my daughter. She is such a good girl. She's so good, but she she's not cool. She's cool. What's he got over there, Ma? A lot of aces. After you tell him, Karen, that's he won't good. talk to you for another month. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I'll get it. What should I play? Hello? Hi, honey. <laughs> Mom? Hi, <laughs> Mel! <laughs> Mom. Who do you think it is? <laughs> what are you doing? Tell her I said Shaka. Shaka, <laughs> brother. Shaka, brother. <laughs> if you don't stop laughing, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta come and get us. We need you. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are up to. <laughs> I need you. On Lynn the... has the prettiest hair, Melissa. <laughs> Yes, I know Lynn has nice hair. And my hair is pretty, too. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> my hair, my hair is pretty. Oh, my God! <laughs> I will come and get you. Do not go anywhere. Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. I peed myself. <laughs> Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Yeah. Mom, get in the car. All right. I am ashamed of both of you. Oh, oh, oh Melissa, food, truck, food, truck, food, truck, food, truck. Food, truck. Oh, please. This girl has lost a lot of wax. Hand up. That's good. Butt out. Can you make your butt bigger? Bigger. Huge ass. Oh, Perfect. I'll keep that picture. That's great. <laughs> Here we go. OK. Jamie Foxx. Look at that. We should all stand around him and applaud, because that's probably the biggest audience he'll have. <laughs> Oh this, is, God. this is Simon Happy. See, now this is where they make a mistake. If it's going to be Britney Spears, there should be a bag of pork rinds. <laughs> Am I wrong? Here's a kosher sugar boo. There you go. Do you know where the exits are? Ha, ha, ha. It's over there. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought you were Queen Latifah. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Oh, you? my God. I need a light here. These matches are broken. <laughs> <laughs> you have to suck it in. What? what oh doing? my God. <laughs> come, come on, in. come on, let's go. Come no. on, come on, come on, no, come on. Mom, Out mom, of the car. What? Let's go, we're going home. Come on, come on, come, 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 come. Oh, Mom, we're ready. Come on. Give me your keys, Lynn. Lock your car up, and we'll come back for it tomorrow. My 78 year old mother has now become 17. And I become a soccer mom yelling at her teenage kid. Mom, get in the car. All right, me first. Me get first. in the car. Me Both first. of you, get in the car. You are so bitchy. Get in the car. Is mom, that I'm no, Win get in the car. Is my purchase. <laughs> Do you oh. have some Cheerios? Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at the wheel, oh. Alyssa Rivers. I, I am ashamed of both of you. Oh, no. no more ashamed. than I was ashamed when you were in the third grade and you lost a swimming meet. People are ashamed, but you love each other and you get over it. You know, it. you see, get over it. You guys went and bought it's pot old. with Jason's parents in town. Melissa, who was you with them some... all day today, Missy? You were, but Mom, and I, and, and who, running I off made smoking dinner. pot with your friend. I'm not that young, Melissa. I could go any minute. Do you have any idea There's what that was like? I had to leave the the room to even talk to you guys. You are totally correct. I did not mean to embarrass you, and I'm sorry. Would you embarrass her in front of Jason's parents? I would not. No. Especially if there's No, I'm so there. sorry, Melissa. Truly, I'm sorry. 
Oh my god, I know where we're going. I know where we're going. Yeah, we're going back to my house. No, Melissa, up here, there's a food truck. It's a truck full of food and it's a delicious. Food truck, Melissa, delicious come on. fries and delicious oh, burgers. Melissa, food Wait, truck, food truck, food truck, food truck. There is no way in hell I am bringing Cheech and Chong back to the house. It's just not gonna happen. I got a stall. So food they want, food they'll get. Joan, are you really gonna buy our food? Because I'm not gonna bring my burger. I am treating. Okay, everyone everyone out. I'm treating cheeseburger, hamburger, French fries. I haven't had a cheeseburger, and you know how long I haven't. How Tonight long? Tonight is the night to have a cheeseburger. Great, let's just you guys just go ahead and order. Uh, we want order. Okay. Hello. I'm very good, thank you. Can I have two cheeseburgers? French fries or three potato fries? Oh, one of each. <gasps> one one, one of, of each. Yeah, we have Do you have sauces? I have a lot of stuff. You yeah. do. Sure. Oh, you said yeah. it's sexy. You are such a cougar. All right, thank you. Give me three minutes. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Don't you. Don't forget the sauce. Look at that sky. Do you know how many people and are looking at the there. same sky? How many people are looking at the same sky? That's why I asked you. I don't know. I don't know either. It's a joke. We're good here. Made a joke. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's close. Oh, no. We need to catch up. You fine? No, thank you. I'm good. Hey, sir. I'm fine. This is a great meal. You have made a great meal. Go get in the caramel. Congratulations. In a truck. In a truck. Where are you from? We are from Venezuela. Venezuela? Probably a truck means more there. This is amazing. Go get in the Thank you so much. This is an amazing Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, you make a wonderful meal. Get in the car. This is not Get like in fast the car. food. This is a meal. They make a wonderful a meal. And it's a burger and fries. Shh. Jason's parents are asleep. Shh. 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 Come on, Jason's parents are asleep down there. Come on, go over to Cooper's and we'll go to sleep. go to sleep. Okay, Cooper's at a friend's house. Where am I staying? You can stay with me. You guys okay. figure it all out, okay? Shh. I've never been a top. Shh. Shh. You guys, please, just go to bed, please. Shh. Mom, Shh. mom. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Jay. I feel like I have just dodged a huge bullet. Thank goodness everybody is in bed. Thank God Cooper's spending the night at a friend's house. It's all good. No one needs to know anything. No, 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 we need it. This is California. Come on, follow me. No, you don't need your burger. You need to get in the hot tub. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Oh, hot tub. Oh, hot yeah. tub. <laughs> hot tub. Is it hot? Oh. Oh, oh what, this what? feels so toasty. I just, this is like stew toasty. Oh. We have to go in. We have to go in. Oh. It's fabulous. Right now. No, don't. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no. <laughs> Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Uh, what a, we have to go in. Oh. It's fabulous. Right now. No, don't. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my God, no, no. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> it looks like Natalie Wood was in this one. <laughs> if you love me, you would drink out of my shoe. <laughs> I will drink to you too. <laughs> to you. Mrs. Zimmerman and Steve Jones are good. Look, I am. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh. 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 <laughs> Shut up. You're, You're in your f***ing 
Oh, you're right. Shut up. Come here. Come here. What? You're right. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Oh. <laughs> It's funny. It's, it's funny. funny. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> you guys have lost your minds. <laughs> there are treasures here. <laughs> Alyssa, I'm, I'm tempted to hold Lynn's head on the... What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, guys, I'm going to have to explain this tomorrow. This is not <laughs> good. But for once, just do a motorboat, and then I'll let you get out. Hey, babe. What? Come on, time to get up. Seriously? Yeah, we're gonna take my parents out for the day. How can you be so chipper? Did you sleep through all of that chaos last night? What chaos? The screaming, the yelling. Who? For my mom and Lynn. They did a number on the lawn, I'll tell you that much. Let's go, come on. I'm gonna call and see what time the Getty opens. Now you have plans with your parents. Now you're gonna wake me up and share them with me. They're gonna go to the Getty, spend the day, fly out this evening, which I'm hoping will limit any contact with my mother, Snoop Joni Joan. What are you doing? I don't know about anybody else, but let me tell you something. I am never, never going near that stuff again. <laughs> I mean, it burns your throat and it puts on pounds. Oh, God. Melissa, never again. It was just awful. It's just not for me. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, Mel? Yes? We're off. Oh, so glad you came out. Thank you very so much, glad. Mel. So, glad. so good to see you. Jason's parents are going back to Florida today, which means the house will be really nice and quiet, and that way there's not as many witnesses around when I strangle my mother. Jill. Thank you so much, Karen. Yes. You were a pleasure. And I'm going to tell you one thing about the tour. I lied about one Sylvester Stallone house. He only has three. I said four. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sure you won't miss the fourth one. Yeah. We better get rolling. Okay. If you see somebody ticking, don't get on the plane. You're right. You know? <laughs> yeah, got it. Really nice. Yeah. Really? Excuse me? Really, really, really what? Really what? I'm going to go clean my bong. Oh, Melissa, come on. Don't. You know how I feel about smoking. You should not smoke unless you have to lose weight for a movie. This from a woman whose bong is not even cold yet. Just telling you, I'm never going to do it again, OK? I took one look at Snoop Dogg, and I suddenly understand why he looks the way he looks. <laughs> what? What am I going to do with you? Your hair looks great. And I don't need marijuana to tell me that. <laughs> Lynn is bald. <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. You realize I am gonna kill her. Melissa, what is the old story? Take a number. <laughs> and knowing her, her number is 69. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say one thing? Sure. You know I love Cooper, but someone has to put that cello out of its misery. Next time on Joan and Melissa. Don't forget, we have the GPS meeting. Lynn is going to join us. I just want you to be aware. Your driving is shakier than Michael J. Fox sitting on a washing machine. I had to give her. Wait, hey, hey, hey are hello. Why are you listening? I can't stand you. This is easy. Jason's not going to make it. Jason is not part of the family. Well, this is so, ridiculous. I'm sorry. He's not part of the family. I'm sorry, we're going to have to go. It wasn't just a photo shoot to me. I am not Mr. Rivers. I am not your father. Tonight on Joan and Melissa. 
Don't forget, we have the GPS meeting. Do you have directions to the GPS meeting? <laughs> Lynn is going to join us. I just want you to be aware. Your driving is shakier than Michael J. Fox sitting on a washing machine. Okay, now that you're done with Tony's novel, I'll just... Hey, wait, hey, I can't... Hey, hey, hello. Tony. This is not working. Just... Right. Why are you listening? I can't stand you. We're going to be photographed today as the happy family. Two, three. We have a little problem. Jason's not going to make it. Jason is not part of the family. Well, this is ridiculous. Uh, He's I'm not sorry. part of the family. I'm sorry, we're going to have to go. It wasn't just a photo shoot to me. It's just like the other 10,000. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Please, have a seat. So, where are we? Jason and I have been together almost three years, and we want to have a baby. I didn't get pregnant with Cooper so easily, so we've been visiting a fertility doctor. We've done shots, and we're going to find out today what's going on, and legitimately, what are the chances of us being able to have a baby. I really wish that I could have better news for you today. As you know, you were doing some of the medications, and really we had a very small response to despite a very heavy dose. It's frustrating. It has been frustrating because you're doing all that you can do, and yet we're not getting the responses that we want. A lot of this has to do with the original testing that we had done that showed that your ovarian reserve was very low. How much longer do you think we should just keep charging ahead down this road. I think that we should give this one or two more times. Uh, if it's not successful, then we will reevaluate our position. Clearly this road is not going to be easy, but it is going to be worth it. That time of the night, huh? Yep. Now you know the schedule for tomorrow, right? I got that meeting with Bill lined up. Please remember we have that shoot tomorrow and it's important. I will be there. I scheduled it so I should have oodles of time before and after. Okay, perfect. Oh God, I hate this. Why does my stomach always hurt? And I have like flip-flop stomach and anxiety right before we do this every single time. Oh God, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. But it'll be worthwhile, right? Just think about the baby, okay? Yeah. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Ready? Yep. Ah! I am so proud that you are working the way you're working to have a baby. I mean, in my day, it was different. You had a shop, but it went this way, and then all you did was climb in the back seat of the Buick, and nine months later, yeah, it is. It's a lot more sophisticated now, and it's difficult, but it's it's worth it. And now we're gonna be photographed. I'm very excited. Happy, what is it called? Happy Hollywood Homes. I am a little baffled by it. But you and me and Coop. And Jason. And Jason. Yeah, and yeah. it's the first time. It's like we're gonna be a whole unit. Where am I taking you? You are taking me to this big photo shoot on Happy Hollywood Families. and. Melissa and Cooper and I and Jason, we're all going to be in it. Very exciting. And it's nice and it shows again you can have a family in this town. In 100 yards, turn right. There's no choice here. We're a dead end, you idiot. <laughs> Thank you. I don't love my TPS. Don't you? Just stupid, though. No, I don't no love sense this of humor. One. I don't love this guy. Well, the English accent. Yeah, it's awful. I've heard a better English accent coming out of Madonna. <laughs> so you should do this. Well, actually, Tony called me and said, let's do one. He's contacted somebody. And I said, great. So we're going to do a funny GPS. John, you got to be kidding me. Well, this is so boring. Turn left, turn right. Wait, 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 John. You're doing it with Tony. Yeah, well, he called me and he said, let's do it. So we're having a meeting with some guy. Annoying. Tony. He's got this ambition that is just shameful. I feel like he's weaselly. I have to learn to keep my mouth shut when I'm around Lynn. She's a brilliant comic, which means she's competitive, she's insecure, she's paranoid. And with Tony, if Tony wants to do something, Lynn wants to do it immediately, especially if it's a man. Well, do you want to come to the session and help? I'd like to. Consider it done. Just show up at the meeting. 
I'm sure Tony won't mind. So wait, tell me this. So Tony set this meeting up. Tony set this meeting up with a guy with GPS's. Is this like someone he Probably. All the wrong people. Then <laughs> we're so busy talking about GPS and how wonderful it is, she missed four turns. Now I'm late for Happy Hollywood Homes. Good morning. I feel like Dr. Ruth. I'm looking for the happy Hollywood home. Sure. Shoot. You can follow me, please. Oh, are these matches for taking? Sure. Thank you. I have three very gassy dogs, and they sleep with me. My God, you have no idea. Please follow me. Certainly. Oh, wow. They've really done it right. What? No, 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 no. No? <clears throat> uh, Miss Rivers? Yeah. This is uh, not your studio. You need to Excuse me. What? We need to go to another area. This is the wrong studio. This is another client. I'm sorry. I've already touched it. Well, it's okay, but still, we need to go. <laughs> it's delicious. Scott. Hi. Hi. Sorry to disturb you, but I want to introduce okay. you to Miss Rivers. Hi, I'm Scott. Nice to know you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Thank you. Let's go hair and makeup. You ah, hello, sweetheart. Oh, is mommy here? Hi. Okay. Hello, hello, sweetheart. Hello. You look very pretty this morning. Thank you. Yeah. So we're doing Happy Hollywood Homes. Happy Hollywood Homes, and that's it. This photo is really important to me for a lot of reasons. My mom accepting that Jason is part of this family, it's a big deal. My mom is very much like, you're not married, it's not committed, you know what? It is committed. Cooper's father and I split up when he was nine months old. And I've never been in a solid, real relationship since then. Jason being in this picture and my mom allowing that is a huge deal for me. So I'll be the interviewer. So are you happy? No. <laughs> you gotta say yes. So are you happy? Yes. Who do you love the most? You and mom. That's very good. Always put me first. <laughs> Always put me first. This is good. When you think about who the choices were, Happy Hollywood Homes, let's talk, uh, who are they gonna ask, the O'Neills? Oh, no. Uh, uh, the Lohans? Mm-mm. The Mansons, definitely not. No, we're definitely above that. A group. Yeah. Yeah. So, Miss Rivers, what are you feeling on clothes? Color, I guess, happy. What do you got in black? I love these. I love that S&M thing. Yeah, isn't that great? That's good. I wore that my wedding night. Don't. Don't take it personally, Melissa. I'm Your not. father loved to be stepped on. Oh, mom. <laughs> Where's Jason? Uh, he should actually, he should be here by now. Hey. Where are you? Hi, Miss Rivers. I'm Stephanie. Pleasure nice. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Excited to be part of this. Great. We're really looking forward to the photo shoot and getting all four of you in there together. Are you having trouble finding happy Hollywood homes? It can be difficult. Yeah, so... especially with straight people. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you just a couple of Gays questions. Gays are happy. They, they um, decorate so and they <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what the secret to a happy home is. I think 3,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're not going to make it? Come on. Really? Yeah, I'm annoyed. Okay. Bye. He's not gonna make it. Mm -hmm. I think Melissa is an amazing mother. I mean, she's much more of a homemaker than I was. When I really wanted to punish her, I sent her to sleep with supper. You know what? I'm sorry. Let's wait on the clothes. Let me get, let me just see your makeup. I just want to okay. know All what, right. what you look like later. I'll put you on this box. Okay. How is the lighting? Let's, we're gonna get it dialed in. Let's sit right there. Is that comfortable for you? Oh yeah, very, I can't wait. It's like Auschwitz. How comfortable can this be? Hi. Cooper, Melissa, hop yeah. in. Okay. okay. So. Mom, we have a little problem. Tell me. Um, Jason's not gonna make it. What are you talking about? He's not gonna make it. He's stuck at work. All right, so he's not no, gonna not make right. it. We need to Here we go. Look happy. We're not gonna reschedule. Mom, have They're to asking. Reschedule. They ask you for families. Yes, this is the family. Yeah, but we're a family. Jason's part of the family. Jason is not part of the family. Well, he is part of the family. Couldn't we put somebody else in for Jason? Yes. 
Could oh, we? We're gonna have to a stand in coming. Yeah, for yeah, Jason absolutely. Come in, really come in. Just step in. Are you serious? Yes. Are you expecting the four shot. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. What we're doing in my shot. Shot Jason's head again. This is good. good. You know what? This is the, ridiculous. A family go. has a cemetery plot. It doesn't even have to be in it. We're gonna have coffee. He's not a part of the family. Have to go. Thank you. When you get married, you're the family. We're as married as we're gonna get. Then you're not family. I'm gonna have, I just, I, I gotta go. I'm so sorry. Skinny, sexy I'm so thing sorry. Out. Let's just get out. I don't understand any of you. Who are these people? We're a very happy family. <laughs> it's a glitch. It's a glitch. Hello? Hello? Hey, babe. Hey. How'd it go? Uh, how was your meeting? Great. Great. I might have another client, which is great. Well, that's great. How'd it go? What happened? My mom wanted to still do the shoot without you, and then her way to fix it was to have someone stand in and just Photoshop you in later. So what? What do you mean, so what? You do these all the time, you right, know? Right, but it's supposed to be all, you know, a picture of, like, the family. It happens. I know it happens, but you're being just like her. Like, it's a photo shoot. It wasn't just a photo shoot to me. It's just it like the other 10,000. We've talked about family. We've talked about we're trying to have a baby. We've talked about we're trying to do all these things. And then at the first opportunity, you put work first. How about we make time away from people. cameras? How about making time for not letting other people down? How much I care about this family. The fact that I'm sitting there giving you shots. The fact that I'm busting my ass out there. And you have the audacity to bust my balls about going to a meeting. You're just you like, know what? whatever, just another photo shoot. You don't think that just maybe this one was a little bit different? It, how's it different? How's it different? How's it different? Because we were going to all be photographed together for probably the first time. So what? Let's get a poll right. We'll go do it on the lawn right now. That we'll send ridiculous. it in. ridiculous. I can't even you be rational with you. Don't You're so hormonal your... right now and irrational. I'm hormonal and irrational. And I don't know why really? you're getting pissed. Go f yourself. F you. Exactly. F you. You know what? You knew exactly what you Have were getting fun. into. I am not Mr. Rivers. I am not your f father. I'm not going to end up like him. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Jason and I had a major blowout. I haven't heard from him. I don't know where he is. I do. I want a family. I don't want show business. She didn't leave. You left, Jason. This is not working. Why aren't you listening to what I just said to you? I can't stand you. It has been hours since Jason left, and I don't really get what's going on. And to bring up my father, so the fact that he would throw that in my face is so hurtful because he knows that my father's suicide destroyed me. And to take that and use it as a weapon, that's really one of the most hurtful things anyone could say to me. I don't get it. Have you heard from Jason? No, no, no. I'm just um, uh, having a hard time connecting with them today. Hi, you bitch, Jason. Please leave your name and number. Hello? Melissa? Jason? I don't trust a quiet house. A quiet house means trouble. Read your history. The last thing Lizzie Borden said to her family was, shh. Hello? Don't come in. I'm oh, in the it's tub. It's locked. Mom, don't come in. Just, All right, just okay, I got it. In. I heard you, I heard you. Okay, here we go. Whenever Melissa really gets upset, she takes a bath. And the cleaner she gets, the more I worry. I just came to say goodnight. Which part of don't come in is unclear? I am just here to say I'm sorry about this afternoon, okay? Whatever. And, uh, please, I just you want You look like Thank you. Thank you. I just want five minutes to myself, What's please. What's the matter? Jason and I had a huge fight. We have never had a fight this big. He's never walked out. He's walked out? Yes, he's walked out. We got into it about the stupid picture, and next thing I know, we're screaming, and then you just were like, it doesn't matter, we're really the family, it's just you, me, and Cooper. I'm doing these 
fucking shots. Now I gotta do it all night by myself. Well, see, you're not doing anything by yourself. I am here. Mom, you're not. I am here and your son is here. You're not by yourself, Melissa. It sure feels like it a lot of times. Come on. You want me to massage your back? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? I just need to get the shots going. You know, I worked every summer during college with my dad's assistant. Yes, I know, I've heard. So let me help you. When was the last time you gave a shot? 1952. My dad was a doctor and I worked with him every summer as a receptionist, but I'm not good with needles. I mean, it's times like this that you wish Courtney Love was a family friend. So I decided to practice. Are you allergic to anything? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. If this orange gets pregnant, I'll know it worked. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab right here, right in the muscle. Okay. Okay? Okay. 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 And... All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and... Okay, big Okay. okay. We're so throwing. Now up. is when it burns. All right. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. And I'm not mad at you, Mom. I'm not mad at you either, Mom. Maybe he just doesn't want what I want. I'm so confused. Okay. It'll be all right. Don't blow smoke up my ass. Am I getting too mean? No, I mean, I think that's why people tune in. They want to hear you. All right, okay. You know how many Christmas cards I got last year? Take a guess. I, you're Jewish, so let I me, really wouldn't know. Let me put it know. this way. I have more breasts than cards. <laughs> <laughs> Jason did not come home last night. I'm pretty much beside myself. But, you know, bright and early, I have responsibilities. So, off to work. Time for Fashion Police. Listen, would you do me a favor and go on the set and just check on Melissa? She had a fight with Jason, and it's not good at the moment. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I am, too. need I to get I... you ready for the show, and I know Melissa is a pro, and she'll be... She'll be okay. Fine. Hey, we're 10 minutes out. Fine, good. Does that work? Did you hear anything? Yeah, we don't Did even you hear anything? No, I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything. Nothing? No, nothing. An email? Nothing. I haven't heard anything. Nothing. nothing. I don't really so don't want to talk. Hear I'm not talking about it. I'm just asking you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. I didn't tell anyone to talk soup. Don't forget, after the show, we have the GPS meeting. Do you have directions to the GPS meeting? <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious if we got lost on our way to the I GPS I think that would lose us the gig. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Lynn is going to join us. I just want you to be aware of it. She's going to meet us there, so don't get crazy. I'm just telling you in advance. She's going to meet us at the GPS thing? Yeah. You know Lynn. Go tell Lynn no. I say no to her every time she asks if she can be on the Fashion Police writing staff. I don't know how to say no to her. And, and when you say no to her, she doesn't hear it, you know what I mean? She turns away. She pretends she's Marley Matlin. <laughs> you, you know Marley Matlin was fired four times at Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> she just didn't hear it. <laughs> I'm not really sure what else I can do to get in touch with Jason. Conrad's asked me to meet him for lunch and hopefully he can help me sort this out. What's going on? Jason and I had a major blowout. I don't feel like he's so committed to being a part of our family. I haven't heard from him. I don't know where he is. I do. He's uh, actually been on my couch. Hey, well, hold on. Before you get all upset at me, look, look. He said, I just need a place to Why sleep. Why didn't you tell me? What did he say happened? I screwed up, you know. I don't know what's wrong with me. He's in that state of confusion that anybody gets in when they have a blowout. But you're one of the few people that I think is, I can go to bed at night and know that they're on my side. I am on your side. That's why I'm here. What do you want me to do, Mel? I want you to help fix this. I'll have a, have a heart to heart with him. We'll see where, what happens. Hey, Tony, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Look who I brought. Here's Hi, Mr. Jones. Nice Thanks for coming. Nice pleasure, to meet you. Pleasure. Please come down in. Thank you. And are we waiting on anybody else, or is this going to be everyone today? My manager can't make it, and Lynn is 
place. After all that bitching and complaining with Tony, Lynn didn't even show up for the meeting. So just explain to me, how does this work? The way that this started was people got really tired of hearing boring, turn right, turn turn right left. repetitive. It's a nasty voice. It's very, you know. Dry. So we said, why don't we take some familiar voices, get some legends in the studio, and take their voices and record them for navigation. I sure. didn't even know celebrities are doing this. I know. So some of the celebrities we work with are uh, people like Flavor Flav, David Hasselhoff. Would you trust Flavor Flav to tell you to make a right? I would probably do what he tells me. All right. You have an instantly recognizable voice. You're obviously an international superstar. Should you read us some of the stuff that you have? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be a real honor. Turn left. Oh, look, there goes my career. OK, OK. Right. Um, oh, great job driving us into traffic. Do you excel at driving things up here? Oh, never mind. You think this is funny? Imagine going on a date in that shirt. That's funny. <laughs> you wrote all these? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Turn right. If that were any easier, they'd call it turning Chelsea Handler. How much is something like this? Ten bucks. So how many do you think you could sell? Oh, I think we could easily sell a hundred thousand. A million dollars? This guy's nuts. Two grand. I'll sit in the back seat of your car and give you directions myself. Well, Joan, what do you think? I, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Great. Great, guys. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Jokes suck. Come on, it's a great idea with the jokes. No, no, we'll get you better jokes. That's well, not the problem. Right, well, you, you do it, fine. Okay, you no, do no, the jokes. I do it or me and Lynn? I'm not getting into that. This is my thing, right? I mean, yeah. she wasn't even here. You and Lynn, it's up to the two of you. I don't want to get involved in the middle of this. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I mean, I'm really just over it. We had a business engagement, and two of us were there and one of us wasn't. Oh, this is not it's working. Just... Why aren't you listening to what I just said to you? I can't stand you. I'm going crazy. You left. With all due respect, just stay the f out of our lives. Oh, Mom, wow. why do you have to talk about this stuff here? I, I think now. it's wonderful. But I don't want people to know about it yet. It kills me to see you upset, and it kills me to see this going on in the house. I'm confused, and I feel like I'm dealing with a stranger. And there's so much at stake right now. I'm not ready to give up on having another child. I'm not, I'm not ready to give up. Well, if you want to have another child, I will carry it for you. Mom, you don't have a uterus anymore. I'm so upset about Melissa, I don't know what to do. So when I don't know what to do, I always call Margie because she has great advice. She's the one that said, lower your hemline, your nipples are showing. Hi, Joan. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to call you this late, but I had to talk to you. You would not be calling me if you didn't do something wrong, so what did you do? Melissa and, and Jason had a very big fight and he's walked out. He's left. Oh, no. What happened? They were doing this happy Hollywood family stuff, and uh, he didn't show up for the, the photo shoot or something. It was business. And I said, we can do it anyhow, because he's not really family. I can't believe you did that. Are you crazy? They're not married, Margie. Today, nobody cares about marriage. Did this ever happen to you with, with Ricky? No, because I'm a great mother, and I don't do things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me? First of all, you need to find him. And you need to make it good. What do I say to him? Come back? Yes. I'm trying to be a good mother. I'm trying to make a family. And it's just blowing up in my face. Well, of course it blows up in your face. You have to try just a little bit harder. I blame you for everything. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> I thought finding Jason would be a problem, but then I remembered he used to be a tennis pro. So I knew exactly where he goes to blow off steam. Because I mean, I just, I want to get to the bottom of this for Melissa's sake. I got to talk to you, Jason. All right, I'm coming down, Jason. I've got to talk to you. Whoops. When is halftime? Jason, will you just listen to me for one sec? I just, just want, hey, hey, hey. What, what do you want? I just want to talk to you privately. Can you can't talk... be out here with those shoes. 
Are you serious? Then I'll take the shoes off. Can I just... I'm getting off the car. Can I just talk to you for Joe, a second? Joe, later. I'm, I'm playing with a buddy right now. Yeah. It's been a rough day. I know. Could you just let us for a minute talk? Just for a minute? This is very hot. This, Jason, just tell me, what can I do? Stop getting in the middle. I'm not in the middle. I'm just trying to well, come Why out. are you here? Because Melissa is upset. Is tell me what it is and what I can do. What is making you angry? I come home and she questions me about being committed. I'm in there giving her shots in the stomach every damn night. I'm in there taking care of Cooper. I'm in there cleaning up the drama that you cause in my life. What drama? Every day. She asked you to take a photo. Work comes home every day, right? Yes. Why the hell do we have to bring it home? Why bring... can't we just have a place to shut it off for a minute? This is show business. You don't just stop at 5 o'clock. Show business 24 hours jo and it's jo fine. I want a family. I don't want show business. Show business has been very good to us. Look, look where we're standing here having an argument. We're in Malibu. But we look, live in a beautiful I'm house. Here talking the to you. boy goes to school. I don't have Mel and schools. Cooper here. You I'm left, arguing with Jay you. I don't, I'm going crazy. You left. She didn't leave. You left, Jason. If it weren't for Melissa, you want to know something? I would kick this guy right in the tennis balls. Enough. What am I going to do? You're going to pick up a phone and you're going to say, I'm coming home. If nothing changes, there's no point in coming home. With all due respect, just stay the f out of our lives and let us handle it. Damn it. Sorry, Bill. Son of a bitch. You got a ball, Bill? I don't know what he wants. This is our life. This is our business. And I, what am I going to say? Jason is wrong? Maybe he shouldn't be in this business with us. Maybe he shouldn't be with a woman that is in this business. I, I don't want to be the one to say that. But uh, she's my daughter. She's my only daughter, for God's sakes. Of course, I'm going to go in there and try to make it better. I just don't know what the hell to do. I don't know what to do anymore. All right, Joan, we're going to try some more. OK, I'm ready. I'm ready. With all the stress that's going on with Jason and Melissa, it's great to get into a studio with Lynn and Tony. Just little lovebirds. Caution, deer crossing ahead. I tell you this to slow down. Or, if you're Sarah Palin, to slow down and reload. <laughs> Hi, this is Joan Rivers from Fashion Police. The car behind you is the real police. That turn I just told you to make was illegal. That's so many words. Hi, this is Joan Rivers. I'm sorry, I, I'm... Okay, now that you're done with Tony's novel, how about just, there's a mirror in the car for a reason. Brush your hair. There's a mirror in the car for a reason. Brush your hair. Well, that, if you have something. I know. I notice you've gone to three gay bars, a dirty bookstore, and a park known for anonymous sex. Have a nice day, Senator. Three gay bars. Go ahead. A dirty bookstore. A dirty bookstore. And a park known for anonymous sex. Park. Or a rest area. Or a rest area with a glory hole. Wait, park area. <laughs> with a glory hole. I'm helping you. I've noticed you stop. I've noticed you've gone to three gay bars, a dirty bookstore, and a rest stop with a glory hole. Have a nice day, Senator. The trip you've entered will last approximately 53 minutes, the same as, as J-Lo's next joke. marriage. <laughs> the trip you have entered will last approximately 53 minutes, the same as J-Lo's next marriage. <laughs> See, it wasn't that long. Funny. Battery power is low. You got to do something about this. I'm going to be gone soon. Your battery power is low. You Dude, better I don't just... know whether you should turn right or left, but I do know the shirt you're wearing is hideous. But, hey, guys, That's come so on. so much better. Just give me a chance to say it. If that... Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, let's go back. You, what, what did are you, you say? Did she just ask The shirt to do you're it? wearing? I don't know whether you should turn right or left, but I do know the shirt you're wearing is hideous. Okay. I don't know if you should turn right or yeah, turn left, but I do... Hey, wait, hey, I can't hear. Guys. Hey, hello. Hello. Two of you... She keeps hitting the button. I'm trying to tell you what the line is, and then she hits the button, and you can't. I, I'm trying. Just come on in. Just. This is not working at all. At all. Yeah, you don't get to just not. No, you show know what? I've had enough. I've had enough. You're a, a dick. dick. I can't stand you. You're a really? douchebag. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Comics support one another. You can't give her a half-written joke. See what I'm talking that about? She okay, that's it. That's it. Oh, Mom, wow. why do you have to talk about this stuff here? But I think it's wonderful. But I don't want people to know about it yet. Have you talked to them? What's going on? You're not behaving like the Jason that I know. It's all a little weird. 
Let's just take it from the top of page three. Okay, all right. Um, at the next intersection, turn right. Or pretend you're Melissa and turn left and then blame me for your whole life. <laughs> the address you have just entered is another dog adoption center. You are either a real animal lover or Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> In one kilometer, make a U-turn, then quick, make another U-turn. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> with you. <laughs> Isn't this technology great? You don't know how lucky you are. My first GPS was the sun. <laughs> Give me a second to figure out what you're supposed to do next. I'm in my 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Your driving is shakier than Michael J. Fox sitting on a washing machine. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but that's too much. Hey, wait, hey, I can't hear, guys. Hey, hello, hello. Just come on in. Just this is not working at all, at all. Why don't we? Sorry, he is pushing the button and jumping. You're saying what's the line? You're asking what's the line? I have to push the button so you can hear it. You can't read my lips through the glass. No, I can't. No, I can't. But what happens is you tell a line and we start to do it. Then Lynn comes in and then I start to do that line. Right, and then she comes in as something that's not even funny and has you can't use. Tony, that is not true. Yours are so freaking long. Because you're starting with the beginning and then you have a punchline at the end. This is not working. I I can't stand how condescending you are to me all the time. Well, I'm I'm really just over it. Like, who cares if you're. It's all written down. Yeah, because I was at the meeting and I did the work Tell and me, I showed up I prepared. I couldn't be at the meeting because I was at a gig and I was postponed in Salt Lake, Utah. I, that's very impressive, but I'm saying we had a business engagement and two of us were there and one of us okay. wasn't. Okay. Uh, so, why aren't you listening to what I just said uh, to you? You always yes. ask me. He acts like I'm not a comic yes. and I'm not really here because he writes on your show. All right. Okay. Yeah, because I go to an office every day and write jokes that are on a TV oh, show. Okay. And I, I just happen to do what Joan does. I just happen to be out on the road. Yeah. Working at comedy. No, floor. it's exactly like you Joe. You're right. Do. I stand corrected. You're such okay. an ass. I, I can't stand you. No, no, no I can't. No, no. But Lynn, I'm Why don't we sorry. Just take it's two a, minutes. If we're going to be professional, then don't let's call. be professional and do the job. Yeah, all right, let's. Oh, all right, let's. Let's all oh, have I'm a such cup. an oh. ass. So oh, wrong. This is I, so wrong. Come on, guys. Look, I'm gonna Come punch on. you. This in is your so face. wrong. This is. I'm just we're saying. We're doing a job here. We and it's we're supposed be to be here showing her. We're supposed to show up with jokes yeah. for her Come on. and have her be okay, funny. I'm and sorry. it's this I'm handwritten. Sorry. I'm sorry. Tell because you what? didn't hear me. Just said to me, "Wait, be behind your back." He's like, "Because it's not funny," and I can't take that. It's not funny. How am we supposed to give her stuff that's not funny? Because I don't say to you, you're not funny. We comics support one another, Tony. Right, you right. don't say that you're to funny. somebody. You can't give her a half-written joke. You can't it's give her a half-written joke. It's not a half-written joke, you're, you're Tony. Fine. This is, is that the make way Joan upset? and I have always worked. If that makes you upset, okay, he won't it say it anymore. It does upset me. I don't, you I'm know just... I don't care if you call me a whore. Okay, just don't call fine. me not Good. funny. You're a funny whore. Okay, how about that? Funny whore. Right. Does, that, does that satisfy you? Fine by me. Does that satisfy you? Fine. Hilarious. I would have preferred if the funny whore showed up with actual jokes written on paper. That she could have given to you. I have had 40 you years without ass. you, kids. Let me job? Uh, you know, so just give me this. Just give me this stuff. Tony, I was and let me bro. go in on my own. Okay. okay. No, but this is also Okay, well, just go in on my own. I know that's just... Okay, sorry, Okay, Tom. that's it. I'm that's sorry. it. I'm okay. going in on my own. You're an idiot. Okay. I'm terribly sorry. So, where do we leave off? Even though the shoot for magazine fell through, Missy and I were booked to go on Peter Tilden's show, and hey, it's free publicity, and at the end, you get a t-shirt. Talk Radio 790K ABC, sitting here with Joan and Melissa Rivers, who are my neighbors, my friends, my family, and are you guys getting along now for the minute, or? Yeah. You sold that big. Didn't yeah. I? Yeah. yeah. On a scale of two, one to ten, how are you getting along? It was a seven and a half, eight. Would and you any... give your mother an organ right now if your mother needed Absolutely. a kidney on the spot? Absolutely. That's look at me, a look at your mother and say you're doing it. I would give it. you a kidney. Yeah, that's because you know you're not the same blood type. <laughs> Higher liver, All right, hold on, Joan, would you give her an organ if she needed it? Right right uh, now. Yes. No, if there's time liars. in the schedule. Oh, then Melissa, you give me an organ. like I wouldn't give you an organ. You would if you I would give you an organ. What do you think you'd give me an organ? You, I think about. Yeah, how dare you? Get up. We love each I other. I'll never be a 10. 
Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why could you never be a 10? Because you can't 10... do unconditional love for your mother? Well, you do, but I just Wait a 10... second. If the Nazis were pulling me out of the whoa, house... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do we have... We always have to go to Nazis, write the Nazis. Yeah. Oh, you try to find the most extreme. Right, but I'm just... If Mel Gibson were pulling me... <laughs> yeah, that would be a 10. <laughs> were you just listed or nominated as one of the happiest... We, they were doing this whole... Oh, they are doing this whole photography thing on happy Hollywood homes, or happy Hollywood families. <laughs> and that's what I said. Low Will I Smith. felt so sorry for, for the report because we had a, a, an argument on the set. Of oh, the happy doing, Hollywood family. I don't think they're even doing the, show, the story now. You're happy because you don't fight. Well, you don't Jason talk. didn't come. He's part of the family. He's part of the family. I thought you guys are like, it's a... Uh, yeah. Mom, I'm like, why is this necessary to talk about that Jason didn't show up? Well, he's asking me what okay, happened. And you said, and what was your, your answer was, Jason got caught up at work, and she's like, don't worry about it, we'll just Photoshop him. Well, Photoshop him in. What's so terrible? Give him okay, a better I body. Okay, they photoshopped Oprah. Remember that on TV guy? They gave her a good body. They photoshopped a lot of people. Okay, I don't want to talk about this. Seriously, it's not, it's not right, really just... like, do you have to drag my, my out everywhere? No. Apparently, yes. I see how you got they to be one of the happy fight. families. They had a fight over it. Seriously? Where was Jason? Jason was stuck at work. So why didn't you wait till he came from work? Apparently, both of them have the same feeling, which is, it's just a placeholder. It's just this Photoshop person. It's not so. And he had the same feeling it's, about that it was all much, good. He's much more he's, angry. I saw him this morning. What do you mean you saw him this morning? We'll talk during commercial. Oh, really? Where did you see him? I went to see him. You went to see him? Yeah, I went. Why didn't you talk to me about this but I went. I, Go ahead, I, Mom, you can't. I happened to be driving past the tennis club. Oh, really? And? And I went to see him to, and? to say that... Uh, he and Melissa should talk things out. I, I think they should talk What's to each other. I think it's great. That? I think I was like Dr. Phil in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, why did you go and talk to him? And second of all, I don't want to talk about this here. Okay, oh, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I went to talk to him because... Mom, I don't want to talk about this here. Okay, fine. All right, fine. Wait a minute, this is great radio. Why wouldn't you want to talk about this here? Because so what happened? I don't know, Mom. What happened? He told me to go myself, okay? And then? Well, I tried. Oh, look at her face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried to go and speak okay, to him. Wait, 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 maybe you could talk to me about this privately. I'm sorry. Apparently, my life is just total public consumption. That there's nothing sacred. No, I'm sorry. He's do they're doing. They're trying to have a baby. He's giving her those terrible shots. Again, I have something that is not for public consumption. Wait a minute. Trying to have a baby? Yeah. Oh, Mom, wow. why do you have to talk about this stuff here? I, I think now. it's wonderful. But I don't want people to know about it yet. So we'll talk quietly. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Have you talked to him? What's going on? He's not behaving like the Jason that I know. Is he depressed? I don't know what's going on. It's all a little weird. Okay, well, let's try and make sure we get that deal done. I want to get that she knows thing done fast. Okay, oh, Greg, I got to jump. It's Conrad. It is now day two, and I have not heard a word from Jason. I'm hoping that Conrad has some information for me. Hello? Mel, how you doing? Ugh, nauseous. I just figured I'd call and check in on you. Are you eating anything? Not really. But what's, well, what, have you talked to him? What's going on? He's not behaving like the Jason that I know. I can't get my head around any of this. I've been trying to get in touch with him off top. Where the hell is he? He hasn't been around. I don't know what he's doing now, but he hasn't communicated. I just really want to be able to talk to him. I just, I am not looking forward to going to the fertility doctor by myself. I mean, that's ridiculous. I have no clue what to make of this. I don't even know if Jason remembers that we have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. I'm willing to talk and figure out what is going on, but apparently he's not. Will you just keep me posted? Yeah, I will. Okay, thanks, Conrad. Okay, have a good one. Bye. Mom, you really do not need to be here with me. Melissa, I'm not going to let you go through this alone. Don't be silly, of course. Thank you. I appreciate it, but seriously, I'm fine. I know you're fine. I just want to be here with you. It doesn't hurt. Okay, here we are. Okay, this is it? This is it. Okay. What? Jason's in there. Okay. You go in by yourself. Okay, I love you. I love you, too. I'll tell you what the doctor says. Okay. Be nice, Melissa. I will. He capitulated. Hey. I'm sorry. 
That's the, yeah. Yeah. You guys can come on back. The doctor's ready for you. It is a relief that Jason is here, because now we can talk things out. We got a lot to talk about. What's next? I mean, I just guess I go day by day. But you're trying to have a baby. You can't go day by day. I know. I'm not going to just at the first sign of trouble, throw my hands up and walk away. That's not who I am. When your father and I used to have an argument, I always accepted his apology. Did you ever apologize? I was never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's never wrong. I would if the I was burden, ever wrong. The burden, the that burden, you, the burden of, of always being, being right. right. Let's get you guys a little bit more centered. Joan, if you could move over just like four inches this way. And then Cooper, same thing. I like it. Let me take a look at you guys. That's really great. One, two, three. Because this is Hollywood, we are going back to finish the Happy Hollywood Homes photo shoot. And it makes sense because we're happy. We're not happy, but we're happy. Good, good, good. Good, good, John. All right. You guys can have some fun. OK. And then Jason, Melissa, over this much? I really don't know what the future holds. It's scary. But I want this relationship to work. Let me see. Next time on Joan and Melissa. This is your vacation. It's wonderful. We love it. But you can handle it. I'm going. Geronimo! We're going to go riding. Oh, my god. This is killer. 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 Fly fishing. I am the host of Fashion Police. You got Why is it every time you go to a bar, you end up performing? <laughs> and you got to tell oh. some jokes. Go River. Oh, my god, quiet it got. It's going to be so much fun. Tonight on Joan and Melissa. This is your vacation. It's wonderful. We love it. But you can handle it. I'm going. I'm done. Geronimo! We're going to go shooting. Is this not safe going no. backwards? Uh, not really. No. Riding. This is killer. 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 Oh, my god. Fly fishing. I've heard a plane hard to get, but this is stupid. Why is it every time you go to a bar, you end up performing? <laughs> hey, you got to oh. tell some jokes. Hey. Joan Rivers. Oh, look how quiet it got. It's going to be so much fun. Everybody is so thin this week on Fashion Police. Once, I'd like to say to them, my God, look at Kathy Bates. She looks amazing in that stretch Armani. You never hear that. I know my mom keeps saying she's bicoastal, but let's be serious. She's living here. And what that means, all of the work that both of us do is coming out of this house. But I'm getting ready. I'm trying to get everything packed and organized. Jason Cooper and I go away every year to this amazing ranch in Wyoming, and it's rustic. And for me, it's the one place in the world that I can truly shut down. Extra socks. Always, especially socks. for Cooper. Because I don't want to have to worry about getting changed for the laundry machine. Wait a second, they have a laundry machine? I'm going to try yeah. the shoes. Melissa, you're going to a hotel. No, it's like, it's a ranch. We spend days in the river fly fishing. We, we love it. We love it. Yeah. It's rustic. It's like roughing it. Well, roughing it for my mom is no turn down service and mint on the pillow. I don't know where you got these jeans from. Somewhere in Russia, my grandmother f a Cossack. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll go. But you couldn't handle it. Oh, like I couldn't handle it. Cooper would love it. Are you kidding me to have grandma there? Absolutely. Are you kidding? It's a whole different way of life. 
You're gonna be miserable. It's just, it's, you couldn't handle it. It's not your cup of tea. I'm going. Home, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. You're gonna have such a good time. Come on, It'll Melissa. It'll be fun. Why did I dare my mother? God, you got to think. Think before you speak. Does Ralph Lauren sell boots? <laughs> I'm telling you, you're not gonna last six hours out there. Oh, please, I saw Brokeback Mountain twice. What else is there to know? I have trouble staying away from work. There's no way with your compulsion that you're gonna be able to stay away from work that long. It's just not gonna happen. Is Cooper gonna be there? Absolutely. Then I'm gonna stay away. I to spend time with Cooper, Missy. I mean, he's growing up. I wanna spend time with him. Okay, well, we're flying out Friday. Great. I have a show in Chicago and I'll meet you there. Perfect. Here, guys. Oh, no. Oh. I will see you next week. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we are. Go throw yourself in your room. I've been going to the ranch for years. It's 9,000 acres right up against the Bighorn National Forest. It's very wild and rustic, but I don't think they're ready for my mother. Hello? Hello? This is it? This is the one. Home sweet home. This is one of our nicer cabins. Rustic luxury. I look at this Lincoln Log place and I'm thinking, Joan, just keep your eye on the prize. You are here to have fun. I am going to prove to Melissa I am a nature person. Melissa! This is what's called grandmother love. Hi. Hi. Hello. Didn't think I'd make it. So, Mom, you're going to share with Coop? I'm sharing with Coop? You're sharing with Coop. Three, OK, You weren't supposed to be coming. Last minute, this is what we have. So go show Grandma. Go hey, show, come on, show me the room. Show me the room. You guys are roommates. How am I supposed to live in here with all that? Well, we're going to figure it out, Cooper. Cooper? Yes? Let's go. Shower, shower, shower. This is your towel? Yeah. If uh, they ask that you reuse it, because they try to save the environment, that explains no towel rack. They'll stand up on their own. One towel. Well, Mom, and then you they dry during the day. They're being eco-friendly. I will make sure you get a few extra towels. Oh, OK. All right. OK. Dinner at 6. Fine. Do you have any extra hangers? Oh, it's times like this. I miss Joan Crawford. Let's see what is for dinner. I think there's a buffet in it. We gotta wait for Grandma. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's wrong? Why do I do I want to look? No, you don't want to look. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Oh my God, you're a little overdressed, Mom. It's dinner. I mean the jewelry. Okay. Okay. The the fur. It's raccoon. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I found it under my bed. Anyhow. Tomorrow, I'm thinking some riding. Ski shooting. Some ski shooting. Good, ski shooting's great. Wait, have you ever been ski shooting? I'm from New York. I can handle a gun. All right, guys, here are the ribs. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Oh, my. I think you're gonna be happy with ribs, huh? Oh, this looks good. Ribs? What's gonna be for dessert, squirrel pie? Cooper, you love ribs. Oh, my god. I am not happy with this. Have you any idea how much it costs to get barbecue sauce out of a fur? Those are delicious. Aren't yep. they? What's wrong, Grandma? Dig in, Coop. Mm -mm -mm. Good, Mom? It's delicious. It's just a little messy. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to do, Coop? Mm -hmm. Want to go camping? Go you camping? Me? I'll go camping with just you. Just the two of you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Seriously? I don't know. I went to fat camp. Really? You don't camp at fat camp. We camped at fat camp. We camped really? at the kitchen, but we camp. <laughs> Everybody has many sides, Melissa. Mm -hmm. There are other sides of me than just being funny. Really? 
Mom, you don't know how to camp. Who was the scout mother? Who took your whole troop camping? Mom, we didn't go camping. Excuse me? The overnight camping? We slept in the backyard. It wasn't in the backyard. It was two and a half acres okay, of so We slept in the grounds that abut the At the golf edge course. of the ground. Yeah, by the golf course. And we camped. Here, you got oh, some little something right there. Sorry. I promise you, we'll go camping before we leave here. Go camping! <laughs> So, whenever the moon is full, the lone ghost of the Indian scout, White Birch, will still be heard crying alone at night. The end. Good story, huh? Yeah. Want to hear another? Sure. Time for bed. Aww. Bed time and big day tomorrow, you guys. Ghost stories of Wyoming. Nice. Oh, okay. Watch my luggage. We gotta find a better place to put that. Uh, find me another closet. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, you too. Good night, night. Good night Have baby. A very good time. Grandma, turn off the light. Okay. I miss New York. Mm. Could you make some New York sounds, Cooper? Really? You know, I just want to hear things like okay. help. Help me, help me, I'm falling off That's the bridge. That's good. Oh no, bang, 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 wee, wee, wee. <laughs> good night, sweetheart. Night. Grandma. Cooper, I'm 185 years old, and I've slept with the light on all my life. Grandma, I'm begging you, please turn it off. Cooper, try one more time. Um, Grandma, turn it back on. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Can I do it between my legs? Uh, probably not. Pull! This is killer. Killer. Okay, all, all right. right, turn. One of the things I love about the ranch is there's like, well, this open door policy. Everybody just kind of moves from cabin to cabin and the kids all come and go and everyone's pets just kind of come and go. And it's just very, very warm. Oh Rudy. my God. Come on, Rudy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so close. No more. Good morning. <laughs> And this is? Georgie. Hello, Georgie. Hello. Nice to know you. I met her the first time we came here. OK. OK. You slept in. All right. All right. Well, I'm up. Where's everybody? Uh, Mom's on the couch over there. OK, let me say hello. My turn. Oh, come on. Good boy. Good boy. My turn. All the males I've shared a bathroom with, this is the only one that had the courtesy to leave the seat down. Oh my, the whole family's Yes. Yeah. Good morning. For oh, you. For you. Thank God. Coffee. Okay, so. Join so, us. This I thought I'd never see Melissa. It's like the ultimate fraternity house couch. You know what this tells me? What? There are no gay decorators in Wyoming. <laughs> this is so not me. But I'm ready, what is our day? We're gonna go shooting. We're gonna do a little riding. Oh, oh my God. All right, come on, come he on. Likes Just to lay, lay around. You see, Melissa? I am a nature person. Dogs do love you. Dude, dogs do love you. <laughs> so we got a busy day. Let's go. Here we go. Paul, what's going on? What's up? Good to see you. I started riding at the age of six and did the hunters and jumpers and continued to do it as an adult. A nightmare. And I'd say to my husband, is, she, is it over? Is she OK? Is it over? Is she OK? So yeah, horses aren't a big thing for you, but you know we're going to be riding. Listen, if that's what it takes to have a family outing, 
That's what it takes. All right. But you know what? We'll have you wear my old helmet. I'll bring my helmet for you so that you'll I be nice and safe for good luck. So it's all good. It's all good. And it's not jumping. We're just going to be trail riding. It's going to be great. Can't wait. So, Paul, who's that? Well, this is Killer. 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 Perfect. Killer's good for my mom? Killer will be great for your mom. They're going to give you the safest one. Don't you worry, Mom. Killer? Are they nuts? I want a horse that's scheduled to become glue next week. Killer is ready. I cannot believe my mother is about to get on a horse. This is hilarious. OK, left foot in the stirrup and your right leg over. You want to hold your reins. You know, just like you're reaching out for a glass of water. That's to go right, it's to go left. And you, most important, you pull straight back to stop. After you stop, you let up on the reins. All right, yeah. Thank God for hand sanitizer. You never know where these reins have been. Hi, Hank. Ahoy. Kick him again. Here we go. Go. Here we go. OK, that's it. That's it. Calm down. Down. We're going down now. We're going down. What do you do? Do you Just lean back lean a little bit, Joan. OK, OK. This is good. Yeah. We're having fun, killer. Whee! Oh, my dog. This is fun. How many times a day does a horse go to the bathroom? It's worse than my cousin Charlotte. What about the pens for horses? I'm starting to enjoy this. Better than leaning up against the washing machine. Mom! <laughs> <gasps> so look at all this, Mom. But look around you. I'm not looking around me. Okay, well, look straight ahead. Is that not beautiful? It looks a lot like Staten Island. It looks nothing like Staten Island. Oh my God. No, sit oh up. Oh my God. Sit up. I'm sitting up. Sit up. If we're going downhill, this is not right. Good God, Melissa. You got it, Mom. You got it. All Look right. at that. OK, this is good. OK, nice. I'll follow you. I'm following you. OK, follow me. This is a damn death wish. That's what this is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh. You got it, Mom. Good boy, Hank. Whoa. Whoa. Take a drink. All right, this is nice. Yeah, that's good. That... Whoa. Whoa. You guys, come on, killer. Great. First, they give me a horse named Killer, and then I find out he's got a drinking problem. Oh, my God. OK, all right, this is good. This is good, and we're going to walk. I saw this in the movies, and it's just fine. Let's go, old paint. Come on. Where's the horse whisper when you need him? Here we go. Here we go. No, no, come on. Now we're going to walk across. Come on, here we go. All right, let's pretend. We're Moses. Pharaoh's behind us. Come on. Come on. There's Humantash on the other side. There we go. Good boy. Oh. Hello? Hello? Let's help Mom, Mom, Mom. What's wrong? What's wrong? This horse is drinking like Lindsay Lohan at an open bar. So you got off and walked? I got off and walked. One, two. two. Get my ass. Ah. There. Yay. Piece of cake. Good job, Mom. Good boy, killer. Here we go. No, no, no. Mom, turn you want... around. No, whoa. All, All right. right, turn. Well, so far, my mom is stepping up and uh, taking on the challenge. We're here. But I have a feeling it's starting to wear on her a little. You're going to have to prime my fingers. <laughs> you OK? <laughs> Getting the step stool down. They're getting oh. the steps. Time for shooting. I am just not sure it's the best idea you handling an actual shotgun. Melissa, I learned how to use a handgun. It was a sale at Bloomingdale's, and I knew if I didn't pack heat, I wouldn't get the nylons. You want me to just go over a few of the basics for yes, you? Yes, please. All right. OK, the first thing we're going to think about is our stance. We want to have a nice, comfortable, relaxed stance. Our feet are about shoulder width apart. We want to lean forward from our waist. We're just going to try to be very instinctive. And when that tire comes out, we're just going to point and shoot and break the clay. Who wants to go first? Jason's going to go first. OK. okay. <laughs> and these we put on now? Yep. Yep. Pioneer woman. 
Pull. Nice shot. Did he hit it? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Jason's on fire today. Somebody else's turn. I'll go. I can't wait to see you shoot. But you should be good because you're my grandson. Mm. And I'm a crackerjack. Pull. Okay, we were just under that one. She just needs a warm up round. Pull. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice mom. Shot. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. Yes. Right. Great shot. You hammered that one. There we go. Smithereens. Coop, you're up. Lean forward. You got it tight on your shoulder? Yeah. Look at the baby with a gun. Pull. Good try. Pull. Yeah! Woo! Nice okay. shot. Well, I on that one. Good job, Coop. He's terrific. Good job. And Grandma's up. Come on, Mom. Your turn. Here we go. I'm pretty impressed with Jason, Cooper, and Melissa. But what they don't know is I am a great shot. Come on. Don't use the shoulder pad because it's going to slide off you and make it harder. Melissa, I've done this so many okay. times. I am a crack shot. OK. This is the part I've been waiting for all vacation. Pull! Good try. Uh, what are you talking about? Good try. I missed it. Let's go. Pull! Did it go? Well, let's uh, try another. Okay. We have to move the gun to the target. OK. Pull! OK, Mom. Think of things you hate. Think of things that make you angry. OK. Bald men with ponytails, pull! Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> Load them up faster. Piece of cake. There you go. Piece of cake. I'm going to do it backward. No. Is this not safe going no. back? No. Uh, not really. No. Can I do it between my legs? Uh, probably not. All right. Thin women who smell of vomit, pull! People who name their children Banjo, pull! Fat people on planes, pull! Ha-ha! <laughs> Woo! All right. yeah. 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 Nice, Grandma. Nice job. It's a piece of cake. It's all about Haiti. I was hoping I wouldn't have to use my gun today, but uh, you do what you have to do. Good, Good job. job. Say it so I can hear it. Good, Good job. job. That's what I like. Coming up. On Joan and Melissa. Oh my God, the whole town's in here. You're the oh, owner. You want to go up to the mic. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Joan Rivers. Oh, look how quiet it got. Ready for some fishing? Let's do this. Let's do this. Rock Creek Rod and Gun Shop. I have a feeling you are going to love the fishing. I'm so excited for you to try it because it's very zen-like. And I think you're going to love it. I think it's going to be really good for you. It sounds so me. Can't we go back to the guns? Morning. How are we doing? We're here for some fly fishing. Definitely. That's why I'm here. We got to get my mom set up. This is going to be my mom's first time fly fishing. Very yeah. nice. First, we're going to put some waders on and head to the stream. Where the hell are they growing these guys? I haven't seen an ugly one yet. Now I know why Melissa keeps coming back here every year. Are those for me? Yes, you yep, can do it in yours. Your feet aren't going to be in, they're either going to be in here. Here. And then these are going to go into the bits. You got on clean socks. You got on your own socks. None of your skin yeah, will actually these be These are my touching. only jeans. OK, okay. let's do it. Good. Just go ahead I'll and slide your feet in okay. here. Just don't take this personally. Go for it. Melissa, you never know these days. You never know. There you go. Those are going to go over the top of the boot. The nice thing is after we finish fishing, we can invade Afghanistan. Yes. Years from now, Cooper, when you speak of this, and you will, <laughs> be kind. You look good, Mom. You're going to stay dry. I just want you to know I am the host of Fashion Police. This is great. I like it already. So um, when you get on the stream, just approach the holes you know, cautiously. Right. We'll start out, we'll try to make longer casts at first and slowly creep up on them. We, could we get I'm very worried about the hook. Close? That's why we have the hat and okay. long sleeves. If yeah. a I'll hook gets in, in, pull this way. The only fishing I do is for a compliment. But I'm a team player, and that's why I'm here. I will do whatever everybody else is doing. We use this thing called 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So if you were to picture a giant clock next to you, the rod would never drop below 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock. I don't understand 10 to 2. The only thing that happens in my house between 10 and 2 is brunch. Up in the air, kind of like that. OK. There you go. Go, 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 go! 
Oh, got one. Who got oh, one? he's got one. Got one. Oh, there you go. Nice. Let's see, what'd you get? Rainbow trout. Oh, nice. There you go. Let's unhook that poor guy and release back into the wild. Catch and release. What the hell's the point? I don't do that when I go shoe shopping. Oh, I'll take it. Goodbye. Crazy. Nice job, Coop. Next All one. Right, buddy. Nice. Yeah. First catch of the vacation. Yeah. Nice. I'm sorry. I like fish in a stick form. I don't see anything, Melissa. I've heard a plane hard to get, but this is stupid. Nothing. I don't see one fish. Give me a salamander. The only fish you're gonna catch are the stupid fish. Because the smart fish, they see you coming, they're not gonna help you. I think I got something. I think I got something. You got a bush. It's a bush. It was a bush. Uh, Damn. Oh! Ah! Here, let's get her here. Grandma, are you okay? You okay? I'm you all set? A river ran through it all right, right at my butt crack. I have done everything they've asked me to do. I've done it with a smile. I am soaking wet. Did you catch anything? I got caught in ammonia. Seeing my mom go down in the water, she's had it. I gotta go back to my life. I wanna go shopping. I wanna get out of these wet things and get into a dry fitting room. Hello. Well, good afternoon. Welcome to the shop. Oh, delighted. So what a glad pretty to have shop. You. That's, oh, the stuff is so pretty. Oh, this is great. The first video game. Absolutely. <laughs> Someone that likes horses. This is a great jacket. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is in the antique oh, section? It's, it's, well, This is hilarious. <laughs> $3? To you, well, Dana, thank you for being so sweet. Good luck, Joan Rivers. I would actually like to have that. We'll cross Dana out. She can go to hell. <laughs> and you've got I love $3? that. $3? Yeah. <laughs> My picture in an antique store, 45 years in the business, and I cost less than a latte. There. Thank you. All right. And the last thing is, I need scarves. There's a place right across the street, Gigi's Upscale Resale. Cecilia introduced me to her friend, Yanni, and now the girls and I are gonna shop till we drop Wyoming style, which means one store. Oh my, look at wow. this place. Hi there. Hello. You're Gigi? Well, I'm one of them. Okay. Hi. Your store is wonderful. Thank you. And it's all, how do you get it? Dead people? Uh, <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, well, I would think. I don't think of these stores as resale. I think it was like pre-owned. And it's going to be fun. I've got two girlfriends. We're going to have fun. I'm going to give them makeovers, cowgirl style. Yahoo! Nobody leaves this store without getting something, ladies. This is you, Yanni. This is you on a drunken on night. On a drunken night. Maybe that will be tonight. It's, it's fabulous. Do you think that will be nice? It's good for your color of your hair. May I ask what this is? It looks like a buffalo robe to me. That's gorgeous. Oh, these are pretty. This was truly a pleasure. Wow. How well, I you hope you enjoyed your visit. Best day I've had so far. Good. Thank you. So Would you like fun. to have a drink or something? Yeah. Is there a place to have, have a it? Yeah. drink? Let's go and have a drink. This is really pretty. This is a very old hotel. Oh, yeah. my so God, the whole town's in here. This is where the drinks are. All right. You're the Have owner. a seat. Thank you so much. This is great. Thank you. Finally. You have entertainment. We've got David Stewart and Larry Elliott, the Bitter Creek Band. It's great. Do you want to go up to the mic? And you got to oh, tell some jokes. Hey. Bring well, your wine. You know, people think I don't play these small towns. I do. And every time I get just as nervous because will they get my, my brand of humor? You never know who's going to walk in the office. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, John Rivers. 
Oh, look how quiet it got. I just want to say, uh, my daughter and I and my grandson are visiting here, and it's an amazing place to visit and an amazing place for you to live, and I'm just having the best time. And uh, I don't know what to talk to you about. Anyone know any questions, I will answer anything you want to know. Where's the fashion police? The fashion police. Oh, you don't need them. You look fine for where you are. In a bar in the middle of a week, drinking like a bitch, and you look fine. You look fine. You look good. You don't need the fashion police. So you've had more facelifts? I've had 106 facelifts. I have kept all my extra skin. I made another little person and it walks right beside me. <laughs> I have never loved it. You have a plastic surgeon in this town? <laughs> no, I have You've got a Billings for a plastic surgeon? <laughs> you, wait, I just heard you go to Billings, Montana, to get a facelift? Are you Insane. <laughs> you leave Billings to get a face <laughs> So the single girl's over here, right? You're married? Where's your husband? He's at home. Uh, yeah. We have three children. You have three children? What about the one next to you? Expecting number four. Don't you wow. people have television? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Yes. I love your passion. The best the best, the best. And that's because it's made by child labor. <laughs> you get your money's worth, you know what I mean? There's no union, and then when they grow at a certain age, we sell it to Angelina Jolie. But I thank you, I thank you all so much. Wonderful town. Come back. Lovely, Take lovely that. people, thank you. We really right. are one world. I don't care where you're playing it. Everyone's alike. They all like a good joke about Thank you for coming. That yeah. wonderful you time. were so great. When you think who appeared here, Wild Bill Hickok, a Bill Cody, Butch Cassidy, and now, Calamity Joan. I got my mojo back. Thank you all, good afternoon. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Slide the four tent poles through the yellow sleeves of the tent. Now let's just raise her up. We're just gonna sleep in it, Cooper. It doesn't have to be that tall. Oh my god. Sit up, Mom. Don't Sit up. I'm sitting up. No, shoulders back. Shoulders are back. Shoulders back. Oh stick your boobs out. When in doubt, stick them out. Melissa, they're down around my knees. They're out. Okay, maybe then just stick the where place. they used to be out. Good job. There we go. That's good, yeah. Good boy. Oh my God, more sh Don't they have pooper scooper laws around here? No, they do not have pooper scooper laws out here. You can make a fortune. He just stepped in his own Well, you, and you have to take another one, too. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I am the How best was shopping? time. You did. Hi, guys. I performed in a bar. Hello, sweetheart. Why is it every time you go to a bar, you end up performing? <laughs> but look what I got. I got a cowboy hat. Oh, look at you, Annie Oakley. Isn't that cute? Try it on. That's very cute. I like yeah, that. that. That's cute. Thank you. Uh, we went in to this little bar to have a drink. And? And uh, I got a whole new group of friends. <laughs> I fit in just fine here. This city bitch has got her chaps. Cooper, this is gonna be great. This is what we're gonna do at night. This is solving our turn the light on, turn the light off. At night, for example, like tonight. If I wanna Wait, read... Wait, but we're going camping tonight. I was this close to being finished with Ruffy and what am I gonna say, no? Have Melissa say, you promised him, I told you so. Camping it is. I mean, look, if you, if you guys want me to go with you, we'll go with you if you want. No! Oh. No, 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 you no, sure? no, no, sure? No, they no. wanna go by themselves. We, we got... Tent? Marshmallows. Mar marshmallows because of the Smurfs. S'mores. S'mores, whatever they call. Hot, Hot dogs, dogs, buns, sleeping bags. Sleeping bags. And the two of us. Yeah. We're going to be fine, kid. Yeah, guys, make sure you actually bring sweatshirts and dress pretty warmly. Don't worry. Two of you look so warm. Look at the faces. We're going to be just fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Oh, this is great. I couldn't have picked a better spot. Thank you, Kyle. Well, thank you. Look at this. There's sand. Ah! Whoa, this is great. This is awesome. OK, Kyle, what do you think? I think this flat spot right here would be perfect. OK. And we've got your fire pit right over there. All right, this is what? Ooh, tent. That is the tent. This is the tent? It's all right in there. All right. We'll see you at 8 tomorrow morning. He took off like a bat out of hell, that kid. I have never seen a man run that fast away from me while I was fully dressed. Slide the four tent poles through the yellow sleeves of the tent. Oh, 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 yellow sleeves, that's what. Now let's just raise her up. Here we go. All right, going up, going up. All right, I'll tell you what, there, there you go. Fine, we're just gonna sleep in it, Cooper. It doesn't have to be that tall. I don't know who wrote out these instructions, but I'm just gonna have to take things in my own hands. I mean, that's how I do everything. Like my wedding night. How many times I must have said to Edgar, don't be silly, that doesn't fit there. Try there, no. Look, do you want to get this thing up or not? Then listen to me. I got an idea, Cooper. This is what separates us from the monkeys. There, let's see. Good. What? That's good. Look at that. We should be very proud of this. It looks like a fixer-upper. Camping is not a rocket science. It's just a pain in the ass. You know what the lesson is? Whoa. Learn to enjoy when you can afford a servant. OK, this is great. Okay. OK, step back, step back. Got it. There we there go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. A little more and drop it. There. How about that? And let's do our hot dogs. This is great. OK. Uh, we have forks and knives. Cooper, we're camping, for God's sakes. Oh, OK. Mmm, these are good. These are great. OK, give me some marshmallows. Here you go. We're going to make the Smurfs. S'mores. S'mores, Smurfs. What's the difference? It's going to be delicious. And you're on fire, Grandma. Oh, that's blow. great. Better blow. I like the Statue of Liberty. All right, quick, quick, quick. Get me some marshmallows. Get me a, a graham cracker. Done. There you go. OK. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know something? This is great being out here with Cooper. Getting this time alone with him means the world to me. Let me tell you something, yeah. Cooper. We could live like this forever, I wouldn't mind. This is heaven. I got to go to the bathroom. You what? I got to go to the bathroom. Let's go down to the creek, and I'm going to bang a lot of stuff to keep you safe. I read making noise will keep animals away. Here we go. OK, let's go. OK. This is. All right, come on. La, 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 How you doing? OK. Grandma, you can stop now. OK, OK. You ready for a story? Yeah. All right, Cooper, into the bed. There we go, OK. You know what's great? These memories will stay with Cooper his entire life and with me for at least about my age, another day and a half. And so the beautiful Indian princess was never seen again. But on some dark nights, people turn to each other and they say, Little Red Feather, she is with us. The end. I like that one. I like that one. Now let's go to bed. Let's go to bed, OK. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. What was that? Cooper, just stay here. Oh, my, oh my God! God! What was that? It was nothing. It was something. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Cooper, just stay here. All right, just get under the covers. Just stay okay. still. Stay very if you, still. If you hear something, just stay still. OK. Like, don't move. Cooper, put your hands over the back of your neck. Oh, protect your neck and your head. Like that. OK, that's good. Oh easy, oh easy, easy, oh easy. Oh my god. Hi, here. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Hey, guys. Cooper. Hi. 
hot. Do you really think I was going to let oh, you guys sleep out here all night? Thank what God. Let's get this stuff packed up. We Where had my such a good time. Yeah, yes. it's actually pretty impressive. Get your shoes on. We're going to take you guys back. Let's go. I'm not letting you guys sleep out here. Jay, let's start wrapping all this stuff okay. up. You know what? Let room service get it. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm really proud of you. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Did you guys have a good time? This was just great. Yes, Larry, I totally understand. Yes, OK, I got it. All right, so I understand the deal's on the table. I got it. I got it. OK, well, let me, let me reach out, OK? I'll call you back as quickly as I can. So did you hear all that? Joan has a deal for a commercial. She needs to be notified. She said only if it's an emergency. You know what? I'll send her a text. I'll put it on the timeline, and then we'll go from there. I think okay. that's fair. Okay. Just as long as you make contact. I just hope that she gets reception up there. Let's see. OK. OK. I'll give you uh, Alexander Hamilton and two Georgies. All right. I call. OK. What do you got? Three sixes. It's OK. I still got this little boy here. You want change for that? Hey, Mom. Yeah. But I, just, I got a text coming through. I think we need to call I don't home. want to know. What do we say to Sabrina? Only, Only if emergency. it's an emergency. But and the emergency would be you, Cooper, Jason, and me. We're all here together. There's no emergency. No, I agree. But if she is trying that hard to get us, I think it's worth calling home. I tried four times this week, Melissa, and there's no reception. Nothing. Nothing? OK. Yeah, and I got no what service. The office? Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. OK, we'll be back. OK. All right. Mine is not working. No. Not working. Not working. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, can we use the phone? Yeah, you can. We've got it right here. Thank this you. Just start dialing yep. right now. Thank you. Sabrina, hi, sweetheart. What, what, what's the problem? Yeah, we got a message. What's urgent? When? How much? You know something, Sabrina? Pass. We are having such a good time here. It's amazing. We're going to stay through Sunday. Sun we're going to be here through Sunday. Yeah. No. No. We're going to stay here. Yeah. OK, honey. Bye-bye. And -bye. Yeah, what was that? Stupid nothing. Absolutely nothing. Where's Cooper? I think he is tie-dyeing. Oh, tie dye I can help him with. Wait till he sees grandma tie dye. You think I'm a good shooter? You wait till he sees me tie dye, honey. You gotta tell me what was the phone call. It was work, obviously. It was it was a commercial for a lot of money, and I said, "Come on, priorities, priorities, family first. And that's what this week has been about. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. amazing. I would not give this up no. for anything. No. Not for all the money in the world, which it almost was. A lot of money. A lot of money. They can reschedule, right? I hope. <laughs> I hope to hell. I hope. Mom, you're hurting my hand. That's hey. Hi, Mom. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. What's going on? Oh. Nothing. Hey, okay, go check out the donkey. Okay. Next time on Joan and Melissa. Conrad has found out that, ready for this one? He's Jewish. I want to give you the bar mitzvah. We could do that. Will you please just MC? I, I, know, they know. No, I can't do I'm it. begging you. I can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? Let's hear from the bar mitzvah boy. All right. You know, I heard something about Jason that I think you should check out. Sabrina, everything's a lie, and you're a piece of You never loved me. <laughs> Tonight on Joan and Melissa. Hello, oh, hello. Ah! I'm in New York this weekend. I'm so excited. This is great.
We're doing something together. Push the tush. Push the tush. <laughs> Are you an actor? No. Well, you should be. Okay, next, Cooper. You're not allowed to do that, you know. Not do what? I, I think do. you should and sit. I want to stand. Dan, why are there sides in Cooper's clothes? He read for Priscilla, Queen of the Dead. Really? It's not he your was very decision. Good. Oh, whatever you do, don't slam that door! I'm in New York this week, and I'm so excited because this adorable off-Broadway theater is honoring me for the work I've done on Broadway. And they're gonna put my hands in cement and the whole thing, but what I'm really excited about is that Melissa and Cooper are coming into New York. I get to show them the city. Hello! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Hello, 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 And we're gonna be in my apartment, which is one of the great finds in New York. It was an old ballroom. So it's got these huge 25 foot ceilings. And my bedroom is where the orchestra changed. And where the orchestra had all their little lockers and stuff, I made that into my bathroom. So I made that apartment. It restored me, it gave me a whole new outlook. It's my baby and it's for sale. And if you lived here, you'd be home by now. No credit, talk to me, we'll work out a deal. I have so much planned for you. Know, we're going to serendipity Mommy, lunch. I gotta find clothes to wear. And we're going, going to the theater. Mom, and... they can't find our luggage right now. They said it's gonna be on another flight. They're gonna send it over, so. All right. But I've got so much stuff to do. I got the meetings. But where's the am I? What's the big deal? We have kind of a different look. California, I look like a moron. Right, but I in like... New York, I look right. Right, Trust but I me. wanna look like me in New York. We'll put a name tag on you, come on. I have a bunch of business meetings while I'm here, so I'm just praying my luggage gets here by morning. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, my mom has amazing clothes. They're just not very me. I mean, Mom, I don't even know where to start in here. Go over to the right side with my jackets. This one? Yeah, it's gorgeous. But what would I, I mean, what do I wear this for? For theater, for God, for theater. For goodness sake, I mean, I'm not in the show. I'm just gonna watch the show. Melissa, people don't want to see you looking like a schlep. I don't know, Mom. Sometimes I feel like it's somewhere in between, like, drag queen and realtor in here. Look for something with feathers. Everything is feathered. It looks silly on me. Feathers don't look silly on you. They don't look silly on a bird. They're not gonna look silly on you. Oh, no, it looks silly on me. Do you think your mother would look silly in feathers? Yeah. Oh, shush. I mean, I've got black pants in here. That's not a problem in a tank. That's a very pretty jacket. A gold one with a black fur collar. Well, first of all, I don't wear fur. Most of fur is in this year. All the animals are wearing fur. Do you have any black shoes I could borrow? Yeah, of course I have black <laughs> shoes. <laughs> don't you have a pair of jeans? Melissa, we don't wear dungarees in the city, okay? Mom, don't call them that. They're I don't care jeans. what you call them. I don't wear them. Oh, okay, now, yeah, I have found the perfect thing now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it was good enough for Liberace, it's good enough for you. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a, it's amazing for you, but it's just so oh, it's not me. Let me I mean, just don't show you. Have you. A pair? You're not wearing it Okay, right. but, okay, show me. It's, well, I, I, don't it's, look I, at my arms. Okay, I'm not oh. looking at your arms. On you, it's perfect. On me. Bill oh. Blast. I do not show my upper arms ever unclothed on camera. I mean, I put my hands above my head. I look like a flying squirrel. No. You know how many women would kill for this? I know. Bill it's... Blast, may he rest in peace. Yes, it's amazing. On you. Look at this. This is fabulous. On you, it looks great. On me, I look like a pimp. A pimp could not afford vintage Bill Blast. That's stunning. I mean, okay. half of this closet is Valentina. I know, but I'm just saying we are different sizes and Mark Jacobs. we put things I mean, together look at differently. This. Gucci. Mom, Gucci, I know. Melissa. Gucci. I know. Gucci. I know. Well, who is you, it? You would look so great in that. Do I like this? I never wore it. Oh, good. Well, if I like it, can I have it? Yes. This is a good start. Okay. I'm gonna go change. Swear to God, you would change in the hospital. I know you're here. And you plan to go to your meetings, but I am taking you and Cooper first to lunch 
at Serendipity. And we're going to have what I used to do with you, a backwards meal. Yes. And don't say no. I won't say no. Yes, you got to do the backwards meal. See, Melissa, you look fabulous. Serendipity is a New York institution, and everybody who's anybody is there with their children. J Jackie Onassis. Always there with John John. Thank you. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh my God, this reminds me of my childhood. A backwards meal in New York is very different from a backwards meal in California. In New York, it means dessert and then the main course. In California, it means dessert and then throwing up. Pretty. Cooper, I used to live for when we would come to New York and get this. Excuse oh my me. God. Excuse me, Miss oh Rivers. I've loved you in all your films. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm good sick. to see you. Well, this is my son Cooper. Doing? Hi. Oh my God. Hi. Cooper? Sharon, yes. yes. You're Me. gorgeous. Famous actress. I can never remember was Sharon Cagney or Lacey? Uh, she was Starsky. Are you an actor? No. Well, you should be. She's right, I told you. He'd be great as an actor. Come on, he doesn't want to be an actor. Oh, he wants okay, to serve he wants to be and do not lacrosse. To be. He's per already he's taller than Tom Cruise. <laughs> he's great. <laughs> Are you living in New York? No, I'm just here for the day. I did a photo shoot and I go back tomorrow. We came in because my mom's doing some sort of a, what's that thing you're doing? I'm doing handprints for Theater 80. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, it's like not... Brahmin's Chinese yes, Theater. Yes, yeah, but it's off Broadway. Off, off Broadway, but it's very prestigious, apparently. Oh, wow. I think I exaggerated Sharon Glass a little bit. Um, theater's tiny. I mean, last year their big show was Dream Girl. One girl, and she was white. <laughs> what are we seeing tonight? We are going to Priscilla. Oh, I we saw it in the desert. Oh, it's great. You're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a very good time. I'm so happy to see I you. Know. It's nice so to meet nice you. to nice meet, meet you. you. I think I'm going to be seeing you on billboards. Stand up, we stand up, one lady. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure of meeting you. Yeah, Remember yeah. those days when they did it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take off to my meetings for a little while. Great. And, yeah, and you guys take are your time. Tonight we are going to see Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and I'm so excited because I love to bring Cooper to see theater. I'm going to take him shopping for some really great yeah. clothes. You don't need to, to go overboard. Melissa, I'm the grandmother. I want to go overboard. I'd love to see a child looking wonderful. Look at how I dressed you. I think that's why I dress so casually now. I mean, it was very, very formal. You had the Mary Janes, you had the little socks, your little smocking dresses. When I dressed you, you looked great. Don't take it personally. Ugh. Melissa, do what you have to do. Cooper and I'll meet you at the theater. All right, really good. Very excited, we're going to the stage door. You're gonna meet the star, okay? You okay? Yeah. Good. We got there early, so I took Cooper backstage to meet Tony Sheldon, who is my good friend. He's the star of the show and a huge star in England. And yet, just like everybody else, he puts his pantyhose on one leg at a time. Tony does the whole show in drag, but I didn't think it would bother Cooper. I mean, he's very comfortable around cosmetics. How many times has he said to me, too much rouge, Grandma? You look like a whore. Hello, hello. I don't mean to interrupt. Hello. How Good to see, to you. see you. All right. Oh. Mwah. Mwah. And this is Tony Sheldon, and Hi. this is my grandson, Hi. Cooper. Hi, We're Cooper. coming to Lovely see to you. Lovely to meet you. Pull up a couch. Just for a second. I yeah, know you're, sure. you're, you're the, getting ready. On the, as you cross the Liza Minnelli carpet. Liza oh. put this uh, carpet oh, here. really? When she was in this dressing room doing her one-woman show, she insisted on putting her own carpet in. And what are you going to leave? Uh, just probably bits of old dead skin in the air conditioning, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I saw you opening night. You did? I wanted Cooper to come and meet you now, so I thought it would be very lovely. See how he's putting on the wig? How fabulous. You look like Rita Hayworth. Why, thank you. Yes, that's great. Do you want to be an actor, Cooper? I don't know. I think he'd be I'm great. Thinking. I think he'd be great as an actor. I think he's cute, he's adorable. And I think he'd be wonderful as an actor. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is Luke. Hi. Luke plays Benji in our show. This is Joe. Hello, Hi, nice Jim. to know you. And Hi. this is Cooper. Cooper. Hi. And you're about how old? I'm nine. Nine, and you're yeah. on the stage. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And you're ten. Yeah. Yeah, just about the same age. Um, would you like to go backstage, see the cool stuff? All right. Yeah, it'd be great. Great. 
Sure. Okay. See ya. You know, Cooper's got a really good look. One of the boys playing Benji is leaving the Broadway company. Oh, really? Why don't you look into getting Cooper an audition? Can you imagine if I could get Cooper into that audition and he got the part? <sighs> it would be phenomenal. The Mike people like to play with Play-Doh. These are all the costumes. Yeah. And then these are more costumes. And then this is the orchestra pit. Yeah. I haven't been able to work out if this was Judy's dressing room. I don't think it was. I... But somebody would know. Was there anybody that's lived here? Nobody seems to know. Really. But this is the number one dressing room. Yeah. So it had yeah. to be. Except they would have had to get her up the stairs. That's true. And no, so this is stage right. And be careful on the steps. So I like, really, like, I almost Hi. fell down them once. It was crazy. But this is certainly where, where Bacall was. Yeah. And, uh, and you know that story about when Raquel Welch replaced Bacall in Woman of the Year and Bacall was so pissed off because she wanted Dina Merrill to replace her. She didn't want somebody young and beautiful. She took all the light bulbs and the toilet paper when she left. Such a mean... She's getting nice now, which means she's going to die. Okay. <laughs> it's 10 minutes before curtain. No sign of my mom and Cooper. I'm standing on the street. My mom is never late for theater. I'm starting to freak out a little bit. See, I just love theater. Something is like going into the temple. I hey, Tony, one. it's five minutes to call. Oh, thank you, Luke. Bless you. Where's Cooper? Excuse, thank you. Sure, Good darling. Good lovely luck. to see Wonderful you. Wonderful to see you. He's not with you? I don't. No, okay, excuse me. Cooper? Honey, where are you? Cooper? Have you seen a little boy? If anything happens to him, I'll go crazy. I'll never forgive myself. Cooper! Cooper, where the... Where are you, Cooper? <laughs> damn it, Cooper, don't play games. This place is like a <laughs> damn maze. I, I am really starting to pound. Oh, come on, Cooper! Cooper? Cooper? Cooper! Coming up on Joan and Melissa. My son is being antagonized, and then you're putting your ear to the door? Yes. My ear. I, I think you should and I really think, think you should I want to stand. Dan. Mom, it's my life. It's my son. The buck stops with me. It's, it's not your very decision. Good. Oh, whatever you do, don't slam that door. Where's Cooper? I don't know. No, okay, excuse me. Cooper? Honey, where are you? Have you seen a little boy? Cooper? Cooper? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Thank God I found him, but I'll tell you, I must have looked like a Looney Tune running around those holes. Cooper! 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 Thank God he was just playing with some costumes. I felt like J. Edgar Hoover's grandmother. What about my shoes? Where's your mother? Where's your mother? Where's your mother? Oh, Melissa! Again, why are you not answering your cell phone? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't bring Where my cell phone. Where have you been? We, we, were, we were late, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, late. It's I'm already sorry. started. Let's okay. go. Let me tell you why I would love Cooper to be a part of the theater. There is nothing like it. I mean, you step on that stage, it's magical. And I've been on Broadway three times, and the connection with an audience, there is nothing else anywhere like that. Nothing. Did you see Cooper's eyes during that play? He was so excited. He had a great time, but Mom, yes, just yes. stop with the acting thing. He's only 10. Only He's young. Ten. Oh, young. At 10, Mickey Rooney was a has-been. Okay. Cooper, I've got a million rooms in this apartment. Why do you want to sleep here? No, I want to sleep underneath the sky. Okay. 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 Star, up, up. It. Over here, Coop. Help me make this up. Ouch. Okay. Good night, sweetheart. Good We're, night. Good night. I cannot <sighs> believe I have an entire second day of meetings tomorrow. And in my clothes. And in your clothes. <laughs> I know. How can my luggage not be here yet? I'm going to kill the airline. It'll come. What do you guys have? We have plans. Plans? We're going to have one good day tomorrow. I bet. Hmm. Good night, Coopy. I love you, my baby. Love you. Mm. You're the best. Love you, yeah. Angel. Love you. Come on, sweetie. You need his call. Yep. Okay. 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 
telling you, it's great having you guys here. Oh, thank you. We like being here. Knock it off. Okay, I am off. Uh, how, how does it look? What? Does it look like, yeah, it's sitting here for an hour. Part of it does. The angry face. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, meetings. Like that? Yeah. You know my rule. We're in New York. Before you leave the house, you look in the mirror, and you put one more thing on. Mom, I'm going to a meeting, not Studio 54. Melissa, trust me. I there just feel too uh -huh. oh, overdressed. You don't, good, that's what you should look. Cooper, do I look like grandma in this? Oh, don't say yes because she'll kill herself. A little bit. <laughs> Have a good Goodbye. day. Goodbye. Oh, look, you gave me my old nose. Here we go, come on, come on. It's good, all good, come on. I'll do anything that Cooper wants. I mean, he's here to be spoiled. But he wanted to walk my dogs. It's New York. My dogs don't walk. I've raised them better than that. I was just thinking, Cooper. You're so cute. Everyone tells you how cute you are. You're talented. What if we got you an agent and you try to do commercials or something? You know, your mom was in a movie when she was four and a half, five years old. She was? Yes, rabbit test. It's adorable. Would you enjoy that? I'll do it if you take me rock climbing. Rock climbing? Yeah, sure. Come on, I can't take this anymore. Let me sit down over here. Come here. Look, Max, a dog walking. Look, Max, dogs walk in New York. See that? Look at that. OK. OK. All right. OK, so Cooper, I'm going to make a call, OK? OK. Get your agent. Okay, hold on. Steve Jones. Yeah, no, it's fine. New York is terrific. Couldn't be better. Yeah, Cooper's here. Listen, no, I'm not going to take that part. It's not why I called. We were last night. We went to see Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and I, the kid on stage. Cooper could do that in a second. I was looking at Cooper. He's cute. He's adorable. I'd love to meet an agent. Sure. Yeah, sure. He just said sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at my house. Goodbye. Okay, I think we got your agent. Okay. Okay, let's go. You know what? Let's get a cab. All right. Okay, here we go. Taxi! Steve, it's nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Hello. Hello. Come on in, if you would. My manager sent me over an agent who reps kids and Danny DeVito. Thank you for having me, John. Thank you for coming all the way over here. It's very kind of you. Oh, you're welcome. Obviously, you're the man of the moment. I've heard a lot about you. I, I, we have no even headshots. That's I, I just pulled some candles of him, and you can see some of the things he does. And he photographs, I think, like a dream. What do you think? Fantastic. Really photographs beautifully. I mean, that's just... Very natural. I mean, it's exactly what we're looking for. Tell me, were you able to get us into the audition for Priscilla? We have a reading this afternoon. I've got okay. the sides here. Have a look at these. This is the audition? Yeah, the sides. What are sides? Sides are the pages of the script, honey. Would you like to be in Priscilla? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. I look forward to this afternoon. Pleasure. Knock them dead. All right. OK, go Thank get them, kid. Thank Bye, you. guys. OK. <laughs> All right. You want to do it? Sure. I'll try. OK. Benji doesn't turn to him, but he's very aware he is there. Coop, we are going to have so much fun until your mother kills me. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. You we know, are from. You know, we're from. 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 We're You made your friends with it. This is the store. This is the store. Okay, sweetheart. I have two hours to get Cooper ready for his audition. 
Hello. Good morning. We're looking for something a little strange. He's up for an audition for an Australian boy. So okay. we need Australian clothes. Come on along. Anything that's got like a koala on it? A koala? I don't know. It's, it's Australian. <laughs> this should work. Let's see. Try these on. And let me see what you look like. Oh, you can run the lines while you do it, Cooper, because it's this afternoon, OK? So how's school? Everything going OK? Yeah. And your friends, are they nice? Do you have lots of friends? Enough. OK. How's school? Yeah. Oh. You look a little bit like a male nurse. These, I think, are genius. Perfect. I love those. Those are a great idea. And she can fulfill? She definitely can get them out Because I mean, we sell stuff out all the time. They'll put them on the site. They'll click through to you, which will then push to these. I have a meeting with a jewelry retailer today for my website, Shoparati, which is a website that I started with my partner, Greg Alexander, where we scan all the fashion deals every morning, and we put up what we feel are the top four don't miss fashion deals of the day. How many the theme these? here is everything can be stacked multiple. These are counting bracelets. Not counting bracelets? And they look really cute. Yeah, the box gives you all the different ideas. Oh, Count these are calories, adorable. pounds lost. Count me healthy, happy, and blessed. Cocktails. Oh, pff, that's a good one I for need us. that one. Today I'm meeting with my friend Jamie Geller. She reps some amazing lines. She thinks she has some stuff that might work for Shoparati, and I'm thrilled to get to see her. Oh, these are darling. Yeah. Let me see, put a bunch on. Let me see how they look on you. I love these. Ah! Uh, Crocodile Dundee Abramowitz. Those shorts are great for skateboarding or crocodile hunting. Very versatile. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Let's cut those stupid things off and we'll wear it out. Okay. You're like a moil. You're like a clothing moil. Now, okay. give right. the man your credit card. Uh, credit card. Grandma. Hi. What are you guys doing? Mom, you just took him shopping. Why are you going again? Mom, seriously, he doesn't need anything. You don't need to go shopping. OK, OK. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, Lord. Can you believe my mother is running around this city loose with my child? I'm staying with her. So it's like her rules, her this. Like you go back to being a child. Yep. I think it's better if I frankly don't tell Melissa about the audition. If he doesn't get the part, she'll never know. And if he does, I got till opening night. Here we go. Okay, here we go. All right. So just remember, you're with the button. Right here. OK. You're angry. You haven't seen your father in years and years and years. Angry. Oh, here it is. Here it is. OK. No eye contact until he says something like, are you mad at me? What does he say here? OK. Here it is. Benji says, hundred bucks. You got it? You sure? I can be okay. Yeah. I'm not the one who's late. Okay. Uh, could you move over a little bit, if you would, please? Just a little bit. Thank you, Scoopy. Thank you. Excuse me. Cooper and I walked into that audition waiting room. Those women looked at us. I felt like a pork chop in a synagogue. Is your grandson trying out for this part? Yes. Yes. I thought they were Very down exciting. to I thought they were down to the last three. I, I guess. Michael. Go break a leg, Michael. So has your grandson done a lot of acting? Um some. Not much. This is your son? Yeah. He's done a lot? You all yeah, yeah, he works all the time. That's nice. Good. Yes, well. and my son too. Do you sing? Of course he can sing. He can sing, he can tap, and he can play the piano. Does he sing? Enough. Hmm. Thank you, Michael. Next, Niall. Niall, break a leg. Niall, good luck. I speak a little Spanish. Todo bien. Yo comprendo. Uno poquito. Okay. So, culo es. They can do it. Ever they want these ladies. I am not going to sink down to their level. Thank you. OK, next, uh, Cooper. Bye, ladies. Bye-bye. Thank you. Nice meeting you. 
Okay. We'll see you soon. Sorry. No moms. I'm not the mother. I'm the grandmother. Okay, but we can't have you in here. We'll see you soon. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Fine. Um, you're not allowed to do that, you know. Not do what? Um, the door is open. Oh, I, sorry. I didn't yeah. notice. Like, who's Paula? I think yeah, you should just relax and just sit down. That's, that's the producer. The producer. Did, did Paula talk to you, honey? honey? Look at me. Look at what I'm talking. Was there a lady in there named Paula? Excuse me, excuse me. You don't really need to be speaking to my son like that. You need to just I, sit I'm not saying you sound like anything. I'm, and, I'm just, just asking. Because there's a lady I named Paula. Just the same way. Sit and relax. I and don't want to sit don't, down. Then I'm not sitting down either. Fine. My son is no. being antagonized, and then you're putting your ear to the what? door. I'm allowed to my ear. It's yes. my ear. Okay. I think you should and no, I, really think you you know, I want to dance, OK? Dance? Yes, I want to dance. Dance? Don't tell me dance. Where the are you from? How dare you talk to me like I'm from Brooklyn. You're like the real housewives of Brooklyn. I am from Brooklyn, Eastern Parkway. Eastern Parkway. Ladies, what's going on here? Everything OK? Absolutely. Okay. How did he do? He was wonderful. Thank oh, you, Cooper. Good. Oh, good. Oh, good for you. Okay. Nothing happened. You guys are okay? Oh. You know what? Oh. No autographs. The nerve. Yeah. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. This is awesome, Grandma. Oh my God, he's higher than Charlie Sheen. Why are there sides in Cooper's clothes? He read for Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Really? He Me. was the best None one at the audition. I don't care. Not He your was very decision. good. Oh, I have a few words to Wonderful. say. Wonderful. Uh-uh. Are you having fun in New York? Yeah. It's a great city, Cooper. I wanted Cooper to get a real sense of what New York is about. So first I thought I'd mug him, and then I thought, no, I'd just take him for a walk and give him the history. This is Central Park. When I was a little girl, I used to come here and feed the dinosaurs. This is one of my favorite streets in New York, Cooper. It's called Plastic Surgery Road. You can have anything done. Down there is Chinatown, or as Chinese people call it, town. That's where Jackie Onassis lived, Cooper. Her apartment's a lot like mine, but smaller. Coop, that's where Donald Trump lived when he was just a millionaire. Over there was where John Lennon was shot. That building. It's a very large city. Come on, Matt. Matt. This is it. A deal's a deal. I promised Cooper if he let me take him to the audition and wouldn't tell his mom, I'd take him rock climbing. So here we are. God, it's Carato. Hello. Hi. This is Cooper, and Hi. he wants to, for some reason, do that. Oh, yeah? Is he dressed correctly? So I got to hook you up with some kicks. What okay. size are you? You need different Four and a half. Are they new? Can I buy a new pair? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Why do you always go to sports that other people have worn the things? I don't know. Are these How about new? These? They don't look new. Sure. OK, do you wear socks? No. Okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Don't you dare put those on yet. Do you want to have an athlete's foot? I know somebody that lost his legs. Okay. Whenever I'm in New York, there are three things that are always in my pocketbook. My plastic surgeon's card, my Kardashian to English phrase book, and of course, hand sanitizer in case I meet Miley Cyrus. She's changed. Swirl it, swirl it. Okay, all right, here we go. Ew, it's all cold. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Coop, let's go. Let's see you okay, doing. I gotta hook you up with one more thing. Okay, harness. Yeah. Have you ever put one of these on before? Once. We went uh, bungee jumping, and he and his friend were screaming in agony. Oh no, because the harness wasn't. The harness hit their penises. Oh. You heard high pitched screams like you never heard before. It could have been a woman in a shoe sale. All right, is that comfortable on your penis? Grandma, please. Cooper, I want great grandchildren. Okay, be very careful. I will. All right, pull. This is good. Good, there go. You go, go, go Cooper. Toes up. Reach out a little farther to your right. There you go. Ugh. Can't somebody give him like a little push from underneath? Well, we could, but. Ma'am, ma'am, I need you to back away. Grandma, from it's him. fine. Yeah, okay, just, okay. Just for safety. This is amazing, Cooper. My God, he's higher than Charlie Sheehan. 
This is awesome, Grandma. It's great, Cooper. You're doing great. Come on up. Come on up? Yeah. Cooper, I said I'd bring you here. This is our Jewish. Grandma, that was our deal. All right, I'll come up a little bit, Cooper. Oh, did this remind me of my college days? I'm used to, though, attach it to a bedpost. Perfect. Yeah, how does that feel? Great. Okay, what'd you say your name was again? Andrew. Andrew. Can you hold ah. Yes, I can. Whoop. Okay, this is good, Andrew. Okay, this is good. Okay, Andrew, let's go. Let's go, Andrew. <laughs> you gotta start from down here first. I'm not starting from down there. I'm already up here, Andrew. Give me a push. Right. Come on, Andrew. Come on. Come on, Andrew. I'm coming up, Cooper. It's not so hard. Okay, Andrew, this is good. All right, you gotta get closer to the wall. I'm as close up. Okay. I'm... <laughs> Cooper, you're killing it up there. Move that left foot up. Cooper, you should see me. I'm coming up to meet you. This is great. We're doing something together. Andrew, push the tush. Push the tush. This is good. I feel it. I feel it. Andrew, get your hand off my breath. I feel it. Andrew, I'm coming up to meet you, Cooper. I'm almost with you. Wait yeah, for me. Yeah, almost. Oh, Andrew, help me, but don't hinder me. Keep going. You're doing it. Good, now stand up and pull really hard with the right hand. Pull, straighten those legs. All right, straighten those legs. Yeah. yeah. All right, you can take a minute. Yeah. Oh, so fun. Is that fun? I'm so proud of you. Tonight is a big handprint ceremony in that little off-Broadway theater. But you want to know something? Melissa's coming. Cooper's coming. It's going to be fun. Mom? Yeah, yeah, I'm up here. I have a quick question for you. Yeah. What is this? What is what? What is this? Benji? Oh, there's some sides. Really? Why are there sides in Cooper's clothes? Because he, he read, which is so cute, he read for Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Really? Yeah, really? And terrific. when did this happen? It was this afternoon. He was great. This and did you ask me? How did this all just miraculously happen? What do you mean, how did it, it, it happen? I found out that there was a, 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 an audition. Uh -huh, really? And I thought it'd be cute. Really? And they you said just happened to find out. Well, we saw the play last hey, night. Mom, you know what? You need to understand. I am his mother. I'm very you aware of that. You have to talk to me about these about things. About what, Melissa? Mom, it's my life. It's my son. The buck stops with me. What, you what? cannot just what? go and take him to an audition. He was very good. I'm sure he was very good, but that's not who he is. If How he wonderful. wants to do it, he'll say, Mommy. He did it. But he Mom, did it. he did it because you took him rock climbing. That's not and why he did it. he's not going to disappoint you. He will do anything to please you. That's not so. He yes. doesn't rub my feet. You know what? I'm done with you. I will see you in the Are car. Are done with me? I don't understand. I'm I had an audition for a Broadway show. You grew up in this. You were in all kinds of things. You were in rabbit tests. But it's not your Amazing. choice, Mom. I, he was the best None one of this. at the audition. I don't care. It's you not your choice. I, oh, choice, 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 choice. The point it's is not he your was very decision. good. Right, whatever you do, don't slam that door. Too late. Here I am, about to have to give a speech about how fantastic my mother is, and I'm furious at her. I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and do an acting okay, job. Okay, and here we go. Tell your grandmother we're late. Grandma, we're late. Tell your mother, Cooper. I was so upset, I almost poked myself in the eye. And I know we're late, but we'll be fine. Grandma said it will be fine. Would you ask your mother, do we have to keep this limo this warm? I feel like I'm going through menopause. Cooper, just tell your grandmother she's gone through menopause and she has no uterus. What mom said. Tell your mother, if I had a uterus, I would have another child. One that would love me. What grandma said. Tell your grandmother if she wants something that loves her, get another dog. Cooper, remember when grandma puts her hands in the cement today, make sure that mother doesn't push grandma's feet in also. Have you guys been fighting? What gives you that idea, honey? Come on!
Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I have a few words to say. Uh oh. Okay. Bye bye. Who was it? Well, that was Cooper's new agent. And did he get it? I am a huge fan of Off Broadway. That's where most everybody gets their breaks. I mean, I got my first break there. I was in an Off Broadway show called Driftwood with Barbara Streisand. Whatever happened to her? Bagpipes? Who died? I mean, this is not a good sign. I have spent many a year on the red carpet. I have never heard bagpipes. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Nice 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 to meet you. Seven people here, but they are so excited. I mean, how can I not get into the spirit of it? Did you want to say a few words before yes, or I after? Have a few words Wonderful. To say. Yes, she does. Uh, yes, I, I do. Yeah. I know I'm getting the award for my acting, but uh, Melissa over there with that fake smile, <laughs> oh, she should be getting a Tony. To be a great comic, you have to be completely in control of your audience at all times. And trust me, no one is more controlling. <laughs> than my mother. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. What's the expression? But I think a lot of people forget that she got her start in the theater. And the truth is, I think it's always been her first love. We actually have baby pictures, and I have so many memories of me sitting, actually watercoloring backstage when my mother was in Fun City. So I think my first real memories of being around showbiz were in the theater. So I know that this honor means a tremendous amount to you. Mom, Cooper and I love you very, very much, and we are so proud of you. And we'd also like to thank Theater 80 for this moment of role reversal. Where I'm gonna get to say, Mom, go wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and I just... Ms. Rivers? Yes. Um, like your career, the sidewalk is forever. And it is such a pleasure to add you to the, the many names there. And can I put a ring in too? Yeah. How much is the ring going? Uh, oh, don't tell them some new pride out of the Yeah, exactly. Sidewalk. This is New York. This is a pride out. <laughs> Twenty nine ninety five. Okay, these guys are going to be prying it out. Made by Angelina Jolie's entire family. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Trevor. I'm the only live person on your walk, right? <laughs> uh, you've got we have Joan Crawford, Joan, right? dead. Joan Blondell, dead. Uh, Myrna Loy, dead. Morris uh, Swanson, dead. Dom DeLuise, dead. Kitty Carlisle, dead. Uh, Dizzy Dorsey, dead. Jimmy Shaw, dead. Uh, Helen Gardner, dead. <laughs> well, you, you bring new life to the sidewalk. Yes. <laughs> I may still be mad at her, but I do want tonight to be special, so I went ahead and made reservations at the Palm, which is a very big, iconic New York restaurant. Put it all oh, in the middle. Thank you. Red Blue and chocolate cake. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to thank you for not carrying our little disagreement. I, mean, Mom, I don't know if I could have been that gracious. You couldn't have. <laughs> Thank but you. you were great. I know your intentions are good, but just like you made the decisions with me, I make the decisions with him. I just thought it'd be fun and wonderful and a great opportunity. Thanks. And I apologize. Hi, Al. How's the dessert? Good? It's so good. Amazing food. Great. great. Pleasure. I received a phone call from Melissa earlier in the evening, and we have a little special surprise yes. for you. Can I figure with the handprints and the whole thing? We should sort of commemorate tonight. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Oh! oh. That's... Nice. Oh, thank you so much. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs>
on your name, Poop? There we go. Nice. Like it or not, guys. You're New I York. Love the I believe you. <laughs> you know what I like best about that? What? We're the same age. <laughs> Coming, coming. Melissa, will you get the will you get the phone, please? Sure, sure, sure. Hello? Oh, perfect timing. Hello. They're leaving today. This is Melissa. Thank you. Your luggage oh. is here. Oh, perfect. Perfect, huh? Really? What is it? I I didn't hear about that. Okay. Okay. What? Bye bye. Who was it? Well, that was Cooper's new agent. And did he get it? No. Well, he didn't get the part. It was adorable. Well, apparently he did great, yeah. but there was something that happened in the waiting room. Oh, nonsense. Apparently there was some really bad behavior by some of the parents. Do you know what they're talking about? I got a clue. And that they there said were two they just... mothers that were very rough. What happened, Mom? What happened, happened. Let's put it this way. Let's hope there weren't Nielsen families. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Just do me a favor with the acting stuff with Cooper. I think we've established it's not for him. Let's just let's just cool it with fine, that. fine, fine. And next time you think you're gonna sneak around, at least show me the respect of lying to my face. I love what you're wearing. You know what, Mom? It really is better that Cooper didn't get the part. I it totally agree. Yeah, with but you. we gotta get back to LA. The sooner we go back to LA, the better. I've got to get Cooper there in time for pilot season. Oh my God, okay, I'm out. What? A little fat kid from Modern Family can't get all the parts, you know. Next time on Joan and Melissa. Look at you today. Uh, sexual harassment? Joan, what were you doing? We were nothing. Come on. I am probably gonna be sued. It's not funny. You, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's just insane. You. You're being mean. Seeing Joan Rivers without makeup has proven to me that I'll be gay in my next life, too. He threw you under the bus. La, 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 la. I'm in total shock. I'd like to hear what you said. Previously on Joan and Melissa. We're going to be photographed today as the happy family. Jason's not gonna make it. Jason is not part of the family. Well, he is. This is ridiculous. He's not part of the family. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to go. It wasn't just a photo shoot to me. It's just it was like the other 10,000. We've talked about family. We've talked about we're trying to have a baby. You're just you like, what? whatever, just another photo shoot. I am not Mr. Rivers. I am not your father. You I'm left. arguing with Jay you. You left. Just stay the out of our lives. I'm sorry. That's really good. I'm gonna have a lot to talk about. And tonight. Conrad apparently has found out that, ready for this one? Yeah. He's Jewish. I want to give you the bar mitzvah. We could do that. Will you please just MC? I don't know how to host a bar mitzvah. I'm begging you. I, let's hear from the bar mitzvah boy. All right. You know, I heard something about Jason that I think you should check out. Sabrina, everything's a lie and you're a piece of who never loved me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes. Good. We are listening to your instruction. There is nothing like Christmas in New York in August. I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love the holidays. So when QVC called me and said, do you want to do a Christmas photo shoot for a print campaign? I said, you got it. The tree looks the so tree. beautiful. <laughs> I only have to leave it up for five months. <laughs> I know I'm Jewish. My real name is Rosenberg. I'm not kidding anybody. This is the real me. But, oh, Christmas decorations are so pretty, and the whole world is so gorgeous. I mean, you take the eight days of Hanukkah, you add them to the 12 days of Christmas, and you've got 20 days of gifts that you hate. Say, Merry Christmas. Everybody say, oi. Oi. <laughs> Hello? 
Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I can only talk for a second because I'm in the middle of a photo shoot. Um, when are you home? Thursday. I have something in the morning. I'll take the afternoon flight. Perfect, because uh, we're trying to plan a Shabbat dinner for Friday. Shabbat dinner? What, what are you talking Conrad apparently has found out that... Ready for this one? Yeah. He's Jewish. Conrad Hitchcock? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Someone, one of the women in his family was Jewish. You, you're making this up. I'm this... not making this up. My hand to God. Finding out Conrad is Jewish is... It's like finding out Larry David is Episcopalian. <laughs> Anything half-assed? He's taking classes. It'll be great. Have you got a blue tablecloth? At this point in my life, I guess I'm more Jewish than Jewish, but I love the idea of the Shabbat dinner. I mean, what it is, the family gathers and you celebrate the start of the Sabbath, and it's wonderful. And maybe it's time that this family gathered and started trying to get back to our roots. I want to get back to my roots, as dark as they may get, but I want to get back to my roots. Melissa, it will be so much fun. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm not missing this for anything in the world. Joan, can we get you back yeah, in okay. here? Melissa, they want me back. I gotta go. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Yes. <laughs> I, Conrad, hereby affirm my commitment to God, Torah, and the people of Israel. I declare my belief in the principles of the Jewish faith and my intention to observe the practices and ceremonies of Judaism. Conrad is right now, as we speak, in the middle of his conversion ceremony. He's going to come over tonight. For a Shabbat dinner, which I am making personally. And I'm so excited. We have not had one in so long. When have we ever had one? That's long. That is long. Mom, I mean, you really are not a cook. Melissa, I am... A I mean, whatever I want to be. And this is a very special time. It's going to be just I fun. understand, but you're... And you'll help me. Mom, I'm going to be going back to the office. I'm gone all day. I'm cooking. You can't cook. I'm making Shabbat dinner. Mom, you're a horrendous cook. That is so hard. How hard is it to make a matzo ball? Excuse me, do you know where the candles are? Candles? Candles, oh, sure. Come. I met this lovely lady, Haba, who offered to be my own personal kosher shopper. This is very kind of what you. What else do we you. need? We're doing a big Shabbat dinner. You want to do your bread by yourself? No, we're buying bread. You're buying bread. Okay. I would love Mom, to. Mom, we're buying... You're really not going to cook. <laughs> I'm going to cook. I so need you, bread, you need wine. candles? Okay. Shabbat candles. candles. Shabbat there you go. candles. Okay. Matzo ball mix. This is great. We'll need the challahs, right? Right. So get two challahs. Brisket? How do you make a brisket? That's the good style. Mom, you are getting in way over your head. Melissa. You have not had a shopping cart this full since a sale at Barney's. It's a nice shopping cart. Is there anything that we can add that you don't have to cook? You don't have to cook. It's fine. Is there anything else just in case? Is it a filter fish in a can? Oh, no. Get filter fish. Get filter fish. Yes. 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 This is going to be so great. Pickled herring. Oh, Oh, my God. Childhood. This is my childhood. You're trying to make a nice dinner for Conrad, not poison him, right? Melissa, this is going to be so wonderful. I know my mom's intentions are good, but after Conrad eats this meal, there is a good possibility he is going to convert right back. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. We need two eggs. Would you get me two eggs, please? Okay, you want to crack them? Okay. Maybe we should put another egg in. No, it only says two. I know, but you improvise. That's what makes a good cook. It's going to be very exciting. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. Oh, look at you guys. Yeah. What's going on here? We're making matzo balls. Wow. What I'm quite make? impressed. It looks a little dry to me. Okay, well, what does the recipe call for? The that recipe? Might be a start. Well, only... well, we've doubled the recipe. Okay. Let's do two, so it should be four, two. Okay. Sissy. All right, we yes. have to What are you doing? Well, what are you doing? They are making matzo balls, and cups. I thought I would get we my hands. Matzo, well, what is a matzo you ball? Know what? Uh, you know what? I think they need the help. I need your help. Okay. okay. How much water? Oh, Okay, Lord. Joan. Here's a cup. Joan. Keep stirring. Joan, you're using a coffee cup. That's not it's a cup. It's a cup. Everybody's in such a panic. Come on. The directions are right on the box. We might have to oh, start wait, wait, over. Wait. Slowly, Coop. Slowly. Oh, I know where I went a little wrong. 
I, where, uh, where do you think that could have been, Joan? I know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's supposed to make the matzo balls and then put them in the water. Okay, fine. Okay. These are going to be delicious. Let me see. Oops. It you looks like barf. I'm going to look and see if we have some more matzo in the cabinet. Just throw it in and pray. I want Cooper one day to be able to tell his kids, my grandmother cooked a dinner and everybody lived. There you go. We're making memories here, Cooper. We're not just making yes, matzo are. balls. We are making memories. <sighs> Thank God Joan can tell a joke, because that woman can't cook. You know these are homemade. You look in that pot, and you know that's not store-bought. And this is honestly the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everything is in place. Everything looks great, Good. and I look like hell. Are you sure you've got this, like, all the prayers? I mean, there's a lot involved in this. I think Conrad will know all the prayers. Melissa will just follow. And the food? The food is divine. Where's Jason? He is not going to make it. He had a work commitment come up. Ever since the big blood, I've been trying to find time to talk to Jason, but he seems to be working all the time and longer hours than he's ever worked. So it's, it's difficult to find time where we can both sit down and talk. Sorry. That's okay. I, he just found out about it. Okay, sweetie. I'll see you down there. Hurry okay. up. They're coming. It's going to be delicious. Coming. Well, Jewish. Jewish. All Officially right. Jewish. Kiss the mezuzah. Aye, aye, aye. Kiss the wizard and kiss the hostess. <laughs> All right, how nice. Oh, I am so happy for you. Do you think Conrad is... Oh, Mom, I don't want to know. Well, I think it's important. Why? It's because not Because you business. can't just be a Jew to the waist. <laughs> I just know if you're going to be a Jew, be a Jew. All right, so we start out by lighting the Shabbos candles. Okay. So just light it. Yeah. Yes. I know the blessing. I know so the can, blessing. We can share this. All right, here we go. Baruch Hato Adonai Eloheinu. Ouch. Baruch Hato. Baruch Hato Adonai. What's the rest? Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Melech. Melech. Hello, you know what? Brooke, as Conrad's lady friend, would you like to do the blessing of the candles? Okay. okay. All right, everybody. Cover your eyes. Ready? Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Tidishanu B'Mitzvotav V'Tivanu L'Hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I am so impressed with Conrad. I mean, my my goodness, he knows all those prayers. And Brooke, too. It's but very impressive. I look at Conrad, and I look at Brooke, we should go for classes. Absolutely. Go for classes. No, let's just go for getting through this dinner. And everybody takes a piece of the bread. And everybody salts it. And everybody everybody salts it. Well, we're going to do this a lot more often. With, when we have Cooper. I think this is great. So this is great practice. Have you made bar mitzvah plans yet? No. No. I want to give you the bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah? Let's, well, yes. The bar, he's going to be bar mitzvahed. <laughs> we could do that. Do you... You're going to let my mom throw you a bar mitzvah? Yeah, we can Who do that. Who could be doing that better? Would be fun. I'll think so. Bar mitzvah, boy. I cannot believe you're giving Conrad a bar mitzvah. Why not? It's a wonderful moment. But it's for a 13-year-old boy who just learned to read. Big deal. Paris Hilton just learned to read. Why don't we give her a party? And now, delicious homemade soup. We worked so hard. Dig in. Good, huh? Mom, these taste okay. kind of funny. They don't taste funny. They just taste, um, doughy? Yes, they're supposed to be doughy. Okay. But Actually, it looks, it looks amazing. So. Yes. It, what is it supposed to taste like? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Fine. I have a really great course. You're going to love it, guys. Just like Grandma used to make. Kefilter fish! Mm, I'm allergic. Brooke? Uh, no. Kefilter fish, it's delicious. Gefilte fish. I don't know a fish called a gefilte. What exactly is gefilte fish? Oh, come on. It, it's pickled carp, but, but Jews love it. You can only find it in warm waters around Miami and Boca. Okay, fine. It's Jewish spam. Okay. Okay? okay. That's all we need to know. Tonight, Jason came home and went to bed. I didn't even know he had come home. 
it, it's like there's this weird distance. It's, it's like we're just, he's just drifting away. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I heard something about Jason that I think you should check out. That's weird. What's that? Can you just, Mom, please, I need you to shut the door. What did you do to us? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Nice of you to come over. What do you want? Come in, look, I made some food. Sit down for two minutes. We're giving a bar mitzvah to Conrad, and I thought, wouldn't it be nice if Robert did the music? I think it'd be fabulous. Conrad's a Jew? Conrad found out he's a Jew. When does that happen? I didn't know Wait, what's in your hair? You look like Willie Nelson's sister. <laughs> Is that a dream catcher? So what happened to that? It's the latest thing. Here, what would you like? I got Nothing. you some cookies, strawberries. Peter, huh? this is, look how you're looking at me. Because I know you too well. When you offer me things, you want something. I want to tell you we're giving a bar mitzvah. And what do you want Robert to do, my son? I want Robert to play music. Are there going to be producers here, people who could hear him? Well, they're anybody? inviting Conrad's friends, so there won't be anybody in the business. Oh, there won't be anybody but in any, in any I, business. Robert is could 15. You, invite... you don't want to give him a job at 15. He's a prodigy. Why does everybody think their children are prodigies? I mean, come on. I mean... The Mansons, uh, the Dahmers, the McVeighs. I mean, all lovely, lovely people, but way off. All right, all right. I'll tell him he can play. It will be an honor. It'll be great. How much? It'll be so much fun. No money. It's the joy of it. Look, we're going to have it out on the terrace. Great. I Wouldn't love that. Wouldn't it be nice to see all the greenery and then behind him, the Pacific Ocean? Oh... Oh, I think we should cut. I see what this is about. It's about the f trees. Yes. Melissa and I have been fighting with Peter over those damn trees ever since he moved in five years ago. I don't want to have no, to No, I your... just want you to trim the trim trees. Trim the tops of the trees. That's all I'm asking is just They've trim the top. They've gone through the Civil War. Wait, I remember They've when you put them World in. They've gone through World War II. Wait, oh, I remember so when exactly, you put them in. Wait, 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 let's back it up the again. Okay. They went through American Idol. They've yes. been for a while. Okay, yeah. there's no, rings. I'm They've just seen... asking you to trim them. I can't see the water anymore. God forbid. It's a trim, Peter. The way you trim your hair, or should. It's a it's a trim. I'm not cutting trees. I'm not, I don't want to be. But I Melissa am not... bought the house. We stood at that door and we said, look at that view. It's the south of France. And when we bought the house, you can see the rivers walking around naked in their bedroom. Peter. That's why we, we, we put the trees up. Just trim the f trees. I'm you have to it. let us have I'm our ocean it. view. I'm not Come doing on, it. Peter, I'm cutting your trees. Peter, I'm telling you. Oh my God, this has become Bar Mitzvah Central. With She's mom. become Bar Mitzvah Zilla. Let me get that. Hello? Mel? Yeah? Hey, it's Perez. Hey, what do I owe this call to? Normally we just text. I, I didn't feel comfortable texting you. You know, I heard something about Jason that I think you should check out. Is he okay? Yeah, it's, it's... I mean, is, there, is it like this is an emergency? No, no it's, it's nothing like that, but it, I don't think it's my place to tell you, but it just broke online. Call me after you've had a chance to go to your computer, okay? Okay, I really appreciate you calling. Okay. Okay, bye. That's weird. Sabrina? I am completely in shock. I mean, what the f is this? What is this? I can't believe what I'm reading. I can't believe what I'm seeing. And I need to reach Jason to find out what is actually happening. This is. Voicemail. What the f is this? You know what? I will keep dialing him keep too. Gotta keep get dialing. Him on the let, me, phone. let me start. Let me text him. Until I know what's going on, I'm not gonna allow myself to freak out about this. I'm not gonna tell anyone. I'm not gonna tell my mom. I need to get to the bottom of this, and I'm just really grateful that this is one of Cooper's dad's custodial nights. Hello. 
Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Cindy Hassel. I nice know. to meet you. I'm surprised. I thought Melissa was going to be down here helping me with the bar mitzvah, but she's been upstairs in her room all day. So I'm just going to have to take matters into my own hands. I hired this great party planner, Cindy. She's done a zillion celebrities' parties, and I know it's going to be great. Tell me about oh, Conrad. He surfs. I thought maybe we could Ooh. do it. Well, let's surfboard. bring in some surfboards, ocean colors. Let's make it more into a beach feel back here. Surfing to me is, you know, the great Jewish tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Two well, things you always you know, remember, well, hang palm- ten and never forget. Well, there are palm trees in Israel. And okay. we'll bring some palm trees here. Okay, all right. Palm so trees palm here. trees, maybe a little sand. Sand would be great. We, you know, the wait servers could be passing the hors d'oeuvres on surfboards or boogie boards. Great. We'll do an open tent with maybe some hanging lanterns or stringer lights coming out of it with some fabulous bamboo surfboards that I have. Oh, yes. Maybe we do a big cutout or something like that of him on a surfboard flying up on a wave on a backdrop. Now we're talking. Okay. I thought you could see the ocean from here. Uh, when she bought the house, you could, but uh, the trees, I've had it with this. Conrad is not the only thing that's going to get trimmed for this bar mitzvah. The view used to be amazing. On a clear day, we could see Mel Gibson on the beach beating the out of his girlfriend. We can get a whole Polynesian show, you know, with the flame dancers and the That'd hula thing. This party is going to be terrific. Cindy has me running all over town. I'm looking at samples, I'm, I'm trying out hors d'oeuvres. It's going to be fabulous. Mom? Yeah? Can you come up here? Sure. We have so many plans for the bar mitzvah. It's going to be great. I'm finding all sorts of things online about Jason, and it's just getting deeper and worse, and I really think... At this point, I have to share this with my mother. What's going on? What's the matter? Can you just can you just come in and I need you to shut the door, Mom? Please, I need you to shut the door. What? What the hell happened? I am shell shocked. We stopped the cameras from rolling for a day because there are all these different things I was finding out. And I needed to really take the time to get to the bottom of what was going on. And as it turns out, there was a real lack of honesty in my relationship. He was on these websites with a profile where you are in a relationship, but you're looking to hook up and cheat. It's just unbelievable. And after three years, it's just, it's gone. Poof. Done. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It just... Three years. Son of a bitch. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. It just gets worse every time I talk to him. Everything's a lie and you're a piece of who never loved me. It's not what she deserves. (laughs) Kills me. Is she, is I, she uncomfortable? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that uh, it's it's horrific. It's horrific. What about this thing with the internet? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, we got a call from the National Enquirer. Already. Oh, my God. I mean, this is oh my God. an era where nothing is quiet and nothing oh, she's is got private to be sick. anymore. I don't know what a parent is supposed to do in a situation like this, except support your daughter. But... The rage inside of me is unbelievable. And to see her hurt, I cannot tell you how I'm controlling myself. Because I don't want her to see how upset I am, but I'd like to take him and break his neck. I'd like to put my hand down his throat and rip out his heart. Is she gonna walk in here and bar it? Okay. Hey. Hey. Hi. What? Nothing to just How long do I have? Oh, about 15. How are you today? Hanging in there. Okay. Working. One foot in front of the other. Tony, up. Oh, my God. Are you upset? Hey, you guys, we can talk about it. I mean, the, the weird thing is, is 
I'm finding out at the same time everyone else is. For almost three years of my life and Cooper's life, we were living together as a family. And it turns out that Jason was living a whole other life. It's just, today I have to go back to work and everyone knows what's been happening. It's very humiliating. It's all very bizarre. This porn stuff though, it, all the sites specifically say this deep involvement with online pornography. Okay, what? No, he was not doing porn. Who the hell knows? I, 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 I'm done, please, I'm done. I'm Can everyone just give us two okay. minutes? Two minutes. I'm sorry, no, I beg you. Okay. No problem. All right, so listen. Go home. Go home. I, I, I don't want to go home because at home I think, and I don't feel like thinking right now. Jason said he wanted to have a life, that we were going to be a family. Not getting married was my choice. He said whatever I wanted. He coached Cooper's teams. He went to the school. We were a family. Let's just go. Okay. Let's just go do the show. I love you, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on. Come on. Everybody goes through these things. Everybody goes through these things. I cannot tell you what it is like to see your child's dreams smashed. I mean, she was, she was setting up a family. They were trying to have a, a baby together. I mean, he was part of the fabric of her life and of Cooper's life. I'm so sorry. I'm living in a dark room. To have your child cry. You just wish you could take all the pain and just put it on yourself, you know? I'm a tough old bitch. I could take the pain much better. It just kills me to see this. I mean, this is not, you know what's so sad? It's not what she deserves. She is such a good girl. This is not, she's had so many hard knocks in her life. I mean, the father's suicide. And people don't like me take it out on her. I mean, she doesn't have that easy a road. And now this, I mean, just kills me. See your child in pain, just kills me. Oh, you know, it goes that makeup job. Okay, how are you doing? I'm not so good. So let me just tell you what is going on, okay? Because we are gonna have to address it. You know, I know it's not, it's a tough time when anyone's breaking up, but you do have to deal I with it. I have to deal with this. You are gonna have to make a statement, so you need to think about that. It's so surreal that I have to make some sort of public statement about what's going on with me and Jason. I mean, granted, okay, we are public figures. We live our life in the public eye, and I understand that. But it, you know, there's always parts of your life you don't want to share. I got a call from E. They want to put something up on E News. They want an exclusive for you, so we got to cover that. We're going to have to put something up on Twitter. And I'm really, really sorry to overwhelm you with all this, but it's stuff that just that we need to do. I know. It's very odd. It's very confusing. It's very, it's weird. Hey, Mel, can you also get a address that I can have this stuff delivered? Because I really don't want to have Jason come into the no, house. No, he can't come into the house. Mel, okay. I'm going to grab some tape from downstairs. OK, I got some in here as well. That's quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to start on the closet. Do you think I should just fold up his suits? Melody. Yes. Grab some garment bags, please. Look, 09. Isn't that nice? I mean, do I, what do I do with the pictures? Do I give them to him, or do I just put them away? Do we know where we're sending this stuff yet? This computer is his. Here was the watch I got him for Father's Day. This entire house is filled with Jason's things and our things and our life. And I'm running between such extreme sadness and such extreme anger. And I have to get his stuff out of here. I've got to get it out of here before Cooper comes home.
I was really creeped out when that guy showed up from the National Enquirer. All this relationship was was a big, giant lie. Really? Every day, every hour, some new piece of information comes to light, or the National Enquirer calls, or I open a drawer and I find things. I have to talk to Jason. He's got to tell me the truth. There's another really big problem. The Enquirer has a series of emails. Don't lie to me. So whoever it was who was corresponding with you sold you out. They have the emails, Jason. So do you want to say to me again, you don't know what's going on? These were people from Craigslist. Were you on Craigslist trolling? It's probably true. So you're telling me you were corresponding with a couple from Craigslist? I didn't pay enough attention to you. So you've destroyed our lives for attention. What did you do to us? Was I that awful? That you were gonna f people from online? I mean, what kind of risk have you put me at? We were trying to start a family, Jason. And all you say is, I'm sorry. Obviously you never loved me and that you hurt Cooper is unforgivable. <laughs> and now you've humiliated me? You've drugged this into the public. I feel sorry for your parents. I hope you at least called them. Did you? I can't talk to you, Jason, because everything's a lie and you're a piece of who never loved me or loved Cooper. You are a user and you are disgusting. And you don't even care to find out how I was doing. I'm done, Jason. It's gonna be okay, man. It just gets worse every time I talk to him. It just gets worse. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Sabrina, have you seen Melissa? Melissa needed to clear her head. What are you telling me? We have to get to Conrad's ceremony and then the party. Will you please just MC? I mean, come on, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Alexander. Hi. How fabulous is this? Hi. All right. Tell me what we should do. It's a bar mitzvah. Okay. Yeah, we're I would looking like for to something. give him a lovely wine. Yeah, now try this one first. Now get your nose all the way in there and don't be shy. Thank God, or my old nose. I would never get it in there. How many people are you expecting for this? 50, 75. 50, 75? Yes, he's giving me a list. Well, we've got three wines here to try. Now, this one is even darker. The best wine really depends on what kind of sauce it is, how Long. heavy the, the food is. Seriously, you're gonna be hammered. I don't want you to get, um, get too bummed because we have a couple of things to try. Can now you gulp a wine? That's good. Is that wrong? Uh, if you want to, you can spit into the bucket. <laughs> you gotta pick a wine, Mom. Is there such a thing as a good breakfast wine? I wanna know what kind of wine goes with waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smashed. <laughs> Tanning to do everybody. We need more flowers in there. Sydney, uh, can I show you? Hi, how night. are you? Nice, nice to, to see you. you. Mm. Uh, what do you think? I think it's uh, it's amazing. I, I, hey guys, hold amazing. it down for a second. C could I talk to you for Absolutely. a second? Absolutely. What do you need? Um, with all that's going on with Melissa, could we possibly have picked the worst time to have a, a great big party? I mean. I, I take a look at what we planned. I mean, my goodness, and you think, I can't. I just can't. I've got to scale it back. Absolutely, I don't know how, but I've got to scale it back. It's, not, it's wonderful. If things hadn't happened that happened, I would say beyond wonderful. Well, no tanning. Okay. No ukulele, okay. you know, 
Uh, we need a few palm trees. We need the palm trees, the surfboards are the and surfboards. And we've got beautiful linen. We have to cover the tables. We have to cover the tables. Maybe just a, Look at, a little smaller. Okay. You know, just... I'm all about giving you what you want. Thank, well, you're, you're amazing. Thank a, you. You can Thank stop you. tanning him. <laughs> Hello? Maybe I could get in there before we take it away. I think we can arrange I for it. Pop. No problem. Okay, that would no be great. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But um, can we keep Kelsey Grandma? Of course. Sabrina! Sabrina, have you seen Melissa? Melissa needed to clear her head. What are you telling me? We had to get to Conrad's ceremony and then the party and Melissa was nowhere around. And then I remembered, whenever she's really, really upset, there's a place she walks on the beach. Melissa? What's up, Mom? Nothing. I just was worried about you. That's all. I just can't deal with anyone today. You don't have to do any dealing with anyone. It's I, okay. I just... It's okay. I mean... <laughs> It's just there's too many people, and the embarrassment of everybody. It's no embarrassment. Oh, mom, with everybody knowing what happened. I mean, you you know you hope when you have a breakup you can just say oh it didn't work out or it ran its course, but to have my whole life just blown up like that. Why don't we just put it aside for a day, Conrad? It's He's your good friend, Missy. I know. You don't I want to ruin it for I would, him. I know, I That's know. That's what it's about. I know. Tomorrow, tomorrow will come, we'll sit here all day. Nothing is 100% Melissa. No, Melissa. I know, I know, and I'm so lucky in so many ways. I mean, but I just, there's on, so much going on. on at the house. Right, this is what we do. Cry tomorrow. I know. Cry tomorrow, come on. It's act two, Kurt. That's all this I is. know. Come on. Oh my God! Are we gonna step in pelican? Yeah, look at all the pelicans today. <laughs> hey. Hey, you made it. I made it. How you doing? I'm all right. Hanging in there. I'm glad, I'm glad you came. I, I thought that, you know, with everything yeah, going on, well, if it's too gnarly, you, you don't no, have to be here for this. I, seriously, you're my brother. What, am I going to miss this? Hey. <laughs> you're a man today. <laughs> Thanks. Which is alarming for some of the girls you've dated <laughs> in the past, but nonetheless, do you think I'd miss this? I do not. That's what we do. We buck up and soldier on. That's right. And it's your day. Thanks, Phil. So I will. You look good? Yeah, you look really good. Nice bar mitzvah suit. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you in there. Okay. Conrad and I, we have been through the wars together. And, I mean, how could I possibly miss this? It means so much to him, and of course I'm going to be there. It's Conrad. First, let me say welcome to Adat Shalom, Rabbi Perlo. Um, this is our home. We're extremely pleased to have you in it. This is about something extraordinary that you've chosen, a special relationship and a special mission. And with that, we want to bless you. I am so proud that you pulled yourself together and you put on the makeup and the dress and you went to the ceremony. You know what it meant to Conrad that you were there? A lot. And I'm very glad I went. It was wonderful to be around people who are supportive. And you need supportive people. That's what you need now. People that love you and support you. Why did you wear that dress? I'm going to ask you to say the blessing over Torah. Sorry, right here. Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. I mean, Mazel Tov, my friend. Thank you. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Just wanted to say hi. Hi. You look wonderful. Oh, thank, thank you. You look like uh, it's all coming together. Yeah, it's all. Work, relationships. Who are you hanging out with these days, kiddo? Uh, <laughs> Says on me. Go ahead. 
Well, it's official. He's a member of the tribe. And now it's party time. Are you up to this seriously? He's my friend, and it'll be great. Okay. Have a big slug of Manischewitz. Ugh. It's just very, very awkward. Because you don't know if people know or don't know and when it's out there. This party's a little, uh, not dead, but it, it's, it's not where it should be. And Melissa is, she's having a hard time. Uh, luckily, I invited Jason Alexander, who's a very good friend of mine. I didn't know it was a Hawaiian theme. That's nice. It's a, it's a surfboard theme. Surfboard for Judaism, of course. <laughs> Jews on surfboards. Maybe I can convince him to liven the whole place up. Will you please just MC? I mean, uh, you I know, came as a guest. I was here to meet, uh, to mingle, and well, to, to no. celebrate with you. I didn't. I don't know how to host a bar I, I don't you. know anybody it, you here. You don't need to know I don't anybody. know the kid. I the don't know kid, anything. His name is Conrad. Come on, come on. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, didn't look who's here. Jason Alexander. Hi. Hi. Nice, right. nice right. to see everybody. Great. Let's get this going, okay? Okay. First of all, wonderful to see all of you here on such a happy occasion. And Jason Alexander, what am I going to say? I don't Take know. Take it away, Jason. Oh, well, all right. Uh, thank you, Joan. I, uh, this is kind of, kind of a surprise to me. Uh, but this is great, having all of you here. It's just fantastic. And I'm just, I'm looking around for the kid. Where's Conrad? Where is, uh, where is our little right. man? Right here. Right. right. Where's, uh, <laughs> where is, where, where is Conrad? This is Conrad. Right here. I'm not 13. Well, no, you're not. No, you're not. Unless you got the Benjamin Button thing going there. <laughs> Congratulations on your bar mitzvah. Uh, I'm sure there are other people that would love to, to speak, make a toast. Uh, uh, okay, well, let's hear from the bar mitzvah boy. All right. Good. That's a, not so tight. Thank you, Jason. All right. Thank you so much for coming. I chose to do this religious journey later on in my life. And I'm really glad that all of you guys decided to come and celebrate with me. And Joan, thank you so much for throwing this. Mel, thank you for letting all of this happen. And I love you girls. We love you back so much. I love all of you guys. Thank, thank you for coming. You. Mazel tov. Mazel thank you. Tov. <laughs> oh, it's a great day. <laughs> to say I'm really glad that we did this for Conrad. And I am too, but there were some awkward moments there for you, kiddo. There are some moments. Some people know, some people don't. Because it's all just out there. It's all... Hey, sorry hi. I didn't interrupt. Just wanted to say hi. hi. Great to see you. My friend Jamie, my friend hi, Susie. How are you, Susie? Susie. Nice to, meet nice to see you too. Looking wonderful. Oh, thank thank you. You look like uh, it's all coming together. Yeah, it's uh, work, relationships. Who are you hanging out these days, I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just no one really right now. No. Oh, because I thought I, I, I thought. Yeah, I no, no, it is recent. You know what? It's fine. It's always great to sort of jumpstart some weight loss. Yeah, yeah. Not that you, you no, know. No, no, thank you, but, you, you know. know. I'm just saying. It's, it's good. She yeah. doesn't need, uh, no. no. You, you know. and me, maybe. Uh, but, you know. uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm good. I'm joking. Yeah. I really, but you know what? Just, it's all uh, good, and we're here to celebrate Conrad. Yes. So you guys having fun? Yeah. Good, I'm so glad. How are you? Hanging in there. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Really, you're okay with the whole thing? What? I'm sorry. No. Life's interesting. You manage life, Cooper? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cooper was never out of the number one position. Yeah. He never yeah. is. Really so glad you guys are here, though. You did an amazing job with Conrad's bar mitzvah. And I had so much fun. I mean, it's so great to have friends and family all gather on happy occasions. I mean, it was just wonderful. Mazel tov, Conrad! Yeah. It's great to see Cooper smiling tonight. There's been too many tears in the last week. Even if it's for a brief moment before reality comes in again, at least he's having fun tonight. You know what? We should go shopping. We haven't done that in a long time. 
Whatever you want, you got it. What do you want? A new computer. <laughs> Next time on Joan and Melissa. I'm trying to fix my daughter up without her knowing it. I can be your mother-in-law. Oh, my God. I'm not sure where your brows were originally. I can't get over the goal of this kid. God, it's like Robert Williams' shower drain. Carol! I, I'm I sorry. feel very I, like an animosity coming here. Really? I'm turning my phone off now. Relax. I'm trying to help. Listen to me! Mom, it is I'm not listening. okay. Yes. You cannot do that. Tonight on Joan and Melissa. You have a birthday coming up. Don't start. It's, it's depressing. What do you want for your birthday? Yeah, sign up. You're going down, girl. No bumpy. We're getting tattoos. What are you, what are you crazy? Ready? I know you're going to, it's going to go ready, really ready, well. I love this. Oh, my God, what's that? Joan, excuse me. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. I am so sorry. Hi, John. Oh, good to see you. You too. Come on in. How gorgeous are you look. I love How this. How thin you look. I'm working hard at it. Oh, you, are, I mean, every time I see you, you've lost weight. That's great. Oh, thank you. You've dropped. I love Perez Hilton because he's one of the few gossip columnists you can really trust. I mean, he was a really loyal friend in the whole Jason and Melissa mess. And so when he called up and said, I have some business I want to talk to with you, delighted. So how are you? I'm good. How's Melissa, by the way? Ugh. Not that well? It sounds terrible, but I'm, I'm so glad he's gone. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, but she's handling it fine. Oh, Who do you know good. for her? Uh, no one. I know a lot of gays. Yeah, well, <laughs> gays have straight cousins. <laughs> as long as she doesn't marry one like Liza Minnelli. I, I would love her to marry a gay woman. <laughs> what could be better? They dress you, they love you. But there's no sex. What could be better? <laughs> what could be better? You We're have a birthday together. coming up. Don't start. Okay. I don't, I don't even want to talk. Are you going to have a big party? No. No? It's, it's depressing. You no. only turned 79 I, once. 78. 78. Oh. oh, my God. 78. It's bad enough. I was born in 78. But I, I'm not here to talk about your birthday. I'm here to talk about something more exciting. I have some very exciting news. I started a production company. Are you serious? Yes, and I am Congratulations. here uh, to pitch you something, which hopefully you'll like or at least entertain. And I want to do another documentary. You know, I loved your first one that you did, a piece of work, and I thought it'd be interesting to do a slightly different one. The documentary that Perez is talking about was one they did on me called Joan Rivers, A Piece of Work. They followed me around for a year, and it was the year I won Celebrity Apprentice, and uh, it was a great experience. It's not about just a year in your life, but it's also more about, you know, looking back at your career as a comic. I think you can give some really good advice to the young comedians about what it was like doing comedy with people like, you know, Gracie Allen and Imogene Coca. Oh. And Lucille Ball, I mean. Well, well, those women were dead before I got started. I mean, why does he just mention Cleopatra and, and Helena Troy and uh, Ruth from the Bible? Well, they were a little before my time. Gracie Allen was in the 30s. Imogene Coker's in the 40s. And you started in the 50s? No, 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 no. I started in the late 60s. The late 60s? Late 60s. Anytime a producer asks you to be in a retrospective, that means the end is near. But you could still provide a lot of insight. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and, and delighted to do it for you. Yeah. But I just feel that I haven't, um, as Calvin always says, we haven't peaked yet. And I think the idea is terrific that I think you're looking for someone a little older than I am. Um, 
Uh, can I think about it? Okay. Yes, please. Okay. And it's been great. Thank it's, you. I love you. Well, I do appreciate you taking the time. I know oh. you're so busy. Oh. I'm so happy that you came. Thank you. So good to see you. So Bye. good to see you. Thank you. I will absolutely think about it. Okay. Thank you. No way. How old do you think I am? I mean, before I was depressed, now I'm suicidal. But then again, it's silly to kill yourself when you're this close to death. <laughs> I could just wait it out. Good Lord, this turtle is getting big. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, she's bigger than the tank now, hon. Well, he's not bigger than the tank. Well, okay, but, kinda. I mean, we either need to get a ginormous tank or we need to maybe take Mr. Turtle to a sanctuary. I think we should take him to a sanctuary so he has more friends to play with. I think that's a very good idea, but I mean, he can't live like this. This is unfair. I've come to say good night. Oh, wow. I thought tomorrow was stupid hat day. <laughs> How'd it go with Perez? Oh. What do you mean, F? He wants to do a documentary about age. I don't know. Oh. Well, okay, but speaking of age, what do you want for your birthday? Yeah, cyanide. Mom, you're not going to have cyanide for your birthday. What do you want to do? Come on, we got to do something. When they can see your cake from out of space, that's when you start saying, I don't want to know. I don't want anybody to mention, that's your birthday gift to me. Please, seriously, nobody mention it. That will make me very, 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 very happy. Today is my mother's birthday, and it's a shoot day for us at Fashion Police. And every year, everybody tries to do great things for her and be lovely, and pretty much, I gotta get into work and cancel all the birthday plans that I'm sure everyone's got in motion. Good morning, Cassie, Good how morning. are you? Good morning, how are you doing? Um, the cake that we had ordered for my mom, we need to cancel it. Okay. She okay. doesn't want to deal with their birthday at all. Can I eat those for her? Yep. Okay, I will grab these. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Okay, okay. okay. bye. bye. Birthday. You are kidding me. What's wrong? Do you need help? No, I got it. Here, just give me that. She's in a foul What do you mood. want? She doesn't want... These are bath salts. They're really nice. Just you are... I'm what are you taking? I'm getting... Wait rid. a minute. Because she wa doesn't want to acknowledge her birthday. Well, Trust me. Those better not be for me, uh, sweetheart. No, no, they're for Cassie. It's her birthday? Oh, you know Cassie at reception? Yeah. Yeah, no, she, she's pregnant. She's pregnant? Oh, pregnant, yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And one of those gifts from us? Yeah, this this one. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Better not be contraceptives. It's too late. Uh -huh. If Melissa thinks I believe that, she is out of her mind. I hate gifts. They're usually horrible. Only good thing I ever got was a beaver coat from Ellen DeGeneres. And it fit my beaver perfectly. Okay, don't say it, not a word. We know what it is, let's forget about it. I was not a wanted child. My mother tried to have an abortion two months after I was born, okay? Don't get me wrong, I'm down on birthdays, but I'm not down on my life. My life is amazing. I have. Everything a woman can wish for. My family is fine, I, my career is great, and I'm off to meet my manager. And he'll give me a great gift, I hope, which will be a new job. Ah, here you are. Hello, I'm so Hello. sorry I'm late. That's okay. Oh. Mm. Okay. You look great, you oh, look please. great. So you're all set for New York and booked for Jimmy Fallon tomorrow night. Great. I love going on the Jimmy Fallon show because he's in the old NBC Tonight Show studio in New York City where it all started. That's where I got my first big break 46 years ago. And my life changed in a second because of that. And what else you got? We have a, an offer from this company called Life Alert. Why do I have a sinking feeling about this? If this is going to be something for adult diapers, I swear to God, I'm going to myself. Are you familiar with them? The company? The old people fall down. They you fall and alone. they can't get up. And your whole family's dead, so you're alone. <laughs> well, Joe, they're a great company, and they want you to be their new spokesperson. Kill me now. They feel that, you know, you would reach their demographic audience. Their audience is not a repeat audience. <laughs> 
It's a big, big offer. The offers are not the offers he used to bring. We'd sit at this table and you would say things like, uh, they want you for Christian Dior ad, they want you for, for a major series. I mean, I've gone from a Gucci bag ad to a Colossal bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about it. Two. Okay. Hello, Mikey. Melissa? Melissa? I got home. Cooper and Missy were out. Sabrina? Yes? So I said to Sabrina, where are they? And she said, they're taking Mr. Turtle to a turtle sanctuary. Huh? You've never heard of a turtle sanctuary? No, I never heard of a turtle sanctuary. They took him because he got too large for this aquarium. Ridiculous. He was getting too old. That's what it was. Oh, my God. They let him go because he's too old. Well, Cooper's gonna come home to an empty tank? No, they're gonna get another one, John. Of course, this is Los other... Angeles. Gonna have a younger, hotter turtle. Probably with shell implants, so California. It always starts with a turtle, doesn't it, huh? Now they'll be coming for the comic. Put her in the comic sanctuary, which I have a feeling smells just like the turtle sanctuary. Oh, God. It ain't easy getting old, is it? I've fallen and I can't get up. It's not so bad down here. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I'm 78 years old today. My IUD last night was on Antique Roadshow. I would like, like a happy beat. Of course. On my butt. Ready? Yeah. I know you're gonna, it's gonna I'm go ready, really I'm ready, well. I love this. When, oh my God, what's that? If you notice, everyone sent me white flowers for my birthday. I guess they figured they played safe, just in case I, you know. Hello? Mom? Hello? What are you doing in here? What does it look like I'm doing in here? It's one in the afternoon, you're sitting in your robe? Yeah, I'm sitting in my robe. What are you doing? Oh, these are beautiful flowers for your birthday. Don't remind me, Melissa. I'm 78 years old today. Is there life after 70? No, there's breathing after 70, that's it. I think what sets my mom off about the birthday is the whole age thing. She feels like she's 40, and she can't deal with the actual number. Who she sees in the mirror is not who she feels she is, and I think every year when there's another number, it just freaks her out. Mom, what are you doing, and what... What am I doing? I'm looking over the memory book. The memory book. Yeah, look at that. Oh, your father and me on our honeymoon. Look at this, look at this. In the south of France. After that, he said, I want to have some fun. And he went off to Rome alone. Look you... at this. This okay, girl seriously. thought she had everything. This girl thought she had everything. I should have... Had an electrolysis, look at that around the lip. Do you think that's why they didn't call me for callbacks with a little mustache? Poor bitch. She and my daughter, I give her electrolysis. Oh, uh, look at you, look at you there. Your father and I taking you back from the hospital. You ripped me to shreds, but I didn't care. I didn't care. This is ridiculous. It's just a birthday. It's not just a birthday, it's age, Melissa. It's over. Mom, seriously, it is not over. My IUD last night was on Antique Roadshow. I mean, look how much you work. It's not like we're putting you out to pasture. Well, I obviously, mean, everybody else is putting me out to pasture. Obviously, that's what it is. No, it's not. People... And that's what this whole family is about. Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle? Got older, and out he went. Mr. Turtle got put into a sanctuary because he outgrew the tank. And I'm probably outgrowing that little stupid room downstairs. Mom, seriously, things are great. Great, don't touch me. I might snap osteoporosis. Mom, seriously, things are amazing in your life right now. I can't, and you, more than anyone who's always like, my life is fantastic, it's great, what more could I ask for? I mean, you say that. I'll tell you what I could ask for, a good bowel movement. My mom is in a foul mood today, and I'm just hoping that the trip to New York will snap her out of it.
I just love late night. And so to go on Jimmy Fallon, ah, I can't wait. I walk in there and ah, it's full circle for me. It's just magical. And it makes me realize how lucky I am and how God has given me this amazing career and it all started there. He's in the old NBC Tonight Show studio. Look this way, please. Down. Not all touching is sexual. Just ask my late husband. That's funny, yeah? <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. All right. I just think it's... Joan, excuse me. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Oh. So good to see you. It is good to see you as well. Let me ask you. I'm so glad you came in. I have one joke I'm not sure about. Yeah. Auschwitz. I lost all my relatives at Auschwitz. They were on the other tour bus. <laughs> Is it funny? I was with you. I don't know Good. what that means. Look, <laughs> Joan, I, I am so sorry. I'm what? so sorry. I'm going to have to bump you. What? I, I, I know. I feel so bad doing this. We, we got Whitney Cummings. She's you, very you're funny. You're making a joke. She's very funny. No, she's funny. She's, she's not very great. funny. She's I've great. You're going to love her. You're going to love her. I know her. I don't love her. I like and, her. Yeah, I'm so sorry. She's but okay. You're, you're great. I'm so, I apologize. Are you, you're not making a joke? That's, that's great. Okay. You, you, you this can, is true? Yeah, that, that'll be, that's a joke. That's so funny. So tomorrow, can I come? I'm here in New York for this specifically. Can I come tomorrow? I, I you know what? I, let me go check on Whitney, make sure everything's okay, and I'll have someone else come back. It's just the business. It's not. I, bye, Joan. Okay. Oh, goodbye. I can't believe you did that. Because she's younger. That's why. <laughs> Young has nothing to do. She's probably gonna split the feet with a babysitter. <laughs> Let, let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Oh, okay, Joan. go. Yeah, just. Oh. I, I, just, just let's really go. I just, I just want to get out of here fast. I, I don't want to see anybody. Jesus. Whitney coming. Bitch. When Jimmy told me I was being bummed for Whitney Cummings, all I heard was, someone younger, someone younger, 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 younger! Park any closer? Oh, get in, get in. Okay. I came to New York to avoid being depressed, and I'm more depressed than ever. But if anyone can cheer me up, it's my good friend Margie Stern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a terrific day. Margie and I have been friends for a long time. Come all the way from California. Did it rain so a monsoon? <laughs> Hurricane Margie. We met at a sale at Gucci. And we both reached for the same bag at the same time, and she got it. Actually, she got two bags, because we were friends ever since. Oh, I'm so this depressed. Just, oh, just stop it. You remember negativity. when you hit this age how depressed you were? Well, I hope I get that age. <laughs> I don't know if I can live to be 90. Uh, you were 90, right? <laughs> you know what's nice about age? What? My life is always busy. I got two funerals, three funerals a day. <laughs> How about you in the chair of a television show with your makeup on and the host comes in and says, we're bumping you for a younger comedian. How about that? They said younger? Younger. They didn't say younger. You just said, she had a tamp on her purse. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more to say. It was obviously younger. So where are we going? No, it's a, should we make it a surprise? I think it should be. <laughs> Trust me, trust me. I would like to know in case I die. What a surprise. Margie took me to visit William Ivy Long in his workshop. Right. <laughs> well, come on, let's, uh, let's, let's come go. Come on, let's play. play. Let's this play. is exciting. He's one of the great Broadway designers. Tony's galore. Look at this, look at that. Remember that from Nine? It's fantastic. Yeah. There's hairspray. And he's designed a lot of my clothes for Vegas. And oh, we walk in there and we become like two diabetics in a candy shop. Oh, feathers, 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 feathers. How great. All this stuff. Yeah, you that be a... an amazing coat. Oh, it looks gorgeous. And the Hamptons. But it all happens. Stage. It would not be an afternoon at William Ivy Long's without playing dress up. Here we go. Oh. Oh, very, that looks so glamorous. Oh, Margie, try this on. Oh, this is just a dream. I'm Kim Kardashian. 
Oh, yes, please. The old oh, well, she would fill it. <laughs> she would fill it totally. Yeah. It's meant to be a, like a drape. That looks great on your toe. Model walk, model walk. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a spring chicken again. <laughs> that is so beyond. That's for you. Do you know how much these things cost? And Margie bought me one for my birthday, which is typically Margie. She's amazing. Now we have to find some place to go. Too much for Applebee's, tell me the truth. No, no, we'll be great there. We should, uh, well, we'll let's get go. We'll get a table. We'll get a table. <laughs> OK, come on. Where are we going? We're going right here. Watch out. Come underneath. Go underneath. We're getting tattoos? What are, what are you, crazy? You know what? What? You try it. You're going to. We're going to be biker chicks, the oldest biker chicks <laughs> in the world. So I'm a biker chick We're on a three wheeler. No, we're we're a biker chick. <laughs> Margie and I get together and we just have the best times ever. My name is Ray. Welcome. We end up doing the silliest things together. She can turn my mood around like that. No one else can do that with me except maybe, maybe Rosie O'Donnell when she's taking her meds. A year, this woman has said to me. We've been talking about this for a long time. A year, a, a year. year. So, okay. So let's do it. Follow me, please. I would like oh, something please. very small. I think I should get a snake. I think you should get a snake. A snake is more you. Don't take this personally. Here's some snakes. Um, let me draw something up for you. Okay, okay, do that. What do you think of this little bee? Well, that's so cute. It's very cute. Can you make it smiley? Like a happy bee. Of course, yeah. Let me make it a little happier. And uh, where are we going to put this? On my butt, if you don't mind. It's a little happier be. A little happier. He should be happy, right? Yeah. He's going to a happy place. <laughs> I would like it not near the crack. That's daughter. tasteless. Tasteless. Absolutely. Crack adjacent? Screw. <laughs> you know, In the neighborhood? In the neighborhood of the crack. <laughs> OK. What am I? Doing. I don't want to be known as the girl with the bumblebee tattoo. Yeah. So, Joan, come over and stand near me so Get I can the place table. the stencil on you. All right. Oh, which... uh, let's see what we're going to do for you, Margie. <gasps> you have beautiful skin. Oh, Are you don't me? It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. My ass looks like where they fake the moon landing. It's beautiful. Oh, my God. Skin. I'm it's so youthful. <laughs> Are you ready to see it? Do you want to see where it is? <laughs> Here, check it out in the mirror and tell me what you think. I think I need to lose 30 pounds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger bee. <laughs> can you show? I need a pot of honey. Yeah, can I, can, can I, Margie and Ray uh, no, approve it? No. They're not allowed to no, sleep. No, I don't want to look. I'm it looks like I'm All right, so now you, all you have to do is lie down and get oh comfortable. Oh, my God, comfortable. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm oh my serious God. about this. Oh. oh, God. What are you saying oh, my God for? Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Oh what are you doing? Um, yeah. Oh, my God. It's going to oh. look wonderful oh when we finish. You can do this, John. Yeah. Oh, it's a little B. What's the a big deal? Bee. Oh my God. Joan, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> are you She's crying? Not... She's crying. She's not crying. Yes, she is crying. Joan. What are you she, crying? Is that happiness? Is that excitement? It's definitely. A... <laughs> Just hurry up and do it. Just do it. Needles scare me. If you're coming at me with a needle, it better be for a Botox, baby. I'm just uh, going to put a little cream on the first. Cream, OK, okay. It's cream. I haven't had anything yet. Oh, my god. It's going to uh, look wonderful oh when god. we're finished. You're making me crazy. I'm already, I'm listening uh, to you. I'm getting sick. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. All right, my god. All right. All right. Ready? I know you're going to, it's going to go ready, really ready, well. I love this. Oh, my god, what's that? Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I've fallen. I need someone to help me get up. That was a tattoo. I don't know because Lift it up, don't you look, I'll tell you. Ah! What are you Here doing? we go. What, 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 what? Yeah, 
Just do it. Oh my god, what the f is that? It's just the needle. Oh, no, no, no. I'm out of here. No, no. Thank you very much. You're a lovely girl. God bless. I'm out of here. What? I'm going. You're making me so crazy. I don't want to hit him next year. I'm going to hit him next Oh my god. I can't. She can't do this. I'm leaving you a big tip. I promise you. My god. Oh my god. I feel terrible leaving Margie at the tattoo parlor, but you know something? It makes up for the time that she convinced me to wear that horrible caramel colored number to the Tony Awards. Was I wrong? Was I wrong? Whenever I'm in New York, I go to the West Bank Cafe and I perform in this little tiny room uh, the energy I get from the audience reminds me why I love this business. Can I take your bag for <laughs> All my new ideas I put on a cue card and I throw it down on the stage so I can see it while I'm running around. Every performer does it differently. Kathy Griffin has a book. She literally puts on a stool next to her and looks through it and says, oh, I want to talk to you about this. Robin Williams, I'm told, writes it on his wrists. And George Carlin used to literally take a piece of paper out of his wallet. So we all do it in different ways. <laughs> Most people think that when I do shows, I get this great suite of dressing rooms and, and all kinds of people there to, to take care of me. <laughs> this is reality. It's a little skinny room, a dirty mirror, and if I'm lucky, a glass of box wine. Look how narrow this dressing room is. If Richard Pry were working here, he'd only be able to snort one line of coke at a time. Will you welcome, please, Miss Joan Rivers? So, I'm thrilled, well, I'm not thrilled to be you, but <laughs> I'd like to be rich enough to say all your money. But I just hit 78, and getting old sucks, let me tell you. And thank God for June Allison that started us with the Depends. Thank you. Oh, remember June Allison, those Depends commercials? Yes. Open the warp, open the doors for all the older women. Hi, I'm June Allison. While I'm talking to you, I'm taking a dump. <laughs> I love performing live because you get such energy from an audience. I swear to you, I get on stage, I feel like, like a young girl of 68 with my whole life ahead of me. I'm telling you, well, the same with Tom Cruise, that, uh, that other happy family. <laughs> that stupid wife that we're, we're Kate, never talks, never talks on the red carpet. She just stands at the eyes blink, SOS, SOS. <laughs> Kurt Cobain. And, and they have that little, and they have that Korean kid they adopted. That little Korean midget they pretend is theirs. Sorry. Oh, no, yeah, like it's a real child. What is wrong with you? She's standing there smoking and drinking her. Sorry. Sorry, we gotta take a picture. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I was laughing my head off, and I've seen this show, I don't know how many times. It 150 was, times. At least. But you know what? It was oh. great, and you really fed off the audience. It was terrific. What, how was the tattoo? I don't know, because I'm not really good at looking at things like this. Lift it up. Don't you look. I'll tell you. I'll be very honest with you. I'm not looking. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. You should be really pleased. You know what you look like? What? Queen of a cell block. Oh, really? You think I look like one I'm of those? You could go out with any gang any member gang now. gang member. I'm very proud of you. I just want to say one thing, and you need to stop whining about your birthday. 
and don't make it negative. And so it's your birthday. We all have them. If you ever do this again, then next year, we're going to have to do something very radical to get you out of it. And we're going to do nipple piercings. I've done it. I, I removed it because I kept tripping. <laughs> Ding dong. Hello, hello, I'm home. Welcome back. What's going on? I'm back. I'm hi. much better with hosts. Hi, hi. Mm -hmm. So? I spent time with Margie. What'd you guys do? We were, she got a tattoo. She got a tattoo. She got a tattoo. No way. Yeah, on her wrist. And you? I was going to get a B on my bus, but then I took a look in the mirror and I figured it would be too painful. For the tattoo artist. It was not pretty. Well, but you know that I have a bee on my hip. That's why I did it. So you were going to get a matching tattoo to mine? Yes. Okay, so you're going to have mother-daughter tattoos? Mother-daughter tattoos. Mother-daughter so career, mother-daughter brand, yes. mother-daughter yes. house, mother-daughter yes. cars. Didn't hurt the Kardashians. Okay, but they don't have matching tattoos with their oh, mother. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, really? Theirs all say this side up. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I've fallen. I need someone to help me get up. I know we weren't going to do birthday gifts, but a little a something gift? silly. Oh, could have been bigger. Two years ago, I said, I've had it. I don't belong at Christmas. I got me the biggest Christmas tree that I could possibly get. It was in Martha Stewart Libby. It was in the magazine. I went up above. I have a friend who has broke off Goodman windows, and he decorated the whole goddamn tree. And we had everything under the tree. We had all the animals. And we had Mary. We had Joseph. We had the kid. I'm Jewish. I got the kid a nanny. It, it was and I redressed Mary. This is the honest to God. I redressed Mary, but she was like in a blue schmata. Like a, I put her in a Chanel suit. Jimmy Choo's and a stunning Fendi bag. You are the mother of God. Look at You have a great new ad, and you're really gonna go through with this life alert meeting. Absolutely, I gave it a lot of thought. It's helping seniors in their hour of need. It's a ton of money, isn't it? I coming, 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 coming. Come in. I've fallen. I need someone to help me get up. Nice to see you. Hello. Nice. Nice to see you too. Yeah, how many times have people done that to you? Uh, this I, is the first see, time. Yeah, first sure. Time. <laughs> Come in, please. Thank you. Lovely to have you. I've decided to do the life alert meeting, and I would love to do it with him, but I think it's got to be on my terms. I think I have some great ideas. With all due respect, it could be better looking. I'm telling you, a lady would not want to go to dinner wearing that. Probably not. Or to the supermarket. But if you give her something wonderful, she wear it all the time. Absolutely. Sure. You know, I know. Of course. It, you see what I'm yeah. So we came up with some ideas. A pendant could be a prettier look. That uh, would definitely be decorative. Absolutely. A pin. Oh, a pin. Now, that's a really a good pin. She feels, I look good, and it's helping me. And she's safe. And she beyond, looks good, and she's safe. And it's helping me. I like it a lot. How long do you think it would take to get something? Uh... We could actually get it to your people, certainly within. Five months. Five months. Uh, we work very fast. Mm -hmm. You'd have to change your logo, though, too. I've fallen, and I look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is so ironic about this whole thing with Life Alert? They had to come to an older person to make their product more useful. I just want to see if we can find Mr. It's the turtle. Well, they all look alike. They don't all look alike, Cooper. Yeah, they do. And it's so politically incorrect. You know, Cooper's right. I cannot tell which one is Mr. Turtle. 
my gosh, look how many there are. Yeah. That's why oh, I want to keep wow. them here. So I can have friends and all. Not just be lonely in this cage. Oh, look at the little baby over there. How nice. Could that be him over there? No, he's too big. It's going to be hard to find him. Yeah. Maybe we should call out. Yeah. We're here, Mr. Turtle. You who? Wait. No, that's not going to work. Mr. Turtle. Grandma, I don't think so. Oh, that's him right there. You think that's him? Yeah. Oh, Koopy. Oh, look how sweet. He's got a friend. He's got a girlfriend. Oh, look. Well, maybe there's a boyfriend. No. He'd be in tortoise shell for his boyfriend. And oh, that's so nice. Oh, you know, maybe he's better off here, Koopy. Yeah. You know what this is like, Koopa? What? It's like we sent him off to college. Grandma. You have to let your kids go. It's a koi pond. Oh. So listen. What? I was thinking about my birthday. Yeah? I think maybe just you, Mom, and I should celebrate it. How was that? Yeah, I think we should. I want to play in it. Will you plan the whole thing? Yeah, everything. Okay. Deal. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing we're not going to be having. Turtle soup. Grandma. So you are serious. You are up for celebrating your birthday. If it means celebrating with Cooper, I don't care if it's six weeks later, if it's with Cooper. Okay, and he'll, you're up for anything. Melissa, number one in my will. Yes, number one in my will. So I've used up my... Number one in my will. You better start sucking up to him. <laughs> so cool. Let's go this way. You ask a 10-year-old to set up your birthday. Okay. It's not gonna be a night at the Metropolitan Opera. Whoa, that was awesome. Oh. Awesome, awesome. Oh my God. Mom, it's gonna be great. It's not gonna be great, it's gonna be terrible. I'll make you a wager. Loser has to pay for pizza. Fine. It ain't Fine. gonna be me. It's not gonna be me. I am a great driver. I've been driving for years in the back seat. <laughs> How often your father said to me, shut the up. <laughs> Welcome, race fans, to the Racer's Edge go-kart track in beautiful downtown Burbank. Tonight's lineup features number 16, Melissa Madmel River. Number 24, Super Coop. And in pole position, the biggest, fattest driver on the course, number 32, Jones Skidmarks River. Oh my god. This thing better have an airbag. It's 10 winding laps around Burbank's most extreme indoor racetrack. First person to complete 10 laps wins the race. I'm very uncomfortable in this. I can't stand it. Can somebody help me get this off my head? I'm going crazy here. Coop, you ready? Yeah. Mom, you ready? Ready for where? Our family is always very competitive. You're going down, Grandma. Cooper. No bumping. Okay. I don't know where it comes from. And sure, in the past, you always make sure Cooper wins. But you know, all bets are off now. Coop, trade and paint, buddy. Trade and paint. Okay. All right. I'm out for blood. Come on, are we ready? I'm yeah. beyond ready. All right. Okay, guys. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. My God! Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. First person to complete 10 laps wins the race. My God! Here they come down the main straightaway. Hi, Grandma! Hello, Cooper! Look at Super Coop go. On your outside! I'm outside of you, Mom! Mom, Mom, I'm trying to process. it. Cooper's in the lead. But it looks like Mad Bell is catching up. Is there no way out? Skid Marks is still trying to complete her first lap. 
while Super Coop and Mad Mel are really tearing up the track. Mom, I'm trying. Yeah, but I was trying to pass Coop and it blocked me. Oh my god, skin marks is going in the wrong direction. Check your flag, please. It's neck and neck down the final lap. Come back here, child. Oops, sorry. It's gonna be a close one. And coming down the stretch, it's Mad Mel in first, Super Coop in second, and bringing up the rear is Skid Marks. Wow, she can't be too thrilled with that finish. <laughs> Place. I was bumped. You were not bumped. Oh, I have had less contact doing lap dances. You did lap dances? Let's not go into it. It doesn't matter. The point is we live nicely now. If I remember correctly, loser pays for pizza, dinner's on you. Fine, as long as you pay for the whiplash. Whiplash? <laughs> You'll hear from my lawyer. Oh, Whoa. little snack. Oh, oh, this is great. Little? Just a little. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's gonna be one big doggy mm -hmm. bag. Here. Whoa. Stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Oh, oh thank you oh. so Yay. much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm Make making a, a wish. wish. Make wish. a wish. My wish is, if every year is as good as this year, that's just fine with me. Great. Come in. Good morning. Good morning. Give me a 13-letter word that means incorrectly interpreted. Starts with M I and ends O O T. Misunderstood. Ah, fits. Okay. I know we weren't gonna do birthday gifts, but this a little a something gift? silly. Silly, I'll accept. Silly. Are you proposing? No, I'm not proposing. I'm sorry. Even in Appalachia, this wouldn't work. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, Ain't I'm not. Ain't gonna happen here. I'm not proposing. You know I love jewelry. I know. Really? Women love jewelry. Really? Marie Antoinette's last words were, watch the necklace. <laughs> Mr. Turtle. Yes, oh, Mr. Turtle. Very cute. Yeah. Thank you. I just want you to know, we're not putting you out to pasture. Yeah. That's very sweet. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Dory. All right, well, thank you for going along with us. My everything. pleasure, my pleasure. Love you. I'm going to go you, finish getting ready. I love you. Enjoy it. That's lovely. That's just beautiful. Thank you. Could have been better. You know something? With all my bitching, I have had a great birthday. Well, so you're not going to complain anymore about birthdays? Oh, who complains? Next year, I'm going to have a big party. Is that better? That's better. We'll have an open bar. If things don't go well, we'll have an open casket. Mom, be great. Mom, come on. That's, that's not even funny. It's not being funny with all these new parts of me. I'm not going anywhere, Melissa. I'm still under warranty. <laughs> Next time on Joan and Melissa. There's going to be a wedding this week. <gasps> It's Vegas. No strippers. Mom, I'm not ready for this. You may not kiss your bride. Cooper, you owe me a lot of favors for this one. Previously on Joan and Melissa. You know, I heard something about Jason that I think you should check out. Sabrina! Everything's a lie, and you're a piece of who never loved me. After three years, it's just, it's gone. Done. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and tonight, I've hired professional matchmakers. I'm trying to fix my daughter up without her knowing it. I could be your mother-in-law. Turn right and left. 
What's your problem? Oh my God. I'm not sure where your brows were originally. I can't get over the gall of this kid. God, it's like Robin Williams' shower drain. Carol! Ah. Get... Joan? I, I'm I sorry. I feel very I... like an animosity coming Oh in. my God. Really? That's your attitude? No, Mom, I, I didn't ask, ask you to do that. That was very rude what you said out there. Listen to me! We have an intense schedule tomorrow. I just want to go through it with you because things are overlapping. So tomorrow, assembly mm -hmm. at 8.30. Mm -hmm. Parents breakfast. Correct. Oh, and I have to meet this cosmetics guy for a video for the website. And I have a conference call that I'm trying to squeeze in. Okay. Somewhere in there. So I could, but can I do it after the parents breakfast? Um, potentially, yes. Since the breakup with Jason, I, I think the biggest thing is I'm not sleeping. I mean, we were a family. And the logistics, I mean, Jason helped with pickups and drop-offs and homework, and suddenly it's all on me. I mean, I've done it before on my own, and I'll do it again. But it's hard right now. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you feeling? Eh, crappy. But I'm going to be, so wait, so I've got to be at school? Everybody goes through it. I read in the New York Times, people have six great loves in their lifetime. Don't forget that. So six times to get the kicked out of you. Yeah, but six times you also get flowers in the beginning. I know Melissa is going through terrible pain now, uh, and she won't talk to me about it. She holds everything in. So I thought, I'll get a psychic to come by the house, give her a reading. I know it sounds stupid, but maybe she'll communicate that way, or at least it'll make her laugh. <laughs> Where would you? I guess right here, if you would sit there. Thank you for seeing me in your room today. Thank you. It's just nice to be close to your energy to see what we're working with. If you want to tell me a little bit about if there's anything in particular you want me to look at. Love life. No, love not just love life. Okay. Well, just, mainly love life. Well, but am I just my Taxes? son? Taxes, no. <laughs> Mom, I know your intentions are good, but I'm really just not ready. You are ready, Melissa. Come on. Women have to move their lives forward. Jackie Onassis, at the funeral, she wore a black dress cut up to her cooch. I've never seen that. She gave two pallbearers her phone number. Well, I mean, the main thing that comes up here is you have three of swords as heartache, it's deep sadness. You went through a really dark kind of emotional Upheaval. Was it a breakup? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it was very abrupt and okay. out of left field. Really, Mom? How much did you tell her? Nothing. I swear to you, nothing. Then how does she know this? She's a psychic, Melissa. She's a psychic. Nine of Swords, this is anxiety. It's kind of like you're suffering in silence and you're taking it out on yourself. I've been beating the crap out of myself. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna look at the animals and see what animal you're working with. And we'll wrap it up. I would like you each to pick one of these to see what animal you're working with. Okay, great. This is interesting, okay. You have prairie dog. Not so glamorous. <laughs> Not so glamorous. Oh, okay. Prairie dog is about retreat, <laughs> taking time for yourself, remembering to do that. Beaver uh -uh. is Beaver. the builder. Of course. You know, with having pulled Beaver today, you can use that productivity energy, that builder of worlds energy to help her so that way she can retreat um, a little bit more. Just take over a little bit. Yeah, take so over. So she can have a chance. Yeah, to kind of break away and do some of the final works of her healing. Melissa, she's totally right. You need to relax. You're so wound up from everything. Let me be your Beaver. I've said this a million times to a million men. Let me say this to my daughter. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect hey. timing. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Everything? Yeah, everything's here. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Straight? Yeah, straight. Single? No, I am not. 
Thank you. Okay. Meliss, breakfast. It is day one of Operation Beaver, and I am so excited because I'm really going to make sure that Melissa just moves forward. I mean, the sooner she gets over Wee Willy Winky, I will be able to hook her up with Mr. Big. What are you doing? I'm making you breakfast. You're making me breakfast? Yes, yeah, sit down. So I got Cooper off to school. Yeah, I heard that. And I thought we could just have a nice girly breakfast. You know what? I am actually really impressed by all this. Thank you. I slaved over a hot phone for at least six minutes. <laughs> work, 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 work. OK, so you want to know what we have going on? Yeah. OK, can you pick Cooper from school and then get him to his cello lesson? Yeah. Also, I need you to be snack mom for his football game. Very easy. OK, but make sure there's no peanuts, because we have a kid with a peanut allergy, and we have a kid that can't tolerate peanuts. Let me just say something, Melissa. I think your whole generation is insane. My kid's got a peanut allergy. My kid's got gluten-free. My kid eat this. Um, my day, it was no such thing. I don't These know, are but fifth graders. There's a peanut. Spit it out. I'm just saying. Well, we it, always... it, how stupid can you get? Maybe this should be natural selection. This is called thinning of the herd. Okay, just do me a favor. Just no peanuts. No peanuts. Thank you. Why don't you just have a massage and chill out? Have a good time. Uh -huh. And if he goes a little below uh -huh. the towel, enjoy it. Okay. It's a victimless crime. <laughs> you That's just it for go the day. enjoy your massage. Are you going to finish this? No, I'm not. Delicious. I love you. I love you. Come here. Come here, quick. You tell her I did this, I'll deny it. And if there's diarrhea, call me over. I'll pretend it's mine. Packing up this cello was driving me crazy. I'm not musical, okay? My family tried. They started me on the accordion, which was great until puberty hit. <laughs> All you have to do is get your nipple in there once. Lady of Spain became Lady of Pain. I'm going to the cello lesson now. Got the music, I got the bow, I got the cello. Are there shoes involved? No, Mom, there are no special shoes for cello. Just whatever he's wearing. OK, just checking. Do I tip the teacher? No, 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 you don't tip the music OK, teacher. fine, all right. What about a, a pad for his chin? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's violin, all right. Make okay. sure the parking brake is off. Yeah. Melissa? Mom. I don't want to disturb you. OK. Does Cooper School have valet parking? No, no valet at school. Melissa, put your purse in a safe place. Masseuses are tricky. Yes, my bag is in a safe place. Yes, it all it all locked up. Big help. Thank you. You have a good day. Hello, how are you? Hello. I am snack mother. Okay. While Cooper is having his cello lesson, I decided to get the kids their snacks for the football game. I decided on cheese. Because like Melissa said, it can't have nuts, just like Chaz Bono. But the, but the question is, oh, how much do we need? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Is this pressure OK? Oh, yeah. OK. I'm sorry. Yeah. Listen, I'm here at the cheese store. I'm sorry to disturb you, Melissa. Just uh, how many kids? I don't know. 40? About. At 40. 40? I'm turning my phone off now. Relax. You sound so irritated. I'm turning the phone off. This is the most popular one we have with kids. Heaven. Heaven. Yeah? Some people think it smells like feet. Oh, no, it smells like men's room. But I know this guy. <laughs> well, that's fabulous. Understand that, yeah, it stinks, but it's heaven at the same time. They're going to find that out with prostitutes. And crackers, don't I need crackers? Got any truffles? Kids? What about some sodas and soft drinks like that? OK. Miss Rivers, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but we have a call for you on the main line. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. 
Melissa, we oh, all she's know. Gorgeous. Melissa, yeah. Melissa, her she's nose, beautiful. her teeth, oh. no, so <laughs> breasts have been augmented. <laughs> Tonight. Damn right I'm late. I was on a flag football field for three Whoa. hours waiting for some little rotten kids to come over and eat $400 worth of cheese. Be careful. There's more in there. They didn't eat a damn thing. Oh, my. Now look at this. Oh, they turned me down flat. Some mother brought goldfish, not even real fish, and some stupid fruit roll. Oh, they all run over. Look at this. This smells bad, though. It smells heavenly. It smells gorgeous. Dutch cheese, come here. Smell Dutch cheese. Oh my God. That's great. Joe. Oh, come on. That's wonderful. That smells funky. Well, you know what? Too bad. Put it in the refrigerator. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay, we just... What made you think that they would want that? Stuff. I don't know who invented this stuff. Here. What? It doesn't work. Don't take it out on the wrap. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, you hold that side. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, yeah, just hold Okay, here you, we go. you pull. Here we you go. pull. You pull. Here we go. Here we go. Don't move. Don't okay. move. Oh, already. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I'm taking this downstairs with me. This is the good stuff. I'll eat it all myself. It's fabulous. I'm going to be more backed up than the 405 freeway. Oh Come on, Mike. God. Let's go. Joan, don't give it to Mike. Are you kidding? He's the first one to get it. I'll never have to walk him again. Joan. Listen to him, he's fabulous. He's doing the best of Yoko Ono. Yeah, he is improving. Okay, so now what do you want me to do today? I'm your beaver and I am ready to go. Okay, surfing? Surfing. Pick him up, pick him up. And then you help me set up for a meeting I have with some of the moms from school. Easy. Okay, but just Who set up, that's all I need. No, I'll join you. No, 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 I just need you to help me set up. I just assume you all like wine? Yes, yes. I think everybody here likes okay. wine. You never know. <laughs> probably gluten free. <laughs> Please help yourselves. The brie is so good, it's important. <laughs> Mom, you cannot serve cheese that was sitting out in the sun all day yesterday. They're not gonna eat it. They're Beverly Hills mothers. And those that do take a bite, gonna go right in the bathroom and throw it up. It's gonna be perfectly fine. So, we're talking about our big upcoming benefit. Yeah. I mean, the number one thing always every year is who's gonna be the entertainment. Yeah, because that's what people are paying for. Because we've had, well, last year, it was we had Stevie Wonder. Oh. Rain and Wilson. Rain Wilson was the host. And then the year before was... Excuse me. Um, May I join you? Yeah, Thank sure. You. Okay. Yeah, so just scoot in here, no problem. Okay. So who would we want for this year? I have an idea. Why don't I do it again? I, I could do it again with pleasure. Would I want like a cracker or some cheese or? Am I missing something? I thought I did a great job as MC. I just don't think everybody appreciated your anal sex jokes. Oh, a couple of little anal sex jokes. Like those kids don't have sex education in the school. I mean, let's all put our heads together. I mean, we all, between all of us, we know somebody. It has to be somebody very special. Why don't you leave it to me? Ooh, I know ooh. I'm not on your committee, but I promise you, I will come up with something huge. Ooh. I don't know. I could get you Dane Cook. Oh, Carrot Top. Carol Burnett? Carol I could Burnett? Get you, absolutely, Did Carol Burnett. That? I could get you Carol in a heartbeat. Oh, Carol Burnett would that be would fabulous. Be yes. Absolutely. Carol Burnett. Cool. Yeah. She's as good as ever. She may pee a little at the end, but she's <laughs> still <laughs> Yeah. Can I actually just talk to you in the kitchen for once? See you in the absolutely. kitchen for once? Excuse me. Can I just talk to my mom? Okay, for sure. My pleasure. One second. Carol? Carol! Mom. You haven't seen her since I was, what, eight years old in that trip to Hawaii? Uh, yeah, and we were very close on that trip to Hawaii. And yeah, it ended so well. well like, it's my fault she was bitten by the jellyfish. Mom, that you, could happen to anybody. Mom, you it? pushed her in the water. Oh, comedians have fun. Okay, seriously, don't overpromise. Melissa, she's a comedian. We're, we're, we're like a sorority. We're, well, with Rosie like a fraternity. Calvin, in the bag. Come on, Melissa just worries too much. To Carol. 
Oh. To Carol? Anyhow, now, I've got to go pick up Cooper, because without Jason, that's a lot of what I'm doing lately. He may have been a really <laughs> boyfriend, but he was a great chauffeur. <laughs> Okay, get in the car, get in the car, you're all wet. Hurry up, get in the car. All right, run, run, run. Good. I'm freakishly strong. You should see me at a sale. Rah! You know, I think of a great help to Melissa with Cooper, but I want to do more. I'm worried about her love life, I'll tell you the truth. She's been through hell with Jason. He put her through the ringer. She deserves something better, okay? So I am going to do something now to make it all fine. Hello. Hi. Come on in. Nice to so meet you. So gorgeous, Jennifer. Ava. Ava, you must be Magda. <laughs> and I'm Zsa Zsa. <laughs> That's the truth. The minute I met Ava and Sherry, I really like them because they're a mother-daughter matchmaking team. They share everything together, problems and confidences and a big bottle of red dye number seven. I'm crazy about them. The reason I, I reached out and uh, called you because you're a mother-daughter combo, so I think you would understand I'm that I'm trying that. to fix my daughter up without her knowing it. Normally, we interview the client directly. We only meet the mother in the wedding. She doesn't know I'm doing I understand this. that. I understand. So we have to figure out a way for them to meet where the man would know, but she wouldn't know. Got it. Is that possible? Oy. I would love that. <laughs> you know, I think this mother-daughter duo is going to be just perfect. They understand. Sometimes you got to keep secrets from each other. What I want to know is more, a little bit more about Melissa. I want to know right. a little bit about her past. Right. I brought some pictures to okay. start with. Okay. Uh, Melissa, we oh, all she's know. gorgeous. Melissa, yeah. Melissa. Her nose, she's beautiful. Her teeth. Oh. Oh, so <laughs> Breasts have been augmented. <laughs> How old is she? I, I honestly don't know, because I've lied so often. <laughs> you know, so I haven't got a clue. Does she want to have more and, kids? Yes, she does. And um, we have some eggs in the refrigerator. Okay. okay. So she'd like more kids. So how are we going to find this is Melissa? We'd like to videotape you. I would love to. We're going to show the tape to some men. Very subtly. Subtly, yeah. They are very confidential, by the way. Hello. That's good. Now you look like twins. I can be your mother-in-law. What a great idea. A discreet little video about Melissa on their website. Perfect. Carol Burnett, do you hear anything? You know what? Her assistant is being very, very guarded, and I cannot get anywhere with her. So I don't know what to do with her. You know what this is all about? It's all about no one's talking because of fashion police. It's true. You call Surrey Cruz a slut once, and the whole community goes up in arms. Well, we got to find somebody. Am I going to have to call Snooky? I called that little bitch once. You know, my phone got a cold sore. How about that? Mm. How about that? Mm. I don't know what to do. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Can you? You can feel that? Yes, I can feel that. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> but I like that they just stay right there. You ready? Ready. Let's ready. go. All right, okay. Ever since Melissa broke up with Jason, she has had so much on her plate. I mean, uh, uh, family stuff, business, executive producing, fashion yeah, police. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. So anything I can do to help her, hey, come on, I'm her mother, I'm in. So don't forget, after the taping today is the talent meeting for guests. I forgot about that. I have the meeting with Brett Friedman, the guy from Shop, I'm doing the, cosmetic, Brett Friedman? the cosmetics guy that we might use on Shoparati. Okay. Shoparati is a website I started with my friend Greg. What we do is we look at all the fashion deals of the day that are out there, we pick the top four, put them on a web page, and now we're starting to expand our content and add how-to videos and experts and blogs. So it's a very exciting time for us. Let me just think for a second. How can I do both? I'll do it. I'll do the shopperati. You're not going to do the shopperati. Oh, Melissa. Okay, What's such a big deal? No. I don't know cosmetics. You know cosmetics. Oh, Joan Rivers products. We've sold cosmetics okay, for years. Okay, so you swear you can, like, just go meet him, tell me what you Thank think. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have you caught up with Carol Burnett? I will. So you swear to me you're going to get a hold of her. Melissa, in the bag. Yes, I will do your meeting. You will be at the I will be the meeting. talent. I will build your dam. That's right, you're my beaver. Three, two, 
One. There she is, Joan Rivers! Mr. Freeman. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Melissa's mother. I, I think I recognize <laughs> nice that. Nice to meet you. Nice she, to meet you. She, said she you. couldn't be here today, but I am here and I am chaparati. Melissa says all I have to do is make a nice impression on this cosmetic guy. Hey, hello. And then I'm back to what I have to do today, land Carol Burnett. And all right, well, I was sort of prepared you. to work on Melissa, but well, here we I got am. a blonde. Okay, all right. <laughs> Our buyer, you know, is, is a little younger. She skews more like a Kardashian. Are you familiar? You're familiar. Yes, I know the car. Yeah. Okay, okay. I know this guy is a little upset because he wants to meet with Melissa because it's the same age group. But too bad. He's going to have to settle for the comedy icon, okay? So show, show me. Um... Yeah. What I was thinking for your shopper would be the brow kit. So, you know, there's seven shades. The pencil, the powder, the tweezer, which is double-sided. Now, do you do your own brows or do you? Yes. Okay. Are they okay? So, do you want me to be honest or do you want me to be nice? Well, I think you've just told me. Okay. okay. Do you uh, want me to try a little absolutely. bit of? Absolutely. Okay. So here, grab, grab, grab. Now, I'm not sure where your brows were originally, but right uh, now. Well, there's still some hair there. So we're going to find it. Okay. So let's see. We're going to, are you ready for this? Okay. So this gives a little bit of a fuller brow. Can you, you can feel that? Yes, I can feel that. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> but I like that they just stay right there. Yes, 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 I've had plastic surgery. Surprise! I can't get over the gall of this kid. He is sitting there in my daughter's house, insulting me to my current face. I am livid. And you would be able to see it, except I have all this new Botox, so. Check that out. Okay. It's pretty, right? Which one did you do? <laughs> the one that's fuller <laughs> looks better. I don't know which one you did. They look the same. Seriously. Really look. No, it looks much better. It, it really looks better. Okay. It's this one, right? Take that, you ass. Don't with me. I was a bitch before you were born. This is the gingerella. This is the color I um, formulated for Reba. Because she's more of a, yeah, ginger. It's well, ginger? I don't know. This seems, there's a lot of blue in your skin there. You know, actually, I know a gal that can help you with a lot of that. A lot of what? Joy. Well, it's, I mean, it's like a little varicose veiny, but that's natural. This shows you a mother's love for her daughter. I am sitting here letting this guy insult me because we need him for Melissa's website. Otherwise, I'd tell him, take your tweezers and go pluck yourself. We've started badly, and I'm terribly sorry because Melissa said that theoretically you were a very nice person. So First of all, thank you for apologizing. Second, I don't know, makeup-wise, if you're really gonna get what I'm talking about, you have to start thinking of a woman that is 50 years younger than you, like a woman in her 40s. 50 years younger than me and a woman in her 40s. That makes me 90. Okay. About a month ago, I recorded my voice for a GPS to replace those horrible, boring, you know, turn right, next signal, make a left. Your driving is shakier than Michael J. Fox sitting on a washing machine. And the minute it came out, I thought, great, I will get one for Melissa's car. It's like I'm invisible here. Are you kidding me? In one quarter mile, turn right. Hi, sweetheart. Mom, couple quick questions for you. Um, okay. did you not think? I'm calculating. I... Make a U turn and quick, make another U turn. <laughs> I'm just with you. That's. Great. You could have told me. I wanted to surprise you. I knew how pleased you'd be. What happened at that meeting with Brett? He called you? Yes. It went very well. His product is lovely. Well, Mom, something must have happened. I just spent the last 20 minutes talking him off the ledge. He, he was he was very bitchy. Of course he's bitchy. He sells makeup. I'll come with you probably to the shoot. Okay, Mom, 
I love you for slow down. You are not Lindsay Lohan. Well, I am, Melissa. I can hear me telling you, Mom. I slow down. Also, oh my God, kid up. You hear me, kid? I, I, it's like having you in stereo. You are so negative. Could you imagine if you had you barking directions at you all the time? Melissa, how fabulous. Long after I'm dead, I am going to be there telling you exactly what to do. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, honey. Turn right. Or pretend you're Melissa and turn left and then blame me for your whole life. Oh, my God. Turn right and left. What's your problem? Oh, my God. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Good to see you. Married. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Not. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I can be your mother-in-law. Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm playing with the Ouija board. A Ouija board? Well, put your hands on. Okay. okay. Will Melissa <laughs> find somebody new very soon? And the answer is... Yes. Hey, Mom, you're pushing. I'm not pushing. You're pushing. Come on. Should Melissa give me a better room? And the answer is... Mom, yes. No, yes. no, yes. no. Yes. Mom, it's going, it's going to, yes. to... It's trying to go to no. It's not trying to go to no, Melissa. You are pushing it's, I'm not it. pushing. Mom, The spirit world is pushing. Mom, you're pushing. I am not pushing. You ask them. Okay. Will Grandma ever understand that it's a guest room and not a full-time residence? No! <laughs> taking over Melissa's responsibilities has been wild. I mean, taking Cooper to cello and football and school and basketball. I mean, and today, this morning, he has a school project out at the beach. And I am ready to go. Okay, so. All right. Doesn't look like the surf is up. No. I, I can't wait to see you in the water. It's for a it's surface, it's, it's for a school assignment. I, I am so with you, Cooper. I used to do this with your mother in the old days. Hello. Hi, guys. Thanks for helping out with the Surfrider Foundation pleasure, today. Pleasure, I'm Alexa. Rivers. Hi. And Cooper, Cooper, we are doing this for school. Pleasure to meet you guys. Okay, well, here you go. So. Here's some sticks for you. Thank you. S Sticks? We're not surfing? Oh, we're doing a beach cleanup today right here. Helping keep the ocean's waves and beaches friendly for everyone to enjoy. You're cleaning the beach? Yeah. Can we get you guys Trash? some gloves? Yes. Listen, I do charity all the time. Come on. I am on the board for 20 odd years of God's Love We Deliver, National Chairwoman of Cystic Fibrosis. Picking up trash? Just not in my wheelhouse. Unless you consider the time I picked Jason up at the airport. Does that count? Can we get some big gloves for his face? Oh, yeah, we could. The Grandma, trash. I'm fine. Cooper, I don't want you stepping in trash. Do I have to? Be... I beg you, Cooper. I'm pleading with you. Wow. You look like a, a cow who's nursed once too often. How does that feel? Funny. OK, trash, trash. Okay. Here, here we go. OK, this is good. Don't touch anything. Grandma, that's why we have plastic gloves, so I can touch them. I know, stuff. but plastic gloves can rip. Trust what? me, that's how I had your mother. Uh, 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 uh. What's Grandma. this? Ah, it's still walking. Don't leave it alone. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's a dead look. Ah, dead. Grandma, that's seaweed. Uh, my Q Hefner, my stick is useless. God, it's like... Robin Williams shower drain. You know what this tells you? Kirstie Alley's been here. Okay, Cooper, there's something here. I think it's a pregnant, dead clam. That's a tennis ball, Grandma. How much longer, Cooper? Till we get to that end. Till we get to that end? Yeah. That's Santa Barbara. Hello? Hi, Joan, it's Marina. Hi, sweetie, Chris, what's up? Listen, I looked out. I heard from Kenny Song's assistant. Yeah. And he's at the Napa Valley Grill with Carol Burnett having a meal. So Are you, you kidding need me? To get over there. He's it, right now? Right now. You need to go. Oh, my God. Okay, I know exactly where it is. I'm on my way. Kenny Soames is one of my oldest friends. We knew each other 
before either one of us was ever on television. And he's gone on to become an Emmy award-winning writer. He wrote all the great Carol Burnett sketches, and he and Carol have stayed friends, so but I'm just gonna like bump into him because if I don't get Carol, <laughs> Melissa's gonna kill me. Hello. Hi, Excuse welcome. Me. Hello, oh, Joan Rivers, is Carol Burnett here? Yes, she's right over this way. Okay, thank she's you right very much. Okay, man, hours. It's gonna be like the show, not a lot of tears. Carol! I'm trying ah! to get Kristen. Where? Ah, how good to see you. Oh. Joan? Yes, Kenny. Oh my gosh. I was gonna call you. I knew yes, you were yes. What I'm are you doing you. in Westwood? I was shopping. I came in for a while. Do you mind if I join you? That's just fabulous. No. How good. How are you? Oh, you've done something. Oh, well. Carol. A little, yes. <laughs> New chin, new nose, cheekbones. Oh, it's done something a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Married. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Not. Yeah. <laughs> How good. And you, yeah, good to see Yeah, we're talking you. about a movie. Wouldn't that be fabulous? Oh, it'd be like fabulous. the old days. We, we yeah. were right in the middle of it. Yeah, well, uh, good. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, Is this yours? Well, yeah. Would you mind? Have a drink. Uh, phew. Okay. So. We'll talk about it later, but the point is, talk you're about well, right? Talk about luck. Yeah. I was talking to Melissa's school. Missy was all grown up. Oh my goodness, yes, I'm and sure. Melissa is having at our Cooper, my grandson's school, this charity event, and they need somebody for a um, just an appearance, you know, one of those, those fundraisers. Uh -huh. And I said, Carol Burnett. Uh -huh. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I mean, <laughs> who's the funniest woman? Oh, yeah. And I said, it'd be great I mean, if you could do you, I, I, I really can't, Joan. Uh, I didn't I'm, give you the day. It's Memorial Day weekend. They oh, would send a I'm car. sorry. I'm busy all of May. What if we push it to June? Like Flag Day. No, no, I can't. I'm going uh, to get a cleansing in June. Carol, come on. Carol, no, I Carol it would take 20 minutes. Carol, so we were friends for 25 years. We haven't seen each other lately, but I children, can't. flags, I memories. Can't. Got I can't. I really. Kenny, why don't you just shut I, I'm I sorry. feel very I, like an animosity coming. Oh my here. God. Really? What is it? It doesn't seem that like you're being honest with me. You want me to be honest? Yes. Hawaii. Hawaii. Carol, pick up the check. What? What happened in Hawaii? I, I don't understand it. Oh, Joe. I don't understand it. What happened in Hawaii? What, what happened? Nothing happened in Hawaii. Nothing. I promised them, Carol Burnett, who am I going to get? Great. Now, how am I going to break the news to Melissa? She's off on a shoot with that horrible eyebrow guy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over there to help out, and I'm going to bring food, because people respond differently on full stomachs. Okay, so what I think we want to do really is focus on what are the trends coming up, makeup tips. Well, you know, fuller brows are really hot right now. Mm -hmm. So I thought with Kate, we could, you know, I could do a fill-in one and then show a how-to. Would you love our how-tos? But before we start, you're meeting my friend Jared. Who? Jared Stein. Who's Jared Stein? From the dating site, from the matchmaking dating site? site. Yeah. I haven't done anything on a dating site. All right, you okay. check What am out. I looking at? <laughs> Guys, give us one sec. Okay, so a friend of mine's on a dating website and he sent me this. Hello, I could be your mother-in-law. Oh my God. Oh <laughs> my God. Tell me a little bit about her. This is my daughter, Melissa. Uh, I'm sure you've seen her on television. She is beautiful. I am completely horrified. And yes, I am gonna kill her. I mean, it's a great picture of you. <laughs> But see your brows oh, there? I think a little lighter Tell might be a little... little bit but, oh my God. But, but, yeah. She's your only Focus child. On. My only child, which means she gets to inherit. Just you know, joke. just turn it off. Otherwise, just turn know, it off. Just, we'll turn it off. Um, oh God, look, make the voice stop. Close. Make it stop. She doesn't stop. No, she doesn't, does she? All right, You know I'm what, sorry. let's just, let's just I, start this. I became really good at being able to compartmentalize my life uh, very early on. I am going to just mentally have one of those pods that can drop in your in your driveway dropped into my brain. 
I'm gonna load all this crap with my mother right into it, shut the door, and have them pick it up till I have time to deal with it. Once Melissa sees the spread I've brought, she will forgive me. Yeah, come on. Nothing says I'm sorry like mini quiche. We have great tips for you today. We are going to be talking about makeup with expert Brett Friedman, and we're specifically talking about brows. So, Brett, yes. what is the story with brows this year? Well, what you want to do is you want to choose Hello. a shade that's like a little. Hi, Mom, we're shooting. Hi, hi. I we're brought some food. I thank you, food. thank uh, you. Right. Oh, look who's here. Joan? Mom, well, we're shooting. Okay, fine. Sorry. Just brought you a little food. Thank you. I cannot believe she showed up at the shoot. Seriously? I'm gonna ignore her, and I'm just gonna deal with her later. It's that simple. What is gonna be the big story in makeup and brows this year? We're here with expert Brett Friedman to find out what to... Seriously? Can you just hold it for John, a second? John, just watch. Thank you. And the big story... Bangs all. Hey, Mom. Melissa, you're on camera. Who Please. else is going to tell you? I'm seriously, I'm really in the middle of doing something. I'm sorry. Okay, are we happy? Just fix your okay, bags. Yeah. Is that better? Nice, okay. nice. Pretty. I thought they looked fine. <laughs> okay, okay, three, two. So, what ex talk to me a little bit about brows. Uh, could you just raise the boom a little bit? You can see the boom. Yeah, there's some lines here, so it's, it's actually, what you're seeing is not in the shot, so. The monitors, don't worry about what you're looking at. So this is brand new. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what? This is amazing. Okay, stop it. Kardashians do not talk this way to their mother. Let's do this, okay, right? Three, right. two. Your bangs. Brett, talk to me a little bit about brows. What, what should we be doing with our brows this year? Okay, everyone's really crazy about the fuller brow yeah. that looks defined okay. and vivid, but not obviously drawn in. Right. So on Kate, can I just what say I'm gonna one show thing? you. No, you can't, okay, mom, come with me. Just, no, mom. One second, no. have something to eat. You can throw it up later. I'm trying to help. You know, I'm not in the business for nothing. Okay, <laughs> Christ, was that? And that was very rude what you just have out there. Listen to me! Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I'm trying to help. You put up a video of me online? Don't you think you should have asked? Everyone's really crazy about the fuller brow yeah. that looks defined and vivid, but not obviously drawn in. Right. So on Kate, what I'm gonna show thing? you. No, you can't, okay, mom, come with me. Just, no, mom. That's it, I have had it with her. She needs to butt out. Mother, come with me now. I'm just. Right, excuse me. We'll be, I'm trying to help. You know, I'm not in the business for nothing. That was very rude what just happened out there. You have no right. I happen to be knowing what I'm doing. 46 years in this business. Have a little respect. But you can't be disruptive. I wasn't disruptive. I was taking it. You say to me, I want to relax. I want to take it easy. I come in to help you, to take over, to take the burden off of you. And that's your attitude? No, Mom, I, I didn't that, ask you to do that. Yes, you. I want to relax. No, I no, need I to didn't. relax. You said you have to relax. You have to relax. Yes, and, look at you, I, and you should relax. I'm trying to help. Mom, no. stop. 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 I'm trying to be... I know you're trying to help, but you do actually know what I'm doing in my life. Apparently, you disagree. No, that's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. I'm, I just thought I was helping you. I'm sorry. Just like when you put up a video of me online, that was helping me? Don't you think you should have asked? Melissa, let me tell you something. I am your mother. I know you're my mother. I want you to meet somebody I and know, be but happy. Mom, you, it's my choice. You can't your do that. Your choice is to sit home and, and somebody will come to you. That is Nobody not true. Nobody rings the bell except for FedEx man. I know, FedEx but Mom, you man. don't put a video profile. A very of nice me. video profile. I don't profile. care. You don't do that. Yes, I can. Well, yes, I'm I can. still in here. I'm sorry. Yes, mom, yes, you cannot do you that. Touch the, uh, I'll wash, wash hand. my hands. Wash your hands. Okay, mom. Sixty-eight percent of America not, is okay. meeting online. I know, but now. it is not okay. okay. Use some soap. I did use soap. You're supposed to sing Happy Birthday twice. Mom, it is not okay to go and do that to me and blind. Yes, yes. Listen to me, mom. It is I'm not okay. To... Don't post about you me would, online. You would sit in the house with the rest oh, of mother, your life. Oh, mother, I would not. I have to go back to work. Fine. You're going home. You know, I'm not a child, Melissa. Really? I am not, be careful, don't touch it. I'm not touching I anything. Really? No, I'll throw it away yeah. out here. No, give it to me. Okay. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Mom, please. Have a little food. Go home. 
Fine, go home. Fine. I'm gonna find a gay bar. I'm gonna have a pretty drink. Okay, could you just try that again? So how many kids do you have? Two. Hello? Hello? The last thing I want to deal with right now is my mother, but she lives with me, so I don't really get the same mm, luxuries as normal people. I have to deal with her. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. You know, I've been thinking. You know, Mom, I'm not ready for round two. I just, not ready. There is no round two here. I have been thinking since I got home, you do so damn much and you handle it better than I even can handle it. I mean, between the work and the chaparati, Cooper and the school stuff and God knows what else. And maybe it's just what you need. I, I was saying slow down, no, 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 no. You're great at what you do and you do so much. Really? Maybe you're a lot more like me than I think you are. I'm a lot more like you <laughs> than you think I am. And the only thing is that no one gives you applause. I do the same thing. Everybody goes, brava, brava. So I'm here, Melissa Rosenberg, Rivers, Endicott, check one, to go. Really? Yeah, really. Thanks, Mom. Melissa, I've been thinking, and you're absolutely right. You know how to handle your own life, and you know when you're going to feel it's right for you to start dating again, so I'm stepping back. I will, however, get you somebody for the fundraiser. What happened to Carol? I've been thinking about it. Just, uh, she's not right, you know? But I have another name. Billy Crystal. Huh? Great idea? Great idea. Do you not remember Billy Miami? Great. Oh, please, Miami. It was nine years ago, please. <laughs> He's not going to remember. They weren't even his shoes. Next time on Joan and Melissa. Oh, hello. Ah! I am in New York this weekend, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you an actor? No. Well, you should be. OK, next, Cooper. You're not allowed to do that, you know. Not do what? I, I think should. you should and sit. I want to stand. Why are there sides in Cooper's clothes? He read for Priscilla, Queen of the Dead. Really? It's not He your was very decision. good. Right, whatever you do, don't slam that door! Tonight on Joan and Melissa. Look at you today. <laughs> Sexual harassment? Everybody is being very funny. <laughs> I am probably going to be sued. It's not funny. Come on, wait, 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 wait. It's just insane. You. You're being mean. Seeing Joan Rivers without makeup has proven to me that I'll be gay in my next life, too. He threw you under the bus. La, 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 la. I'm in total shock. I'd like to hear what you said. You had to pick which is your number one favorite. I want everybody's number one mm. favorite. Uh, this is definitely mine. They're lightweight, they're summery, they're easy, and we know they like that silhouette. Every week I fly into New York to work with my design staff at Joan Rivers Worldwide. There's Rhea and Janie, and of course, president of my company, David. And we just, we go over everything. We, we do new designs, we check quality, trends. It's, it's very exciting. Let me see this on Oh, the black. Oh, yeah. Black yeah, take this off, sweetheart. Pete Caboo, look at you today. Uh -huh. I love that. Yeah, you know, but that's kind of... In between of the boobs. They've got good boobs like you, but that's in between the boobs. Whenever I'm designing, I want to see the product on somebody immediately. And Rhea okay. is our perfect model. She's got beautiful skin. And she's just the right neck length. Everything about her is just perfect. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Excuse me. We're all girls here. There we go. You have great skin, though, so 
For everything we put on you looks good. It's all right. You're a beautiful girl, sweetheart. Thank Just you, thanks. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I didn't mean to interfere in the meeting. No, there's a lot more stuff coming in. I'll speak to you guys later. All right, Miss Rivers. You want me in my office. Bye now. Good stuff. It's either Miss Rivers or Your Highness. Take your choice. Your Highness, sorry. <laughs> See, I think that I don't know. I'm in my office. Say, I think that went really well. I mean, not not every sample is. You've got a lot of more, a lot more stuff coming. Oh, Back, back up, David. I don't understand what you're telling me. What do you mean she got upset? Because I, I was, I was rubbing her shoulders. Well, that's just ridiculous. I'm in, I'm in total shock. Apparently, after I left the meeting in New York, Rhea suddenly went to David and said I, I was touching her inappropriately. Putting all the jewelry on me and like pulling my sweater back and touching my breasts. And there was sexual harassment involved. You know, my reaction to that is, oh, we. What is going on? Rhea is uncomfortable the way I dealt with her. What she, did you she do? Thinks I, uh, she thinks I fondled her breast. Hell, what were you doing? We were, nothing. You know you're a little touchy feely, so. Oh, for God's sake. So, I mean, it, it, it wasn't like I went, hello, Rhea. My God, if she thinks that foreplay, <laughs> like, step back. Step back. Feely touchy is coming. Feely touchy is coming. Joan! You have a great <laughs> ass. Your husband's a very lucky man. What could you have said or done, Mom? Nothing that I they... don't or I can't. It's something I don't ordinarily do. It's ridiculous. I'm going to ignore it. It'll, it'll blow over. That might not be the best choice of words. And this, okay. these are the Jews with the giant Christmas tree. Ooh, let's outdo the non-Jews. Oh, come on. I have a Christmas tree too, Peter. Which is disgusting. I love Peter Tilton. We've been friends for years, and he lives right down the street from Melissa. He's one of the top uh, radio talk show hosts out here. He's smart, funny, bitter, Jewish. He's a lot like me, only I'm not circumcised. Oh, come on. You do me a favor, slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Right. Lil Lily doesn't Can like Can I ask you Lily something like seriously? Yeah, don't yeah. take this personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lily's gained weight. You think? Unless she's just retaining toilet water, but she looks like she's gaining weight. No, maybe a half a pound, not really. Oh, no, 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 She's no. working out. Good she, dog. She, hours Peter. a day we do frisbee, she chases cars. Peter, look at your dog. She needs spanks. Who would you say, who, who says that about somebody's I pet? I love Lily, but she's, a, she's fat. She's okay. big boned. Big bone. You tell me this is not a little heavy here? Come on. This is my dog. This, she's a wonderful dog. She's not fat. If this were China, this would be an hors d'oeuvre and this would be a banquet. It's offensive to me. I don't need this aggravation. I don't understand, Peter. He walks around offending everybody. And then one little remark that he has this big, fat, sloppy, stupid dog. And he gets hurt. But she may be a fat pet, but you know something? She's my fat pet, OK? <laughs> And I don't want you, you know what? I'm not you walking with you great, anymore. I'm that's not. That's a show. That's a show. My Fat Pet is a show. We could pitch a show. My Fat Pet. It'd be a great, Peter, it's a game show with people with fat pets. You know how many people have overweight dogs in this country? We could do a whole thing with dogs, and America eliminates them, and the winner gets a diet for their dog, and they get to go to Vegas. You know it's, what? A great, it's a great you idea. You know what? You're being mean, making fun I'm of dogs. Making me I think it's a wonderful, fat dog. Is there money to be made? Of course there's money to be made. I'm home tomorrow morning. Call me. Come on, sweetie. Okay. Don't let her lose a pound. She is fat, isn't she? <laughs> I think this is a great idea. I mean, everybody would love to see a show about fat pets. I mean, it's so much more fun than watching some stupid celebrity reality show. Don't change the channel. So obviously you see that the big trend is all this Mongolian yeah. fur. 
For Shoparati, my online shopping site, I get to see all sorts of clothing and accessories way in advance. I get to see what the retailers are going to be buying, what the designers are moving towards ahead, sort of trend forecasting. Carrie, my stylist, comes in and he works with Greg, my partner on Shoparati, and we kind of just go through everything and just keep trying stuff on to see what we think is going to sell. I'm always changing my clothes and half the time I'm half naked. I mean, I don't even think about it anymore. Doesn't look uh, a little bit like on. cubes? This it kind of looks like pubes. I don't know. Oh, sheep, you guys. Oh, wow. Hello, hello. Oh, my God. You, you really hello. doesn't have any hair there. Back at all. Did, Did you, you have hair? No, no, we're looking, at, oh, yeah. we're looking at Greg's ass. You gotta see your ass. Yours is much rounder than his. Yeah, it's well. I do it's, have a nicer tush than you. I have you. no yeah. tush. Well, the two of you, my let me tell you something. are very different. Now, the river's ass is, now that's an ass. What is that supposed to mean? Well, it's not as if you don't know you have a big ass. I've got a big butt. Men love big asses. But I don't have like a Kardashian butt. No, but men obviously didn't hurt those girls. No. Say, wow, Four million dollars later thing. a year. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you have, what you have, because we're all gonna be so rich you can have it fixed. How? Clear your heads. Okay, yeah. clearing. I came up with an idea with Peter, a new show. It would be called My Fat Pet. I think it's great. So like the like the biggest loser for, for dogs. dogs. Biggest loser for dogs. You really want to be going around and like you get in these meetings with the heads of networks and you're gonna pitch my fat pet? Yeah. Really? I don't think this is gonna sell. And does she really wanna spend, you know, her golden years talking to people with fat pets? Like it's everybody cute. loves a fat dog. And you know what I like to call it? The cat segment? What? My fat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us back to me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I meant to email you. That benefit I'm doing up in Napa, mm -hmm. I have Tony opening for me. I know he's a great writer on Fashion Police, but uh, who knows what he's like on stage. Yes. So would you check it out? Absolutely. I'd be happy to. Yeah. I'm taking Lynn with me. That is not a good idea. Why not? Lynn is a comedian. Why are you taking... Yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. They're totally competitive. They fight over jokes, guys, makeup, everything. It's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> I brought Lynn with me to see Tony Zach. She's another comedian. She'll know what's going to be appropriate. Look at his little hair way to heaven. Okay, let's go. Hey, look at that. I don't like seeing hot naked gay men. It's, a, it's like it's, it's like, like going changed. to a bakery where you can't eat. It's like going to some boat seats. He's yelling at me. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Oh my. All right, now everybody, shut up. Quiet down. This is Joan Rivers. Hello. If I had known that my mom had done a pre-recorded intro for Tony, I never would have brought Lynn, because let me just tell you, she is going to lose her Now listen to me. The show is about to start, so turn off your stupid phones. You no me? calls, no texting, no tweeting, no Melissa. no Facebooking, no nothing. Get ready. Here he is. Who is he? He is my favorite bilingual comedian, fluent in both English and bitch. Mr. Tony Trimbley! How about that amazing introduction? Can we hear it for John Rivers? Yeah, comedy legend. Yes, or as I call her, the late Joan Rivers. Uh, she, I love her, she's my boss, okay? I work for Joan Rivers. I'm with Joan Rivers like three or four days a week. Joan shows up at 5 a.m. with no makeup on. Do I have to say it? Yes! Seeing Joan Rivers without makeup has uh, proven to me that I'll be gay in my next life too. It'll do it, it's that powerful, it is that strong. As I'm sitting here, all I can think about is, oh my God, Tony and Lynn already fight, and now I have added fuel to the fire. She's had a little bit of work done. I don't know if you've noticed. She just got a new neck, too. She literally has the neck of a four-year-old, <laughs> which is amazing on her, but I feel bad for the four-year-old who's now walking around with a turkey neck, because that kid kind of came out on the short end of the stitch. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Good night.
can't okay. believe you're not offended by Lynn, that. it was hilarious. Uh, your mom's yeah, doing Lynn. the opening for him and then he trashes her oh, Lenny didn't trash her. i mean come on we make fun of people all the time and we always make no, fun of ourselves me. first it was me He's trying out new stuff because of the gig in napa with my mom What's i mean the, come on what oh my god why did i just tell lynn about tony opening for my mother in napa coming up on joan and melissa i just have to tell you like he Threw you under the bus. We've got a bigger problem right now. Yeah, what? The sexual harassment complaint, not going away. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh great. I said, uh, your mom's doing the opening for him and then he trashes her? Well, then he didn't trash her. I mean, come on. We make fun of people all the time and we always make no, fun of ourselves me. first. It was me. But he's trying out new stuff because of the gig in Napa with my mom. What's I mean, the, come on. Wh what? He's opening for your mother now. For free in Napa. Come on, Lynn. You would never want to open for my mom. You're beyond no, that at this point. I do want to Lynn, open for your mom. You I've always every, wanted to open for Lynn, your mom, but I'm not going to ask her. But Lynn, you work every weekend. You get paid. You would give up a paid gig to open for my mom at like some silly event in Napa? Okay, yeah. I absolutely would. Oh, you are so full of I am not full of Come on, let's go talk to Tony. And it was funny. It wasn't funny. Lynn, it was funny. Oh! oh! Oh my gosh, Hilarious. Lindsay, that's so nice. I don't even come. know what parts made me laugh the hardest because all of it did. Oh, well. okay, I didn't love all this stuff about Joan at the beginning. I gotta tell you. Has none she even of, seen that? Does she know? This, like when you no. do all that stuff about oh, her without makeup on and stuff? Oh, wait, please, we talk about that in the fashion police meetings. Yeah. You know, a lot of it might not work in Napa, but. Oh, yes. No, it's a very different show. Yeah, congratulations on that. With the yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. It's yeah, because it's huge. It's huge. That's like insane. I mean, yeah. it's like, you know, so, yeah. you are fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I've got to run. It was, so, it was good. I, thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you for the ticket. Of course. Have okay. All right. Okay. Thank Bye. you. No, I still think your mom needs to hear the crap you saying. Please. Chill the f out. Lynn called me for lunch. I have a feeling she wants to talk about guy trouble because she's always got it. I mean, she's seen more guy trouble than a urologist, but uh, I'm going to go because I'm dying to know what she thought of Tony's act. Hello, hello, hello. Mm, hi, darling. So, How are you? Very good, my sweetheart. Mm. Mm. Oh, You're wearing my Joan Rivers. I am. And, and, uh, and the watch. Ring, and the ring. And the ring. Here you go. Good. The friendship. Friendship. The friendship. To ladies who lunch. So what'd you think of Tony's act? It was very gay, but that was for the crowd. I mean, um, the only thing that stressed me out about it, I just have to tell you, like, he threw you under the bus for a good oh, half of the He makes the act. joke. Doesn't he start with the joke? He, and he does, like, he, he with... does half his act. Half his act, John, is about you. And it's not nice stuff. It's stuff that we do not like. Such as? He's talking about seeing you, you coming in without any makeup on, and seeing you without makeup on, which I don't have a problem with. You do that in a documentary. I'm just saying he's, like, mocking it. And then he does, I don't even feel comfortable repeating it. Like, he does a whole thing where he, he makes fun of the plastic surgery. I don't think it was funny. <laughs> it, Joan, it wasn't funny. It's Write just, a joke. I don't that's my feeling. Why does he have to use you for the but, jokes? Because we're friends, that's why. And I don't mind. Lynn, look. Okay, maybe it's I'm okay. feeling maybe I'm feeling a little bit like the, the, the needy child, but I've gotta tell you, like I first of all I felt kinda hurt that you don't get mad at me, but that intro that you did for him. Yeah. Joan, it was like you opened for him. It's like ten minutes long. Do you want me to do an intro for you? I'll do an intro for you. But you're Boy, letting him open for you at Napa. Yeah, he's... Melissa told Lynn that Tony is opening for me. She should know better than that. It's not going to make Lynn happy. Lynn is never happy unless it's Fleet Week. It's free, Lynn. I'm letting him open. It's a benefit. Joan, it's prestigious. It is no money passing hands. You know it's prestigious. And may I just say something seriously? Tony is a very good friend. He has been very loyal. Okay, Joan, I know you love him because he's gay and he's funny, but 
There's something rubs me wrong with him. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he's not even gay. That's how much of a what? grifter I think he is. Are you out of your mind? The man farts glitter. What are you talking about? Lynn, you are so over the top. I can't stand this. I know I'm difficult, and I know I have emotional problems, but I, I am not wrong here. I thank you. I thank you for telling me this. I appreciate that you're telling me this. Let's change the subject, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It was like a roast without you there. Let's just stop it, okay? I just want you to know Lynn, I he's don't killing want to hear me. It. I he's don't slowly want to killing hear me. Lynn. He's killing me. La 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 la. Look how you upset me. Yeah. I have got crumbs in my ears well, because of you. Now I don't know what to do. Now I'm upset that I'm upsetting you. That was in your ear. It's driving me crazy, Lynn. Joan, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, David, we got it. Okay. You'll pull some dates? Yep. Okay. I'll get back with you. Thanks, David. All right, thank you. Bye. This is not good. Listen, Sabrina. Oh, good. Thank you very much for telling Lynn that Tony's opening for me. I had some lunch with You her. know what? We've got a bigger problem right now. Yeah, what? The sexual harassment complaint? Not going away. Everyone company-wide now has to take a full-day sexual harassment seminar. And what, I'm supposed to lead it? No, I don't no, know about that. Listen. What, what are you talking about? Uh, Sexual uh, uh, harassment. It's all so stupid. Well, Rhea didn't think what you did was so stupid. You're a beautiful girl. Can't he, can we'll look at you today. All right, so good. So we'll go, we'll go, we'll have a nice time, and we'll learn. Okay. Mom, that's not hey, what it's about. Sexual harassment. I'm glad you think this is so funny, Mom. It's stupid. You guys take it seriously. I'm going out to get some really hot underwear. What size do you wear? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good morning. I don't know, what do you want to say? Oh, no, I, I want to talk. I cannot believe I pulled in my entire team from L.A. for a sexual harassment seminar. There's Adele who does my makeup and Raymond who does my hair and Carrie who is a stylist and Tony is there. Melody and Sabrina, the assistants. Greg, Melissa's business partner is there. I mean, it's just dumb. Before we start, I just want to tell you, you have amazing Thank you. Just, I figured this is my last chance. Yes, it is. <laughs> that comment provides us such a great introduction to this wow. class. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Chris Farrell, and uh, I have been asked by Jones Business Manager to come and present a uh, seminar on workplace harassment awareness. The concept of harassment is really a form of discrimination. So you can be harassed based on your religion, harassed based on your age. We're gonna focus mostly on sexual harassment, which is harassment based on your gender. This is a subject we have to take seriously. This is just a waste of time. Who do I have to get us all out of this? Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I don't know what I did that I'm sitting here and making all my people sit here. Oh, God. It's got the dramatic impact of a biggest loser. So, are you interested? I cannot believe I pulled in my entire team from L.A. for a sexual harassment seminar. There are three types of conduct that can get us into trouble. They fall into these categories of verbal, visual, and physical. So what kinds of conduct, verbal conduct, might be problematic? Once I had someone, a, a boss come in and say, oh, I had a sex dream about you last night. Who was it? I'm not telling who it was. You could tell me. I'm not telling. Um, was it somebody from Access Hollywood? No, 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 no. This was, was years CBS ago. Was it CBS this morning? No, it was years MTV, ago. MTV, MTV? No, Mom, stop. I'm not telling. <laughs> was it Oprah? I, but the, but the point was... She entered. Was it Oprah? It's, the point is, it wasn't a continuous thing. So it, it was never been the case. Even exactly. though it made me uncomfortable for a little while, so, I got you, over it. So a couple of do's and don'ts about maintaining a respectful workplace. Act politely. Use a professional tone of voice. Don't engage in or allow other people to engage in behavior that demeans, degrades, or shows disrespect to anyone. Do all you idiots understand what she just said? Yes. Good. Yes. 
Mom, you have got to take this seriously. It's just ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? Because if I want to give somebody at my age a lovely compliment on their pretty camel toe, I should be allowed to do it. I don't know anymore. I don't know what I did that I'm sitting here and making all my people sit here. Where is the line? Everybody's line is in a slightly different place. Do you, do you have pet names for people? I call Carrie all the time Pussycat. Pussycat. I find half that name offensive. So that means I can sue her or can I sue Joan? Both. Both. Because Joan is the employer. Oh, and God. And you as the employer <laughs> need to control the behavior of your employees. I'm getting crazy here. I mean, if Tony says to Melody, nice jugs, I can get sued? Is that what you're telling me? That is exactly what I'm telling you. But that's ridiculous. That is the way it works. I can't control the people that work for me. How can I, how can I control somebody like Tony? And you're going to have to figure out a way. Let's say, you know, you're, you're in a tight space. How do you get around people without physically touching them too much? Show me first how you shouldn't do this. One well, you person... shouldn't do it like this. One... Well, that... Oh, no, 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 no. Right? That would be bad. No, no she, would she's silly. This is a suit. You know, guys, I'm you're all... Oh, this is a suit. You know, right? everybody you is being very funny here. I'm just telling you this. I am probably going to be sued, and it's going to be very ugly, so I wish you would all just listen to what Chris has to say and not be so funny, because it's not funny. Tony. It's not funny. I told you that it was good morning. Good morning, good morning. everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. After yesterday's meeting on sexual harassment, I'm starting to take it very seriously, and I'm getting worried because this group isn't. And who are we kidding? If anything happens, it's my ass that's on the line. And by ass, I mean wallet. I wouldn't want to be you if my life depended on it. I would not want to have to work uh, worrying about every one of I'm us. I'm crazy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry. I have the greatest picture of Lady Gaga in New York City flashing her vagina. And I don't know if I can even show you people. <laughs> talk about Am I allowed other to, how does this how do we not talk about it for a fashion police? We're going to just spring it on you on the air? I'm not going to give you any jokes? You can show it to me because you and I are writing Fashion Police, but you can't show it to, to Adele because Adele may... Oh, my God. It's I want to see it, too. Oh, my God. I want right? to see it. How do you want to see it? I want to see it. I want to know that that's Lady that's Gaga's Okay, you know something? Oh, there's the doorbell. Ding, ding, ding dong. You know, ding I'm, dong. I'm real... Listen, guys, seriously. We just got to take it down. Is... I'm begging you. I'm all pleading right, with you. All right, okay, all right. Okay. I don't believe this. We've just gone through this big sexual harassment seminar, and Tony is in there showing his pictures of, of Lady Gaga's muffin. I am getting very nervous here. What, what if Tony does something stupid at Napa? You know what, Mom? You went through the seminar. He knows better. Oh, he, he would... doesn't know better. I don't think he's taking this very seriously at all. Look, that's not I correct. can hear the oh, ocean. Oh, my God. That's... <laughs> <laughs> you know... Don't tell... I mean, come on. Don't make that's me funny. turn into the boss. <laughs> I'm begging you. Okay. Don't make me right. turn into the ball. Okay. We could be in a lot of trouble. We've got to be careful. Remember she was saying that in the training? Okay. I almost have a lawsuit upon me. Oh, Melissa, Melissa. Hey, has your mother said anything about being mad at me? Oh, God, no. No, seriously, tell me the truth. Did you tell her the jokes that I said? Yeah, she, she thought they were funny. She's not mad at you no, at no, all. No, 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 no. She's being very weird. She's being very distant. Well, Something she is, is wrong. she's completely fried from this whole sexual harassment thing. Like, she doesn't know who she can talk to, who she can hug. Oh, well, it's I not you. I tell you. you. Trust me. It's not you. I would tell you if it was. It's not you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm looking for Mr. Jim Les Leskey. Leskey? Sure, yes. just go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. All right. Peter and I are pitching our show, My Fat Pet, today. And I think we're going to get it because we have never been sharper, and Lily's dog has never been fatter. Uh, come oh, on, good. Come on, come on. What happened to Lily? Like, Lily uh, was constipated. I couldn't wait for her to go. Who is this? It's the neighbor's dog. 
So listen. Come here. Come here, Chelsea. Come here. Okay. Come here. All right, sit. He's yeah. a German Shepherd. How come he's not following orders? Well, he should have brought Lily. I, I'm telling you, Lily was squatting and trying to poop for a half an hour. I couldn't wait. It was going to be late. She must have eaten is, cheese or something. This dog is not going to help in the pitch. How's he not going to help in the pitch? He look how lovable. Hey, Schultze. 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 Mr. Lusky is ready to see you now. Oh, thank great, you. Great. Follow me this way. Cool. Thank you. Absolutely. Don't Pitching me. a show is an art. And we are going to pitch this all over town. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to turn to a bit more. Fact. People love shows about people losing weight. Fact. People love shows about pets. Why not a show about pets losing weight and make it a competition to raise the stakes? It's got the dramatic impact of, of Biggest Loser. And we're going to have weigh-ins, very emotional weigh-ins. Oh, you watch his journey? It's heartbreaking oh, if he doesn't lose the weight. The journey of weight loss. Nobody has done pet weight loss. Nobody. What, did he just make a sound? No, he, he farted. Was moved by it. it was a long oh, walk from the lobby. Uh, just take Thank a second. You, uh, so they compete against each other in a series of challenges trying to force pets together to lose weight. If you lose a category, you go to the pound. It, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of built-in drama. And fun. A lot of fun. A lot of laughs. Come on, come here, Shulte. The master trainer would be your MC. Good boy. And we would have America vote. This is about fat. It's not about people. It's I about guess. the fat part. Fat. I will pick. Mm. Uh, From us. Great. All right. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. A couple of you said, you really said some bad things about me. It's a hilarious guy. It's just insane. I, I mean, can't get fired I'm... two hours before the show. The night my dad is coming. What are you doing? I'm eating. You're taking the shrimp out? It's a you tail. You take the shrimp out. What am I, Chinese? I don't eat the tail. Of course you eat the tail. The You're going to eat the tail? Yes, I eat the tail. Go ahead, Mama Simon. Oh, my God. Oh, Joan, gross. It's delicious. That's where the protein is. Do you eat the feet? Like, do you go to Chinatown feet, and eat the I chicken wait for feet? The feet. <laughs> I wait for Easter and chicken feet. Oh. That was my mother's every Easter. She'd say, come and get a chicken feet. I love you so much. Do this for the opening. Okay. We're here in Napa, and I'm performing tonight at the Uptown Theater with Tony. But before he goes on stage, I just want to go over a couple of things with him. Hey, you. Hey. How's it going? Is she here? Yeah. Okay, I'm in so much trouble. You know my father's coming tonight. Oh, I, really? I can't get fired I'm... two hours before the show the night my dad is coming. <laughs> you think you're going to be fired? What did you do? Well, what do you think you've done? Well, what I think is, I think Lynn is trying to start some oh, Hi, Tony. Could right. you excuse us just a little bit? Sure. Um. Okay, so wait, wait, I know what this is. No, I, I don't. This is Lynn, it. right? Lynn it's made not a big Lynn. sink it's, um, about some jokes. And apparently, uh, yeah. Right. It's not just Lynn. It's, it's a couple of people said, you really said some bad things about me on stage. And I think... Uh, I'd just like to hear what you said. Okay, just, I say that just, when when people find out that I work for Joan Rivers, uh, they always, you know, ask me the same thing, uh, which is, you know, how long ago did she die? Like, that's not even that. Okay, all I mean, right. You know, it's okay. just, it's like a okay. so old you do an joke. Age joke. Okay. Very benign. That's, that's not one. That. So let's hear some more that you do. Um, I say that we do fashion police really early in the morning and that you come to work at 5 o'clock, 5 a.m., uh, with no makeup on. And so, oh, come on, you guys, Joan Rivers with no makeup on, Urgh, right? So, you know, and then yeah. I say that... That's know, the after... setup. What's the punchline? Joan Just Rivers with no makeup on. That after seeing that, I will be gay in my next life, too. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> See, it's silly. It's funny. It's I'm not kidding that... you. It's fine. 
do as many as you want. No. Oh, Tony, it's fine. Oh, I'm kidding you. Stop, you don't even, right. I'm freaking out. I literally am it's thinking It's all that, right. It's okay. Because you know that I would not. Oh, who cares? It's funny. It's funny. It's fine. I don't care what kind of jokes Tony makes about me on stage as long as they're funny. And what's he going to say that I haven't said about myself anyhow, right? And if he comes up with a new one, I'll steal it. I just want to make sure that you know, uh, clean as a whistle. 25 minutes. If you want to do 30 because your dad's here, that's fine. I don't care if you want to go five minutes over, but very clean. Think but curses is okay. Curse words, fine. I like... would rather you didn't do curse words. Because okay. I curse so much that if you're cursing and I'm cursing, there's no difference between the two acts. Mm -hmm. My act is just raunchy. What makes it funny if the one in front of me isn't, then there's a contrast and it's not like just two hours of smut. I think an hour and a half of smut is enough. Try to keep it clean. Yeah, Try clean. To keep it clean. That's all. My it's, dad's gonna be sitting right there, so. so he'll, be, he'll be crushed that I'm not doing the whole part about the Christmas tree up the ass. But if yeah. you don't want me to do it. I'd rather you didn't, because I do the same thing and that's my closing. <laughs> It's very hard. Okay, sweetheart, that's fine. Good. So that's it? That's it. Okay, that's it. well, thank you. I, okay, I'll okay, see I'll see you later. Bye. Christmas tree up the ass? Christmas tree up the ass. Okay, 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 okay. Where is the so mic? Ryan? I'd like to have sound lights. One of the happiest moments when I'm performing is going into the empty theater and doing the sound check and the lighting check and working with the orchestra. It's like you're very special and you're allowed into the temple. And it just gets me going for the whole evening. Lights go up on stage, house lights off, lots of ballyhoo on the stage. That is a very sad ballyhoo. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody happy? See you all. Okay, thank you, okay. thank you. And I need a lot of powder if you give me powder. Okay. Go okay. brownie, okay. pinky, okay. Yes, excuse me one second. Who is it? Tony. Hey, hey. Hello. Hey, thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? You're missing something. What? No, no, I need to come in. What you doing? What are you talking about? <laughs> I just what are you talking about? What are you doing? It's a comedy bit. It's a comedy what? bit. This is my opener. You open in that? It's a hilarious gag. I come out like this, right? Which obviously is shocking, so it'll get a huge response. And then I I'm say, begging. if you guys don't laugh, every time you don't laugh, I'm putting something on. I get it, and I think it's fabulous. It's so uh, I don't. I think it'll be better if you, you walk close. Because we don't do this kind The audience won't like it, believe me. The, okay. the audience will like it. Goodbye, goodbye, hey. goodbye. When I said to Tony, keep it clean, I meant keep it clean. And he shows up in a thong. This is Napa Valley, not Jackson Hole. It's just insane. It's insane. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. I think you should let Tony play the bongo. Okay. Come on. Welcome to the fabulous Uptown Theater in Napa. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's such a dream come true, opening for Joan Rivers, you know? I mean, in Napa Valley, but still, it's, a, it's still, I'll take it. It's such a thrill, I, I can't believe, and Joan is the most amazing, she's so wonderful. I have not an unkind thing to say about her, except this. You know, when you work for Joan, you don't get a check. No, you just get a big box of QVC jewelry, yeah. But, no, no, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, because what middle-aged gay guy doesn't want 300 lavender cubic zirconia happy Passover 1988 wristwatches? <laughs> right? Yes. Tony is doing very well. Isn't that great? And he's getting laughs, even though he's not wearing a banana hammock. 
Thank you very much. Good night. I thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night. When they stand up at the start, it doesn't mean a f-ing thing. <laughs> you haven't seen anything. How do you know? The engine may be going. Bleh. They also stand up when they think you're going to die. If you know, it's true. <laughs> the Academy Awards. Anyone that's going to die, oh, stand up, give them a standing ovation. She's going to die. Oh God. I love Twitter. The world would have been different if we had had Twitter. The Amelia Earhart. Where the f- am I? It would have been just. This is Rosa Parks. I'm in the front of the bus. I'm having a good, uh uh-oh. It's just, it's just so hard for me. Age is so hard. Oh, you start to fart. Oh my God, you don't know. And the farts, they're surprise farts. You don't know when they're gonna happen. You're walking along. I just want to say what it's all about, truly. I know my mouth is this and that and everything, but what it's really all about is family. It's about having a loving, caring, tightly knit family, living as far away from you as possible. (laughs) Good night. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you all. You, you were fantastic. I'm sorry I didn't love I know you did love you too. were wonderful. And see, you can do it dressed. And clean. Good, good. Uh, and you learned with your clothes on. Wow. Well, yes, yes, you see it. Lesson learned. Mm. I hate that you were right. You know I hate that, right? <laughs> Truth. You see the lady muffin from the side? I've gained weight. I haven't worn it since last year. Tonight, I'm going to this big benefit for guide dogs for the blind. So I want to check my wardrobe out with my two favorite bitches. <laughs> I can always count on Sabrina and Melanie to give it to me absolutely straight. Do I look like an old whore? Is it too tight? It you looks look fine. fine. I'm 10 pounds up. How fine can it be? It's fine. What, what is with fine? When a woman, after making love, says to her husband, it's fine, that means there's a divorce coming on. I don't want to hear fine. Give me an opinion. What is the look you're giving each other? Fine. This has to do with the sexual harassment. Is that right? Sabrina, for God's sake, 23 years you've been working in this house. I want an answer. Joan, I'm... it does have to do with the seminar. I can't sit here and talk about your lady muffin. I can't. Well, you have for 22 and a half years. But That's after the seminar, seminar, I can't. I want a company meeting. This is stupid. Company meeting in one hour. It'll be a fine meeting. Okay, everybody. What is going on? I want to, I'll tell you what's going on. Yeah, what's happening? Uh, things are just not working out well. Everybody is so damn uptight with this, this, this sexual harassment stuff. I want to just get it out of the way and forget about it. Our job is to be funny. And to be funny, We've got to be ourselves. Everybody oh, up now. Love it, love it. I think you should let Tony play the bongo. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. This 
is the way it should be. <laughs> All right, back to work. Okay. 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 I have some good news. Floor lane breast it. No. David called. Rhea is over at Not So. Are you telling me? I tell you the truth. Oh, thank God. Now I have one more thing to do. My day is complete. Son of a bitch. How I... do they pass on our show? What do they have that's better than our show on the air? My fat pad. Maybe, maybe we're not provocative enough. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we need a different name. America's got fleas. It's the real bitches of Orange County. So you think you can bark? They got the dog whispers huge? How about the dog shouter? <laughs> Sit the f down! <laughs> Look at that. They listen when you... I think we got a franchise there. Doggy style. <laughs> oh, you're thinking sex? I'm thinking the dog comes in and redecorates the den. Why do you always go to sex? I'm not going... It's so disgusting for your age. It's always sex with you. <laughs> on Joan and Melissa. You have oh, a birthday yeah. coming up. Don't start. It's, it's depressing. What do you want for your birthday? Sign up. You're going down, girl. No bumpy. We're getting tattoos? What are you, are you crazy? Ready? I know you're going to... It's going to go ready, really ready, well. I love it. Oh, my God, what's that? Joan, excuse uh, me. Hi, hi sweetheart. I, I am so sorry. What? Previously on Joan and Melissa. Comics support one another, Tony. You can't give her a half-written joke. You're such an a I, I can't stand you. You know, I heard something about Jason that I think you should check out. We were trying to start a family, Jason. Everything's a lie, and you're a piece of I'm trying to fix my daughter up. Hello. I can be your mother-in-law. Oh, my God. I want you to meet somebody I don't care. You don't do that. And tonight... It's Vegas. No strippers. Yeah. Mom, I'm not ready for this. It's going to be a wedding this week. Cooper, you owe me a lot of favors for this one. Melissa, get me on this thing! It is going to be so much fun renewing your vows in Vegas. It's going what to be gorgeous. Flowers. Flowers, the Venetians taking care of half. It's Vegas. We're, you know, it's going to be fun. Can you believe it's been 20 years since Curtis and Sabrina got married? And how wonderful is it since I'm doing my show in Vegas that they're going to come out and renew their vows It's going there. to be great. We can get everybody to come up. It's going to be a blast. Seriously, you're going to make us wear what we wore 20 years ago? I'm not making anybody do anything. I think it's great. Everybody is going to look the way we looked. It's 20-year renewal. Oh, all my this. goodness. We're all still here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's you the great thing. You got it! I found it! Oh, fabulous! Oh, look at you! Oh, how my I forgot! How fabulous how is that? Do you remember? Yes, such a vision of beauty. <laughs> this reminds me so much of Melissa's. I know party. Okay. Where's your dress? Okay. My your wedding dress. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, I've never seen it. Dress. Oh, go, go never get your dress. It. You Where is it? It's in the closet. Now. Okay, so my first marriage didn't exactly end well, but I did get Cooper out of it, and he's the love of my life. And I have to admit, the dress was spectacular. I need a little help. Okay, uh -oh, hold on. Uh oh, let's see. <gasps> Let me move the box. Look oh at my this. God! Look, look at this. this. Do you remember this? Oh, oh my, my goodness! Goodness! Look at this! Oh, isn't it beautiful? Remember? It's just this little. I didn't have boobs then. You a grown up woman now. Well, yeah, I bought some. I bought some boobs. Hey, today. look at you. I turn around. Let me just see. Okay, can we? Oh. Here, let me move this over. Okay. Oh. Remember? Here, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. 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 Look at this. Turn around. Turn it. around. Look turn at around. That. Oh. See, I never got to really see the back. Oh. Is it pretty? It's yes. Beautiful, beautiful. man. Beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. My mom and Vera Wang did a fantastic job. The beading is spectacular. The way it bustles up in the back and 
The pattern still works. It had the family crest on the train. It's just a work of art. Too much. Bert, well, it depends where you're going. Okay. <laughs> oh, how funny is that? Oh, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be fun. It's gonna you guys. be a blast. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be so, so great. great. It's gonna well, be we fun. have to start yes. making some plans. Yes, you right. do. Okay. So, Speak to you later. All right. Let me just look at you. Does everyone have what a pretty dress it was? What a beautiful, beautiful bride you are. And will be again, my dear. Mom, I don't want to get married. You didn't want to get married when it was the wrong person. The right person comes, you're gonna want to get married. I look at Melissa in her wedding dress, and it makes me so sad because. She was such a beautiful bride. I just want her to move forward. Maybe we'll meet somebody in Vegas. Oh my lord, mom. Melissa, never too soon. You've got the dress, <laughs> we've got the veil. All we need is a third component. <laughs>
I need help. I did something a wee bit bad. What? And when I was checking in just now, I bumped into Tony. He was very insulting and hurt my feelings. And he acted like I wasn't part of the family and said to me, why are you here? Well, so I told him I was opening for you. You told him what? I know, it's so awful. Man, come on, you shouldn't do that. I know, but listen, do you think I'm funny? Of course I think you're funny. I think you're brilliant. Do you tell Tony I'm funny? Yes, I tell Tony you're funny. Can I open for you? No, you can't open for me. They don't want to see two women talking about the same things. Give me a subject you talk about. Getting older. Getting older. That's why I Not wanting to date anyone. Not being able to date anyone. Same thing. Anal sex. And we, you know we both talk right. about anal sex. Same. You're right. OK. And that's why. I would do anything for you. I think you're very talented. I, I know, and I love you too. And I'm talented. sorry that he's my Achilles heel. He's just like he my little gay be. Achilles heel. He shouldn't be. Tony and Lynn are like oil and water, and you can't blame them. They're, they're both comics. They're in direct competition for the same jokes, the same clubs, the same men. He really likes you. He thinks you've got great potential. He thinks one day you will just burst into something really big. Oh, I'm mean, He thinks you got promise. Him. He thinks I he have promise. Ne your name comes up and he always says, she's got promise. Will you or will you not help me with this ruse? I will help you if you do a favor for me. You name it. I want you to find Melissa a guy. Uh, it's time. It's time. She do doesn't want to go out. She doesn't want to date. Joan, I it, cry. She doesn't no. like anyone I bring her. Every guy I bring her. Uh, well, I just had to do it with two guys once because she wouldn't take one of the ones I wanted. Listen to me very carefully. I want you to find Melissa a certain kind of guy. Okay. Now, tell me what you consider to be a perfect man. What do I like? I like Harry. Muscular, and I don't mind back hair. I like a man to be a man. I like big. I don't like him smart. Okay, I want you to find exactly the opposite for Melissa. We're looking for someone that's educated, intelligent, sense of humor. You know what we're looking for? We're looking for the guy that would defend your guy in court. Oh. You want me to tell Tony you're opening for me? Give him a little. I will find her a husband if you can make Tony cry. I'm not gonna make Tony cry. Oh, it's too easy to make a gay guy cry. All you have to say is, lies is fat again. <laughs> <laughs> Your couch looks like <laughs> Your couch I can make a gay like guy <laughs> like that. You know how you can tell a desperate mother? When you make a deal with Lynn so that she will set up Melissa. We have a deal. We have a deal. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. If you go to Vegas and you come home and you don't have some burning your pee, you haven't had a good time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Either one of you been to jail? No. Good. Melissa, get me off of this thing! Are we excited, ladies? Oh, yes, we are. I we can't are going to have so much fun. This is such a great idea. And you know what? I am so glad my girls are here. I did not have a big brouhaha for the first go round. For the girls' night, Why? we kind of, it was, you know, it was quiet. Quiet is not what's happening tonight. You're damn, we didn't come to the we city We didn't come for to quiet. Vegas for quiet. <sighs> and if you important. go to Vegas and you come home and you don't have some burning your pee, you haven't had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this place is about. Uh-uh. That is disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh, oh, seriously, God. you kiss your grandchild with that mouth? <laughs> that is horrible. You knew where this mouth had been. I don't want to. Apparently she was doing more than kissing her grandson with that mouth. <laughs> oh, God. I am so excited about going out tonight with all the girls. Okay, but you I gotta, haven't done that in years. Okay, but you got to keep it under control because Sabrina really is making it very clear that she does not want like all sorts of crazy activities tonight. Oh, come on. Before I die, make an old lady happy. <laughs> okay, Wanda, what would your stripper name be? My stripper name is Wicked. No, yes. Wicked. Yes. Yes. What did I name you? Onyx. Uh, all that's right. right. Oh, if Lynn's coming, Lynn needs a stripper name. She has one. What? Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> and what's yours? Vixen, but of course. Vixen. Of course. What about you? Diva. <laughs> what's yours? Bitter. 
<laughs> oh, Melissa. <laughs> wow. You're right. not going to get tips with the name Bitter. Want to make a bet? Come on now, ladies. Oh, man. We well, are still ladies. So just so you know, on the bus, mm -hmm. there is a lovely pole. You know what? Let me tell you something. I don't want any strippers on that pole. Stop oh. playing. Stop playing. I've been married for 20 years, and I want to be married for another 20 years. No strippers. Yeah, OK? Fine. Don't no strippers. Done. Fine. Okay, fine. Fine. It's your Good. party. OK. Let's have another toast. Your, to a lovely evening. Your boring boring party. Lovely. No, no be it's going to be lovely. fun, don't Melody. Party. You got to figure a way around strippers. I'll find a way around I'll make some cool. OK. This is a bachelorette party, and there will be strippers, because this is Las Vegas. And that's the law. Cheers, 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 cheers. 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 Now get cheers. the waiter back so we can sexually harass him. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, you'll yeah. see tonight. You're going to be out front. Yes. Good. Well, all right. Have yeah. a great show. Uh, and was that I, for Lynn? Huh? Yeah, yeah. This. I, I wouldn't bother. Look outside. Look what yeah. they give it. Give me. Let me have. I just, you know, yeah. Lynn and I have this thing. So I was she just trying to be you. She the grown you. up. I don't think she loves me. Tony, that is not so. She has never met you without saying you've got great potential. That uh, you're gonna blossom one day. Oh, he, I don't think she means that as a compliment. That's not a compliment. He just needs a couple more years, and he's absolutely gonna grow into something great. I can't do this to Tony any longer. I mean, enough. I just love him too much. He is truly the sister I never had. Are you out of your mind? Do you really think Lynn is ugly? How, how dumb can you be? She's not. Tony, I mean, <laughs> two women both talking about the same things. Are you crazy? Well, thank you. Uh, you have no idea how much this means to me. You have a wonderful show. I love you. Mm, I love All you right. so much. Okay, right. bye-bye. <laughs> how stupid. As if I said to you, Raymond, I'm gonna get another hairdresser. Would you believe that? No. Well, you're wrong. Look at this mess. Look at this. Come on, Raymond, do okay. something. Okay, I will. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. The only way to get over one man, Melissa, is to get under you another. Mean, I'm I don't want to spill this drink. Hello, hello. You look so beautiful, ladies. Well, thank you. And you look so beautiful, Curtis. God bless you. Is this seat taken? Hi. Hi. Oh, you look pretty. Yeah. I think I hate you. You got me. <laughs> I think I, really I get hate you? you. Yes, you got me. Well, good. You've got a lot of promise. Oh, no, you, you, Lynn, have a lot of promise and potential. To potential. <laughs> to potential. Wow, Joan Rivers, man, wow. Kiss my Botox face. Hey, Mom, just wanted to pop in and say have a good show. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little dry here. Ah, oh, it should be a great one. You can already feel the energy. Will you welcome, please, Miss Joan Rivers? that I'm still here is a miracle. And it's, and before we even continue, before we even continue, um, and I shouldn't, and she asked me not to say it, but my assistant, uh, um, I'm a listen assistant for 21 years, is getting remarried in Vegas. Isn't that nice? And Sabrina and Curtis, where are you? Where are you? Yeah. Yeah. Stand yeah. up, oh, stand up. Sabrina and Curtis got there. Right. One years and we're all going to the wedding and we're all wearing the same clothes yes. that we wore 21 years. That's going to be some pretty group. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy... You. Congratulations. Thank the whole you. audience says congratulations. You. Just lovely. And you're still paying for the tickets. It is. <laughs> Anyhow, thank God there's no signer. I just, oh, I just came from a place where there was a signer. Oh, oh, two church ladies. Yeah. And I'm saying things like <laughs> This is the sign for orgasm, by the way, if you're. <laughs> and this is the sign for faking orgasm. I said to him, what's the sign for bitch? And she pointed at me. Ah. Uh, anyhow. I don't sit in the audience when my mom performs. It's kind of a distraction for my mom. So I like to check from backstage, you know, kind of just see what's happening out there. Because everything now is about sex. All these men now with, what is it, Viagra? What's the other horrible one? Cialis, Cialis! 34-hour erections, 
Christ! <laughs> oh my God, remember the good days when they couldn't get it up? Do you remember? <laughs> Honey, I can't get it up. That's all right, darling. I won't leave you. <laughs> 34 hour erections, these poor old wives, in and out and in and out and in and out. They're gonna set them on fire. Uh, yes! <laughs> That's what happened in, in Malibu two years ago with the big fire. <laughs> Suzanne Summers, that dumb bitch. <laughs> Good night. It was a pleasure talking to you. Hi. Great show. There she is. Oh. Oh. The show was great. I love the stuff, the new stuff. It was great. Yeah. Great show. Good to see you. Great to see you. How You're are really you? Fun. You're going to have it some good weekend, Vegas. huh? So much fun. So, you need to get, get changed. I'm going to get all we this We all up. need to start to get ready for the Bachelorette. 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 All right, here we go. Okay. Fun time. I need to talk to you real fast. Okay, I'm changing clothes. I'll see okay. everyone in a few. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. I'll see you all later. Okay. I'm going to go change. I'll meet okay. you downstairs. All right, okay. Good, 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 good. Linda's called me several times that she's lined up two guys for the evening. But this time it's different because I think one is for Melissa. Mel, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. There's just a nice guy I met who I thought would be right for you. Really? You just say hello, that's it. Come on. Okay, I just, Lynn, I just. I'm there for you if you need me. The only way to get over one man, Melissa, is to get under Wait another. Minute, I'm just... Lynn, I just it's I true. seriously have to I can't be rude. Look at him. Look how cute he is. And Lynn, he, like, look how he sits with his legs out like he has a big feet. Shut up. I can't do this. Just say hi. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Lynn, no, no. I am not ready to go on a date. It has only been a month since Jason and I split up. And even if I was ready, I would never let Lynn set me up. You were there. Uh. <laughs> Eric's a math teacher. Tony's a firefighter. Really? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Say so you're a firefighter. No, that's sexy. Well, I've actually seen you on TV. I didn't know you were going to be more beautiful in person. So, yeah, you, so. you seem like a really nice person, so. I'm a teacher. Really? Yeah, I teach sixth grade math. I'm not very good at math. I no? can do I can do tips uh -huh. and discounts. <laughs> I like the idea of a guy who can carry me out of a building. Yeah, I, I love my job. It's, it's fun being around kids. I'd actually rather be around kids all day than, than adults just because they're easier to work with, you know? My son's in fifth grade. Really? That's good, is he pretty good at math? Um, we're in a little bit of a quandary because my ex-boyfriend actually was the one that always helped him with the math. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm sitting here trying to make polite conversation and not come off as a total bitch, and Lynn is doing everything but dancing naked on the table for her date. Did you put a forest fire out with your hose? Wow. I just, so you have to come visit. Uh, <laughs> I could stop, drop, and roll on you. I feel so uncomfortable. Ladies. Hi. Hi. It's time to go. It's time Life to go. This is my friend Tony, and that's Eric. Hi. Nice to hey, meet you. Doing? Let's go. This date only went on for 20 minutes, but I have never been happier to see Melody in my entire life. Nice to meet you. Please, let's go, nice, baby. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice, to, meet nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Eric, do you have Melissa's information? Yes, I do. Lynn, I got it. Do you have all her info? Yes, got it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's Bye, go, let's nice. go. Thank you. Bye. Sorry about the bill. Not bad, huh? I cannot believe this, but Lynn just tried to set me up with some guy in a bar. Lynn? Lynn. In a bar? In a bar. She tried to set you up with a guy in a bar? Yep. Was he nice? Mom, did, did you have like anything to do with this? We are here for the bachelorette party, Melissa. Let's concentrate on the bachelorette party. You've heard of Ocean's Eleven? Tonight it's gonna be the Rivers Seven. I like that. Oh, yeah. All right. See, tasteful. Tasteful, okay. okay. Thus far, I have party favors. Oh, oh let's see party minute. favors. Okay, here we go.
I know I had to promise Sabrina no strippers, but come on, this is a party bus, not a bookmobile. Why do you think Rosa Parks got up and moved to the front of the bus? That's where the guys were. And she had dollar bills in her hands. I've seen the pictures. Everybody get ready. I've got a surprise. I'll Okay, 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 okay. You know what? What? This bus is not big enough. We no. need to do some real dancing. Yes! And yes. I know where yes. to go. Okay. Dancing! Okay. We go in dancing. Right. We're going dancing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. setting me up. Foxy Brown over there? I'll be dealing with her later. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Mom, you ready? I think it fits perfectly. ta -da! Oh! Okay, so pull him up. Yeah. Cooper has been so adorable through all this second wedding excitement that when he said, you want to go zip line? I said, yes, who knew? I had no idea that you went up and climbed stairs to go zip lining. There's got to be easier ways to get high in Las Vegas. What do I hold on to? Hold on to this? Wait, 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 this is slipping out of my breasts. Hello? Cooper, you owe me a lot of favors for this one. Yeah. Are you guys ready? We're ready. One, one two, two, three, three go! go. Woo! Ah! Woo! Melissa, get me off this! Woo! Right now, somebody get me off this piece of right now! That was awesome. Woo! That was awesome. That was so fun. So fun. Thank you. Bella, thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's the morning of the wedding, and some of us are a little rough around the edges, some rougher than others, but I promised Cooper I would take him for a gondola ride. Okay. okay. Andiamo. Okay. Are you single? Oh, si, Bella. Huh? You have someone in mind. Oh, he's looking. It's cute. Mom. It's cute. Mom. Oh, he's cute. Mother. Now, Betty sings. I bet he thinks you sing. Oh, of course. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry, could you just wait one second? Mom, seriously, you've got to stop with the trying to set me up. I'm not setting you up. I just asked, was he single? Mom, I'm not ready for this. It's too fresh. I am not ready yet. I know that you sent Lynn out to pick up guys. I, I, I want you to be married. I want you to have another child. I want you to live a normal life. Mom, I terrible. think we do have a normal life. And who says I'm not going to have another child? But I would like you to meet somebody. Okay, but Mom. Have you ever thought of medical school? I'm not ready. Well, when are you going to be ready, stop. Melissa? Mom, when I... Tick, I'm... tick, tick. One of the hardest things for me through this is thinking that I wouldn't be able to have another child just because Jason and I broke up. But you know what I've realized? I can do it. Then let's Why can't do it. I have another baby then on let's my have own? It. Then have it. But are you in it with me? No, I'm not in it with but you're, you. So you're not going to do the I'm whole thing where you have to be with someone to have no. another baby? No. I, right now. Let's see if we can buy a baby Mom, on the strip. I'm being serious. Could you just... Take it down take a notch. Take it down a notch. Yeah. 
Let me start to explore what my options are now. We've got several options. Okay, we've got one, adoption. Yes. We go to the lawyers. Yes. We put feelers out. Yes. Two, sperm bank. That to me is the way to go. Well, Mom, I got a lot to think about. We've got to go to the sperm bank. No, 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 not we, not we, not we. I will do it. No. Margie knows a place. Oh, God, Mom, get no. it wholesale. Oh, Mom. Sperm is perfect. Oh, my That's God. your Christmas gift. Mom, I don't necessarily want that That's as a cri your Christmas Mom, gift. Mom, you're not giving me sperm as a Christmas gift. Sperm, egg. it's a great okay. stocking stuffer. Mom, I'm on just exploring own, options. Do you want to adopt? I don't know. I think we have a lot to explore. I am so thrilled that you were going to have a baby. We're going to go out this afternoon, and we're going to go lay at shopping. Okay. I'm so ready you know for what? this. You let's know, just, let's just slow down. Today's the wedding. Let's get our heads into that. It's going to be amazing. Okay, fine. No problem. Can we go over some names? Mom, let's just wait. I am so excited for the wedding this morning. Everything looks beautiful. One thing I think that's going to be really cool about this whole thing is she wanted to keep it really small and intimate and really just the keep family and the people who are still a big part of her life. It's going to be wonderful. All right, okay, all right. Oh, my God, all right. Do we have a jacket? Can you help? Uh, Here, yeah. let me hold the bottom. Where are your shoes? Uh, take the bra, unleash the beast, come on. Exactly. Come on, take it off, take it off, take it off. Pull it, pull it. Uh, okay, oh. pull it. Why can't we just put a little pin right there and be done? That's because that wired. is ghetto. Look how so is this old red dress. Okay, stop yelling. How sweet is that that Melody went online and sent away to become an ordained oh, minister so that she could officiate at Curtis and Sabrina's wedding? I mean, she said that was her gift to them. What a cheap ass. Ow! You're biting me! I told you! Damn it! Ow! I got it! She's freaking hungry! I can tell you I am not looking forward to trying to get into that dress from 20 years ago. What is your problem? You you haven't gained an ounce. You look terrific. Okay, I just need That's someone it. to zip me up. I cannot believe. Oh, sure. I still oh, can get into oh, it. Nice, oh, nice. I can see. still so get into it. Thank Melissa you. Melissa can still get into it. I'm not worried at all. I know. <laughs> what do you mean you're not worried about getting into I'm it? I'm not worried at all. I, I weigh exactly what I weighed 20 years ago. If I cut off an arm, I'll be I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Spanx. <laughs> Mom, you ready? I think so, and I think it fits perfectly. Let's see, let's see. You guys, my mom got into her, Sabrina, my mom got into her dress. Oh! Oh! Look at you. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Okay. You look amazing. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. go get let's get let's go. Time let's is go on. Let's go get him. You know, with Joan and Melissa, they go beyond the employer-employee relationship. We really are a family. And I'm just so blessed and so fortunate to be with them and have them be a part of my world. You know what? You look beautiful. You look great, too. And thank you so much for doing this for us today. Don't start. I know, but my dad couldn't be here. I, I just can't tell you how much I love and adore You're you for doing this. You're gonna make me cry. I know, but... You might know it, but it's nice to hear. It's nice to hear, but I don't want to ruin a $500 makeup job. Okay. Girls let's up, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today to experience the renewing of the vows of Sabrina and Curtis's wedding and to bear witness to the 20th year of their marital bliss together. Each of us can attest to the strength, the beauty, and their relationship. And our presence here today is a token of our love and admiration for Sabrina and Curtis as they begin their next 20 years of marriage. Curtis, I have loved you since the first day we met. With each new adventure we share, I love you more and more as I witnessed your integrity, your compassion for others, and the undying devotion you have to me. I love you. Sabrina, my love, my friend, my everything. As if heaven has sent me an angel, my path in life is clear. 20 years to this day, I vow to honor, love, and cherish my angel. For eternity. 
Cooper, the rings, please. Sabrina, I give you this ring as a sign of my faith and love. Curtis, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may not kiss your bride. On Joan and Melissa. That is so much. That now I get it. I got it. Ugh. What an amazing wedding. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And it was such an honor that she asked me to walk it down the aisle. And that was, was great. It was beautiful. Yeah. I just hope it's not the last time I'll be walking someone down the aisle that I love. <laughs> Seriously? They let it go. Melissa, I would like to walk you down the aisle where I can still walk. Appreciate it. Laughing. I know, it's gorgeous. It was a beautiful wedding. Oh, it was a beautiful wedding. Well, she's right for me. But yeah, not just You're in it. Incoming, incoming. Come on, incoming. Here comes the cake. I have one in my purse. Five. I know. All right. Yay! All right. All right. Sabrina, you're the sister I always wanted. So, Thank you. you know, I, I could always count on you for advice, friendship, dealing with my mother. Um, <laughs> it's very hard in life to find people that you trust because you truly are my best friend and my family and the one person who has never, ever turned their back on me. And I love you so much. You're a part of the fabric of my life. I love you so much. She loves you. I love you so much. You know you're not an employee. I mean, that, we crossed that bridge years ago. I got to walk you down the aisle today, which was very special to me because your family, and I always say that, um, you're the black daughter that I could have had several times. <laughs> <laughs> you know how precious you are to me. It was just wonderful. It's time to toss the bouquet. Okay, come on, bouquet time. Sabrina, time to toss the bouquet. Bouquet toss. Bouquet toss. Lynn, bouquet toss. Closest to being on top of a woman I have been in 20 years. <laughs> yes, we're talking and laughing. Yes. To another 20 years. To another 20 years. And for Curtis, for still loving Sabrina in spite of all of us. Oh, <laughs> we all win Curtis. Exactly. Cheers, 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 cheers. Oh, so nice. So nice. Nice. You know, Moses, this. This whole weekend with family, it just reminds me how amazing you are and how happy I am to be your mother and what a wonderful, crazy time we have together. Good times, bad times, fights, makeups, whatever. Nobody in the world would I rather be going through this insanity with than you. You know that. I love you so much, love my you, darling. Mommy. And girl. you know, we're all my joking, there will always be a room for you. Yeah, you call that a room. Mom, it's a guest room. Oh, Melissa, for God's sakes, it's not a guest room. What guest would you put Mom, in Mom, it's not meant to be lived in. It's well, a I'm guest living room. in it, so no, it is meant to be No, according to you, living. you're just staying. You're only I'm here three or four days. Mom, but it's a guest room. You know, it's you not meant to be lived you have in. You never once said, let's do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just one night, I'd love to be home alone.